<laughs> Just pulling the tights up. As you come live, hello and good morning. Hello. <laughs> you wouldn't change us, would you? No. If we... um... No, no, we no. wouldn't. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> We're somewhat unique. <laughs> Um, how are we all? Oh, look who it is. It's Atta Tazza. Hello, Hello, gorgeous. I was literally thinking the other day. I haven't seen Alison in a long time. No, you got me three times this month. Have I? Yeah. Oh, good. That's all right. It's, it's, it's just, it's not deliberate, is it? It's no, just it's the just way the it way it works. So sometimes you see designers lots. And then yeah. sometimes you see them hardly any, hardly ever. It just falls on the other shift side. So yeah. that's just the way it is. But it's so lovely to see you. I know, it's been ages. And we've got an absolute <gasps> stonker, haven't we? Yeah, you ready to get fit? I'm ready. You've told me that these, oh gosh, they are heavy, aren't they? <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're quality steel. <laughs> Be working out in the break. Willow said to me that, um, the other day, she was like, Mummy, you're so strong. I was Aww. like, really not. <laughs> really, really not, but thank you. <laughs> um, what are these amazing contraptions? These are, these are hexagonal stakes. Okay. You can't eat them. No. They're great. They're, so they're for metal forming. Um, oh, so Lauren... This could you pop around the corner? There's some copper bangles and stuff. Oh. Sorry, they were on the table. We've moved the table for the demo, so yes, yes, we're yes. sorry. So it's for shaping metal. It's for shaping metal. So you know you get anti-clastic, the, the spinner rings, yes. bangles. Yeah. I like the um, and the, and the Yeah, and the, the, the um, synta oh, syntastic, so it's where it goes the other way, concave. Don't oh, drop them, oh. Lauren. Don't drop them. Bless her. Oh. Eh, eh, well oh, done. You. Well done. So, she did it. So that's a syntastic. syntastic yeah. And that's a, an anticlastic. Oh, OK. It's the direction. It's yeah, the yeah. Direction so one, one curves in that way and that way. So you've and got one's that. that way and that way. Or could we say concave and convex? Yes. And also round. So, yeah. Oh. Ah, how amazing. And I saw on Facebook how excited you are. Oh, I'm these. so excited. These are such amazing pieces of kit. And if you've got Claire's, um, if you're one of the lucky ones to get Claire's, Claire's tool, yesterday. tool yesterday, could you imagine then you can shape your, your flowers, your thing to sit on this and not, could, because this isn't flat, if you're soldering stuff on, you need it to curve in the same way. Yes, you do, yeah. So you can use this to... With your tool, with use your soldering. The, use the soldering yesterday. Use the, the punch, the, the disc cutter, ah. and put them on directly on. Now, the reason why I just grabbed my yeah. star by sheet is because I didn't... Re I thought, oh, these separate auctions, but you get all of them. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? For the that price, one amazing price. The price is ridiculous. It is, isn't I it? I have seen... It is, it is very, very rare you'll see them... Um, I don't know whether I should say. No, don't. They're oh, normally expensive. They're, they're normally they're normally a lot more expensive okay. than, than. And I should mention, even going. though these are heavy, you still pay the usual. I know. And packaging. So, yeah, you, you might not be that popular with your post uh, your postie, but um, <laughs> yeah, great. You, you know, you still get that one post and packaging regardless of how heavy they are. Brilliant. Um, other than that, oh my goodness me, you've oh, just got goodness. loads beautiful kits in the morning, full of colour. You've got faceted pearls in today's show, which are oh, Utterly exquisite. Um, many people, and it wasn't actually until 1998 that the technique was actually developed where you can actually facet a pearl. I'm um, so excited. So exciting, yeah. And I actually watched back one of the old jewellery maker shows and lovely Lucy um, was presenting and literally was talking about shell pearls. Um, and of course, they were like faceted mm. shell pearls. Um, and she would say, well, you can't facet a cultured pearl. And you couldn't then. She wasn't wrong. You, no. know, you actually couldn't. You can now. Um, but they're very expensive, ordinarily. Ordinarily. You've got hundreds of facets on one pearl. Yeah. You're going to have to have a really, really thick knacker, aren't you? Yes, Nacre. exactly. You have to, the, the yeah. finest quality pearls are faceted. Wow. Um, so we've got that. We've also got some uh, amazing opportunities in your Olmec jade as well to bring you lots of beautiful cuts interlocking links of your jade. We've got the last opportunities of your ammonite as well, which flew the other day. Mm, um, I was talking about, my, my, my um, eldest is going to, I think they called it Dinosaur World or something like mm. that in the hep uh, Hippodrome. Um, so they're gonna be seeing things like this. Literally prehistoric, how amazing, with that beautiful, beautiful wow. iridescence. Wow, look at that. We've got, but these flew, hundreds of these sold when we launched them not that long ago. I've got the final few available for you today. 
an amylite, um, an ammonite, sorry, an amylite's the gemstone, an ammonite, um, kind of like a prehistoric squid-like mm. creature. They used to, uh, in terms of the cause, they, yeah, they used to grow little compartments as they grew. So just amazing. Um, we'll talk some more about that. I have to show you your early bird as well today, which you can shop ahead and pre-order on. It's beautiful. Have you seen this in person, Ross? It's so lovely. So pretty. We've got 200 of these, but I know what they're going to. Cultured pearl, encrusted, sterling silver. Wow. Bale. Bonkers. One of those pearls on that strand over there, on yep. that would look amazing. Exactly. These will sell out. Mm. These will sell out. I don't think you're expecting just no, how low that these are going to go to. Um, so that's coming up within this hour. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those. Um, we've got some last opportunities of the type A red jadeite. Um, we've got some of your meter long length strands. It's honestly a jam packed show. If I, if I have a little look at what? Are you talking to me now? 200, yeah. Two, look, I'll show Alison. What's that? That's oh, really? really? That's the bale. I know. Oh, oh get ready. Because it is a lounge hour, so you know that you have oh. literally got until nine o'clock to make your, and you already are. I can yeah, see you all there. Buying. I don't um, you. Yeah, you Bonkers. can shop ahead and pre-order. It's on your screens, uh, or on the website rather, at £17.99. pence. It's going significantly lower. Significantly lower. So um, Stella, well done. Linda, well done. Multi-buying already. Helen, West Midlands, Charmaine, London, new customers. They will sell out. Mm. I'm sure they will absolutely sell out. So uh, Charmaine's just got four. I guarantee you will be ecstatic at your early bird price tag. I guarantee it. So um, very savvy actually shopping ahead on those. You know people trust us when 100% of people who've checked out are already multi-buying. Already multi-buying. It's brilliant. Absolutely, yeah. Two, two, four, two, three. And that's, that's a confirmation so far. We're, what, minutes into the show. Yeah. You've got black diamonds <gasps> as well in round, brilliant cut. So yes. how amazing is that? Um, what else do we have, Ross? I've, 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 just, honestly, it's just so much. Oh, the fire opal. <gasps> fire opal. Um, your deal of the day. Silly hell. Um, the deal of the day. Consider everything that we've just mentioned, you know, for example, the, the, the early bird bale to suspend maybe the perfect pearl or whatever half, uh, half drill gemstone you wish. You're going to need your perfect chains, aren't you? Well, we're going to bring you possibly the best deal that you've ever seen on sterling silver. Um, you can get 20 diamond cut sterling silver chains at a price tag, being realistic, that is not unusual. To, let me let, hang on. Let me just double check before I say this out loud. Yeah, I've seen sterling silver chains like this. Yeah, singularly at the price we're going to take your deal of the day to. <laughs> Honestly, you're getting twenty of them. I oh know, amazing. Gosh. Those, by the way, are um, eighteen inches in your length. So that's sort of traditional, nice. just below the nape of the neckline. So that's coming up at 10 o'clock. Um, um, it's honestly, it's going to be the most amazing Sunday. Amazing Sunday. Beautiful kits, mm. lovely jewellery, wonderful techniques. And we want to hear from you as well. Isn't it nice that now that the, 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 the days are drawing in, nights are drawing in, nights, nights are drawing, drawing in, in, that's it. So it's more daylight. When we come into the studio, it's not pitch black. I know. Um, when I was last here, was it Wednesday? Yeah. Thursday. Zena took a photo outside. Oh my gosh, the sunrise was incredible. Stunning. Just in the car park, I'm like, you've got to put that on a canvas. Yeah. Just this amazing sunrise. Yeah, gorgeous. I, I love, love it. it. I love this time mm, of year when it too. just starts to sort of, oh, look at the call screens for the pearl bale. I know. <laughs> there are so many of you there, savvy shopping. Ross, you might have to keep an eye on that, to be honest. <laughs> I think they, on the early birds, have you, seen how have you seen how many have gone already? Out of 200 quantity, 24 have already gone. And 39 of you have it in your basket. So, yeah, we have to keep an eye on that quantity. Let's start your Sunday morning show as we always do. Your beautiful creations in the Wall of Fame. Woo.
starting us off this morning is Margaret. Hello, Margaret Gibson. This Hello. is beautiful. Oh, lovely isn't that suite lovely? of jewellery. Vision of colour. Um, and Margaret says this week's makers are necklace and earrings in my favourite black, green, and gold colour. I use seed beads and green varicite and black agate beads. Great demos as usual, and good luck to all fellow waffers. How lovely. Oh, Margaret. that looks lovely. Very, I, I love that colourway mm. as well, those colour choices. Uh, number That's 124 is from Ooh. Gloria. Lovely Beautiful job. Gloria. Um, and Gloria says, hello all. Would you please accept my entry to the Wall of Fame? Well, gladly, my darling. Um, I had a couple of attempts at using the spinner ring tool purchased a wee while ago after watching Claire McDonald's demo and concentrating on making my uh, um, solder seam was good. Uh, sorry. Con and concentrate on making sure my solder seam was good. I thought I'd give it another try. So thank you, Claire. I persevered and I'm pleased with how it turned out. So I'll be making more. Well, well we're glad to hear about that. Gloria, that's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, well done. Amazing. Uh, number 125 is from Fran. Good morning, morning Fran. Fran. Oh, oh beautiful. lovely. Um, and how amazing are those stones? Um, morning yeah. to all. I, uh, I hope the mornings and days aren't too cold with the latest temperature fun. The attached is a photo of something that I'm not 100% happy with, but my claw setting is getting better, I think. So I Pretty think, blooming good, I, I tell you. I was going to say, yeah. Um, I've used Alison's articulated bracelet as a starting point and used a yellow faceted glass uh, that were in a kit for Queen, oh, uh, yes. Queen um, Elizabeth's Platinum Celebrations. Um, with rose gold colour based metal wire. The earrings have a post for the stud fitting. I hope you like it and best wishes to all. We certainly do. Fabulous, Fran. Beautiful. Fran. I think you're being hard on yourself. Yeah, side, yeah. Probably. That looks lovely. Well done. Um, next is 126. This is Susan James. Oh, isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Uh, lovely photography. Morning, everyone at JM. This is my latest waff necklace, uh, consisting of faceted agate, Mojave pearls, and clear quartz wow. with matching earrings and sterling silver findings. <clears throat> all from JM. Wish everyone good luck and a great day. All the best. Oh, is that lovely? Our viewers are brilliant, aren't they? I love that colourway. It's I do. so pretty. It is very pretty, yeah. isn't it? Um, then we've got 127, and this is Janet Ray. Oh. Very nice, Janet. Um, hi, JM team. Here's my waffering this, for this week. <laughs> I love that, a waffering. That should go in the dictionary. Um, I set this beautiful blue topaz into one of your stunning mounts uh, to wear to my boyfriend's birthday meal, and the lucite flowers and cross grain ribbon are decorating his present. All gems, wire, and inspiration is from you lot, you lovely lot. Thanking you for your friendship to the whole JM family and also sending the best wishes to Carol too. Yeah, Aww. bless her. Yeah. Rest your voice, Carol. Indeed. I know that's difficult to do when you have children. Uh, yes. <laughs> and also you have this as a job, but rest your voice so you can come back to us as soon as possible. Janet, I need to know what the present was. I know. <laughs> and, I, and I love the fact, Janet, you're decorating your Christmas presents as well. No, birthday present. Yeah. Uh, sorry, did birthday. I say Christmas? Sorry, yeah. birthday present. It's an early Christmas um, present. Yeah, yeah, very <laughs> early. Um, keep those entries coming in, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. I can't hear a word you're saying, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child, I'm a child, I'm a child, I'm a child. Um, uh, oh. Yes, I agree. Ross has just said I'm fairly certain that the early bird will sell out before. It is going lower than that price tag, no matter what. Um, so do please try and shop nice and early. Wow. Pearl encrusted sterling silver. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got a cracking post on it as well. Yeah. It's the fact that it's not just one bale. Yeah. It's effectively that it's beautiful almost bunny ear, they yeah. describe it. Bunny ear bale. So, yeah, double the beauty. Absolutely amazing. That's coming up within this hour. But do take a look at our website, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Um, if you click watch live and then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the items that we are bringing to you in this hour. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you can shop ahead on your early bird. Uh, that's going lower. Uh, you can, can you see there's a lovely wow. Amazon. Some items are already priced. Some will be going lower than what you're seeing them on your <sighs> screens at. Um, those pearls are unreal, oh, by the way. Yes. Absolutely unreal. Um, so, yeah, do take a look. look. Double jadeite hoop. I mean, how amazing is that carving? Yeah. Um, you've got some of the zircon left over. Herkimer quartz. You've got some malachite cabochons. Oh, wow. 
We got your Suru inspired labyrinth encrusted pair um, pieces. Yeah, you've got some really. Uh, Ooh, Bur I can't things. believe they're still available. The Burmese rubies. Oh, yes. there's three. Oh. Okay, literally, literally, last to stop. Um, so yeah, do shop ahead. Um, have a little look at those goodies and add them to your uh, sellouts already happening. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Shall we get cracking, Alison? Yeah. Shall we? Oh, look at that real crack. Oh, I know. Sold out. I know. I know. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Yeah. On your Rubelite. Sold out. Sold out. On your Rose Quartz. <laughs> It, it happens wow. because we price things, uh, you know, so low here at Jewelry Maker. Right then, let's start your early bird with <gasps> beautiful Amazonite. Um, we haven't seen this gemstone in such a long time, particularly, I'm going to say, Ross, actually, in this size. You know, because actually, if we do see Amazonite, it's more in your nuggets or in your three, maybe four millimeter size. Yeah. Um, I, I'm with you on that one. Ross says, I absolutely love Amazonite. Me oh, too. I do. And so does Monica Veneda. There's a lovely write up. What's oh. the present? What's the present? Have we got a message in? Uh, Miss Janet oh. says, oh. it was tickets to the Goodwood Festival of Speed for him and his brother. Um, I will take my brother next year um, as I'm a, I'm a petrol head. Thank you. Oh, Miss that Janet, like fabulous. Fun. I've heard that's really good. The festival I've been, yeah, Is it really it's fabulous. Good? Oh, I need to go. We've got a question as well. Hello yeah. to you, Christine, saying, do the new tools um, shown make spinner rings? They certainly can. Oh, there you go. They that also can make it so that it's an adjustable. Oh, there you go. So make sure you're with us at midday today. Um, hello to you, Mandy. Good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Uh, love and huge hugs to you all this sunny Sunday morning. Isn't it nice? Oh, hi, Everyone man. just feels happier, I think, when the sun comes out. It doesn't have to be warm, just a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> Two degrees this morning. Was it? Um, hello, Jill. Say morning, ladies. Looking oh. forward to seeing Alison using the new tools. Yes. Um, oh, wow. I ordered the Ammonite the other day, and I'm so excited, Jill. They are so Jealous. So cool. I've, I've got a perfect idea of what I want to do with it. Yeah, so cool. Get one. So cool. But they're limited now, so you I do know. need to be quite quick. Right then, we've got 115 carats of beautiful oh, Amazonite in your it. six to eight millimeters. So the graduation is already there. We're under 10 already. Ross says, ah, why are you? What, what's the matter, Ross? You should have, it should have been one, uh, uh, one in front of the uh, yeah. 9.99. Yeah, I agree with you. I do agree with you. Stunning. But it's Sunday. There's no, there's no um, big wigs in the building today. No. It's just, no. So it's literally just us. Just us little wigs. Just us little wigs. Minions. <laughs> Minions. <laughs> I, yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't get much sun. That's why I look yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Same. I don't. Actually, I'm more blue. So, uh, <laughs> 7 <laughs> Goodness me. Yeah, wow. it's good, isn't it? Because we're left to our own devices, aren't we? And we can be just a little bit naughty. And when they all sell out, it doesn't matter because they don't notice. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 7 99 do you think we're stopping there? We definitely should be. Yeah. I mean, even if these were like three or four millimetre, that would be a great price. But you're looking at 115 carats. Amazonite, one of the most beautiful gemstones. Like I said, Monica Veneda massively get behind this gem. Yeah. But can you can you blame them? Look at the quality of it. Yeah, and that lovely. colour's just beautiful, isn't it's it? A tropical destination. But, but it is, it yeah. is. I can almost feel my toes pressed Ooh. in the sand. Ooh. Almost. Almost. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's nice. <laughs> it's going lower. How many have you got, Roscoe? Seven oh, okay. I tell you what, I'd put it with that kit. They'd be lovely with the kits, mm. yeah, I think so. And they'd also look really nice, I think, with something like Old Neck Jade. Or oh, yeah. Lovely per uh, pearls that are coming up in today's show. We have got just over 70 of these, but again, lots of you getting involved. When was the last time that you saw Amazonite? Totally natural, it's a beautiful feldspar. Um, so related, if you like, to your moonstones, related mm. to your labradorite. Um, it has got this really amazing ability to glow. So they say that Amalite looks best at sunrise or sunset. Six ninety nine is a, a mad price for this gemstone, absolutely. Um, and you know it. That's why it's as busy as it is. Good morning to you, London, Patricia, West Midlands, Carol, Tina, Carolyn, Linda. Sorry, amazing. Um, it has got quite a Paraba presence to it, I mm. think, without the Paraba uh, price tag. Um, hello, Jane. Good morning, Ellen, Alison, oh. lovely ladies, and all the jewelry maker um, and all at jewelry maker. Um, the feeling of spring is in the air. Oh. It is, isn't it? And isn't it wonderful, Jane? 
Sarai. I love daffs. I say mm. it, I've said it so many times. Daffs are my favorite flower because they're just like little happy faces. Um, Jill, hello, darling, saying web pictures of Amazonite does not do this beautiful gem justice. Um, quite possibly, yeah. I, it's so difficult sometimes, yeah. Jill, to actually get to, you know, to, to, to photographs. You know, I mean, lots of people on the Wall of Fame say that as well, don't they? Yeah. It's tricky sometimes, but I totally wholeheartedly agree. It's one of those gems that really loves natural light. So even here in the studio, it's not doing it justice. When you no. see it outside, it really sort of glows. Hello, Hertfordshire. Hello to you, Anne. Sorry, Jane. Angela, London, Patricia. Hello to you, Kim, West Midlands. Why is there, why is there a little clock on the screen? Should we Ooh. sell them out? Oh, let's do it. First auction of the day. Wow. This would look lovely with your bail, I think, your early oh, bird. Oh, yes. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. Don't think you can only use a, a, a bail, a peg, with, with the half drilled or no. a part drilled. Use them with a hole drilled. Unless someone's going to pick your necklace up and turn it, they're not going to know. Pick you up by your feet. Yeah. And if they're getting that close to you, they best know you very well, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, personal space and all that. Um, okay, 699 is great. I think you all agree. That's why so many of you are there. Yeah. But Ross can go lower. He says, I want to sell out the first auction of this Sunday morning. Let's do it. Totally natural. Tons of you have wow. it in your basket. Good luck. We haven't got an unlimited amount, obviously. Just over 70 is what we started with this morning. Um, like I said, Amazonite. We used to do showcases of Amazonite, didn't we? Do you remember? I used to be yes. one of my favourite gemstones to do showcases of. Um, but we can't at the moment. There isn't the quantity. There isn't the quantity of Amazon. You remember we're competing with the likes of Monica Veneda, mm. who, by the way, has a lot of her jewellery made in the same place that we do. Um, but um, yeah, it, 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 she will probably pay a higher price point per carat for her gemstone right. because she only uses a small amount. She uses of it, less. She? Yeah, uh, small amount. Five ninety nine though. Oh my goodness me! I I, I have a Monica Veneda Amazonite ring um, that my husband bought me a few years ago, and it was three figures, and it's nowhere near this carat weight. I can tell you, it's equally as beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Kim, well done. You've got yours. Yvette, Gillian, Linda. Hello to you, Megan. Hello, Carolyn in Surrey. Hello, Bernadette. Hello, Kim in Hampshire. Hello, Michelle. Hello to you in Lanarkshire. Uh, Diane, nice to see you. I hope you're all well. Helen and Lucy, Paulie, new customers. Wow. Super duper duper busy today. Um, and well done for checking out nice and early. Don't forget your early bird. Oh, also, can I just do oh. like a little Moana vibe? The girls love this song, by the way. They're always singing. <laughs> the um, can you imagine that? Beautiful, yes, I can. As like a finished piece of jewellery. Yeah. Can you imagine that just sort of Perfect. wire wrapped with an Alison Tarry technique? That's amazing. Imagine that as a necklace. Oh, 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 I can, I can. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? All you need to do is like do get, really yourself, nice on, get yourself wrap. on that tropical beach. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. Tropical. Wherever. If you want to go to the Northfield Beach, you go to the Northfield Beach. <laughs> wherever you want to go if you want to go to barry island you go to barry island wearing your amazonite and ammonite necklace absolutely um, either way you're going to totally rock it um i love the uk coastline i oh, absolutely it's amazing. love it it's beautiful um okay let's bring you <laughs> I know, I know it's not actually a beach. We've got a man-made beach nearby to us as well. And it's great. It's great. It gets so busy. It gets so busy in the summer. What did you say? Head pins? Is it these little... Uh, these tiny... Oh! Little pins that you embed into your gemstones. Is that right? Uh, yeah, because I'm fairly oh. sure Claire's used these. I'll tell you what you could use them for as well. Studs by the look of it. Um, uh, maybe the bail would be a little bit too short. Would it? Sorry, the peg, yeah. Might be a little bit too short, I think. Okay. I, that wouldn't go through no, my no, lobe no, anyway. No, 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 that's fair enough. <laughs> Not saying I've got a meaty oh, yellow, but sweet. I don't think it would. Um, so you're getting, yeah, aren't they sweet? They'd yeah. be great for maybe, you know, you just said about using a full drill gemstone. Yeah, yeah. So you could put your, bag in, uh, your, your bail in one side and then the peg and in that's the, other. the other. There yeah, you know, absolutely. Should we do another closeout deal? 925 sterling flowers. silver. Lovely to kind of just, you know, embellish, yeah. I don't know, maybe a Baroque pearl. You could oh, use them really in... Nice. Um, the the centre of flowers. So if you make a wire work flower or something, you could pop those in the centre nice. of it. Yeah. They'd look lovely in that. 
in 48 seconds we're going even lower yeah. remember lovely jewelry makers you have until nine o'clock to make your confirmations every item on the website including your early bird will disappear um to be honest the early bird may well sell out before to that though uh, prior to that so many ways of using these yeah i was just thinking if you drilled a hole through your sheet metal yeah you could pop them on so if you're not a terribly proficient solderer uh-huh you could you could make a hole and pop that through the hole. Almost rivet it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I think there's lots of different yeah. techniques. But we're gonna do a closeout deal. These are genuine gemstone encrusted. Nice. Um, so we're not talking about um, yeah. imitation stones here. They are genuine topaz. Um, and they're pretty, aren't they? They're just really pretty. Nice little flourishes, a little mm. flourish that you can put to your gemstone. Um, so uh, three different designs, six pegs in, or pins in total rather. I suppose you could use them as a bale. $9.99 today. Wow. Amazing. Wow, that's brilliant. Absolutely amazing. And we've got lots of sterling silver to bring you as well. So, you know, alongside your deal of the day, you've got 20 diamond cut sterling silver chains just here. I mean, you could use them even in maybe, I don't know, popping them through one of your House of Suju Chantilly oh, lace yes. carvings, you know, if you wanted to just pop it just through the top there to give that little bit of detail, you could nice. do that. Um, uh, Center of a, like a donut. Nice. Like a smaller donut. Oh yeah, lovely, that's a great That'll idea. Look nice. I like that idea. And even if you glue them into place, there's nothing mm. wrong with that. All of your professional jewelers still use glue. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a, um, a faux pas in the jewelry making world. No. Linda, Stella, Pauline, well done. Rem Fuchsia, London, Sue, Penny, hello to you. Lots of you dialing through. Good morning. Keep those lovely messages coming through. We want to hear, to, hear from you on this glorious Sunday morning. Um, shall we bring some gorgeous neon appetites? Speaking of, oh, yes, um, <laughs> of holiday destinations, I woke up this morning, you know, and oh. it's not quite with it you know when you're kind of like in a little bit of a dolly daydream and I like, <laughs> turn my phone right make sure I turn the next alarm off so I don't wake everybody up um, and he just lay there for a bit not really realizing that I had to get up for work um, and just started looking at holidays I was like oh what are you doing Al you've got to get out of bed get out of bed um, I say that because this is a holiday it is neon appetite has got the most beautiful intense color it forms ordinarily in granular sizes and I think Dan just shouted out the average carat weight. <laughs> 0 0.15 is the average carat weight of this gemstone, yet here you are getting 230 wow. carats in a full metre long strand. So we Love worked it. it out the other day, yeah, that's well over a carat in each of those rounds, which is amazing. We're at 39.99. I mean, anybody that does things like your Marlas, anybody that does things Perfect. like your Notting, yeah. Kiss Cross. Yeah. Absolutely, all of those. Looming. If you want to use them for the loom, if you want to use them for macrame, if you want to use them with your with your um, kumahimo, you could. Nice. They're just about. It's probably about the biggest size I'd use with the kumahimo. But if you you know making stretches with them. Yeah, good old stretches. Interspersing with them, using them with the kits this morning yeah, with the big jump rom jump roams jump rings fabulous jump rones jump rones i feel like we need to invent something that's called a jump rone yes we need to jump rone um we, i can't believe we're doing this says ross yeah that's a meter it's not a normal it's you know crazy. it's not a 24 centimeter strand or even a 38 centimeter strand we're talking about a full meter and the average carat weight across each of those beads is over a carat um remember the jewelry editor's words the value of of appetite depends primarily on color saturation so specimens with a high color intensity command the best price size does matter when it comes to appetite since finding larger stones weighing over one carat is extremely wow. rare you have a meter of over one carat yeah so a meter and it's natural as well it's not sometimes appetite will be treated in some way shape or form to encourage the colors so that's two 200 beads yeah wow all over the 250 hang on we worked it out we worked it well out. If, if if there's 100 centimeters in a meter yeah there's two five millimeters in a centimeter yes. therefore that's 200 meters 200 approximately. 200 then that's how i work it out how amazing is that more than yeah. on each bit on yeah. each bead how amazing is that well done make sure you check out on those and you've got what half an hour let's do <clears throat> i love this strand um it, it it always goes under the radar and i feel like it shouldn't oh, yeah. black agate Stunning. love it it's literally that most perfect pitch black we're going to do this at what 
Really? Have you got a quantity of them? Oh, only 18, so you'll need to be quick. This is going under £10. There you go. Said it. Said it. Under £10. I know, Adam. Is your ghast flabbered? Flabbered. <laughs> flabbered. I know. I love black agate. I think it's one, you know, you've got black, you've got black jade, mm. you've got your onyxes, of course, you've got your spinels. But with black agate, it's literally silky. Oh, I know it is. It's so smooth, isn't it? It looks, it looks physically wet, yeah. doesn't it? And it always looks, it's going to sound awful, it's a black black. Yeah. You know, it's the sort of black Checks you put, black. yeah, you put next to other things and you go, I thought they were really black, and then you put that next totally, to it. Totally, totally. You know, even it's jet, beautiful. Which, yeah. which obviously jet black, is not as black as black agate. Right. Amazing, well done. I'll leave that with you. Congratulations. Um, okay, I can't believe we've got any of these. Oh, my <gasps> I goodness. love this. You, you were I've drawn been, to these. Oh. Now, when we first launched these, um, Oh, sorry, the first auction, literally over 500 of them went. Then we managed to reorder and 270 landed. Look at this, seriously. Um, 260 um, sold. We've got 10 left. You have rubellites no. in here. You have paraba colours. These are going to be on and gone. You are getting one. And it's Brazilian as well, Ross. It's Brazilian. I can't believe this deal. I mean, that one straight away is worth on its own. The price. <gasps> I How mean, much? to be honest, no, not that one. That one's too big. Maybe one at twelve ninety nine of the little ones. Maybe that one here. Uh, twelve I mean, ninety nine. That's still a great deal. That's rubellite because it has the presence of red within. You've got your Praber blues. You've got your indicolites. You've got chrome tourmaline. Yeah. And and any of those. I mean, great with your pearls. Yeah. Set them in your pearls, all the rounds and everything. Sand casting. Yeah. Perfect. Test, test it with one of the smaller ones first. Oh, what have you got? Oh, boo. I know. Boo. I know, I know. They're amazing, <laughs> aren't they? Um, let's do some amethyst. Our trusty <gasps> friend Love amethyst. It. Yeah. You, do, uh, you know, and again, it was one of those gems. Every single show that we used to do would have amethyst mm. in. Every, without fail, it would always have an amethyst strand in. But you don't see it now. Not, you hardly not, ever not, see it. No. Um, I, I don't know why. And it's lovely with so so many other gemstones. I know. And look at the colour of that. That is that is classic amethyst, yeah, isn't it? it? Is. It's what it's what you stereotypical, it's what you think of. It's yeah. that depth of purple. You literally, um it's, it's like it's, a royal amethyst. It's kind of like that ribena colour, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect ribena berry, that deep ultraviolet colour. Now I've got fifty available <gasps> straight away. Zambian amethyst, notoriously wow. regarded. Notorious is the wrong word, isn't it? Um <laughs> let me start again. Um uh, uh legendary, let's just yes. say. Um in terms of its location, you know that Zambian amethyst produces some of the best colour. Six ninety nine, absolutely. That deep ultraviolet regal purple. Who wants this under five pounds today? It's Sunday. Under five pounds. Under five pounds. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. It's Sunday, and that's going to be our excuse. That's our excuse <laughs> for the whole day. For the it's whole day, Sunday. absolutely. Who's having a roast today? Who's having a nice roast dinner? I don't know what I'm having when I get home. No, I, I, when I'm working, I'm not organised with a roast dinner or anything like that. But uh, well, John, John cooks anyway. Does he? Is he yeah. the chef? I'm more... Was, I'd there, say it's yeah. split between Tom and I, actually. Probably split. If it's a roast, I cook it. You see, I don't get back till about five, six o'clock yeah, at night. it's a long so. day for you, isn't it? Depends really? on the traffic. I'm hoping it'll be long. Next time we do a Sunday, come back to mine oh. and I'll do a roast oh, before thank you go. You. Although, though, you, you'll I be... I might be going to by the time yeah, you finish. tired. <laughs> Under five pounds. That's the thing. If you have Sunday dinner, then you've just got to lie on the sofa, haven't you? Yeah. Lie on the sofa and veg. Watch something, <laughs> a Sunday, some Honestly. Sunday viewing. Usually the Grand Prix. That's how it was when I grew up. Um, don't forget the Amethyst discount code. Oh, oh, oh Gloria. We, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Every time, Ross. Committed now. Every time we forget this code. Ah, oh, yeah, February babies. Make the most of it. Well because remembered. It's, it's still, we, can't, we can't go back on our word. It's still no, going no. under five pounds. And you still get, if you use Feb 10, there wow. we go, you'll still get an additional 10% uh, um, off. How amazing. 4 99 I love it. I absolutely love Amethyst. I think it looks beautiful with, I like it with jade eye, actually. Do you know, I'm looking at those pearls. I think it'd go really nice with those These pearls. These ones? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's give it a whirl, Alison. Oh, yeah. 
It's bringing out the sort of more pinky purpley yeah. side of the pearls. You're not wrong. They're gorgeous. Aren't they? These are coming up as well. The phone lines have gone nuts. Completely nuts. Yeah. For a uh, slight oh, graduation well done, in this round, which is absolutely beautiful. You could literally just knot it, couldn't you? Or oh, yeah. Just simply restrand it, or as you said earlier on, your good old stretchy bracelets. Yeah. You can never go wrong with that, can you? Um, make sure you do check out, though, because they are flying. Uh, Daniel's just got seven of his amethysts. Well done. West Midlands, Elizabeth's multi bought, Elaine's multi bought, Diane, Yvonne, Patricia, Gillian, Catherine, Emma's multi bought, Carolyn's multi bought, Surrey's multi bought, <laughs> Pauline's multi bought. Why wouldn't you? And I hope you're using your Feb 10. Yes. Alice, well done to you. Lovely as well on the phone lines. Uh, check out those baskets. And good morning. Spring is coming. I love tulips as well as talking about spring oh, flowers. Tulips. Oh, I love I love that the snowdrops are all out as well yeah. at the moment. And we've, we've got a couple of places where they have almost a snowdrop field it's beautiful oh it is oh yeah they're full so of them pretty, aren't they, they are um, are you talking about these whoppers ross adam can i get one of those really lovely gray busts i love these <laughs> they're Just like fireballs i know they're i need barack, i need, I need like one fireball. of those because i'm not putting this over the back of my hand it's too beautiful um You've got i can't believe Thank you. But I can't believe the size on these. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, cultured pearls. Bear in mind that the size of a cultured pearl is determined by the size of the mollusk and obviously how long it's left to form. These mollusks will have individually had to mature probably for at least three or four years before they even start. They even start the culturing process. If you, it's all about the size. You've got your five virtues and it's ticking every other, every, uh, there's two of you in for this one. There is only one, three oh. of you, I beg your pardon. These have to be some of the biggest, let me just position them for you. Some of the biggest. They're like Come spaceships. On. Oh my goodness me, Baroque pearls that we've ever brought to air. The size of them is up to 30 millimeters. They are huge colossal um pure nacre you can see that with that lovely mirror like luster there are five of you showing interest in this one strand that i have here in the studio i promise that we will bring it to you at the best possible price and look at how perfect they are you know whether you use them as individuals or whether oh, yeah. you knot them in one amazing necklace see i always remember lady gaga wore a necklace of House these of Gucci. yeah yeah and and that's what it always reminds me and i know that was a four-figure necklace oh ricocheted the desirability for five. baroque pearls yeah. yeah um after that film because it's, it's just literally her on the front cover isn't yeah. it, wearing these we've taken it to the lowest price tag for you well done um i have got the purple metallic ones these are the ones that tom <gasps> bought me is aren't they isn't it? You know, you can literally recognise pearl yeah. strands, and I see probably hundreds in any given week. Um, yeah, my husband bought oh, me these. He, was, he tuned in one day when I was talking about them, completely and utterly raving about the quality of the colour um, because they're some of the most intense purples. Wow. This is the, each and every single one of these pearls are little anomalies of nature, and what I mean by that is they're not dyed. The pearl colour that has, has literally occurred because those pearls have kind of rolled to the circumference, the outer lip of the oyster itself, where um, um, a mollusk shell will have the most intense mother of pearl um, shades. They share that with the, uh, through their nacre. These are some of the deepest natural purple pearls that I've ever seen. And yeah, my husband tuned in when I was talking about these the first time round, um, and I saw his name, I was like, is that my Tom? And messaged him. Um, the quality of these, the color is just unbelievable. I mean, look at that, they're berry-like, aren't they? Beautiful. They are. They're like that advert for that certain drink yes. we talked about earlier. Exactly, exactly <laughs> that. Now we're at four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Wow. This is why I always say, um, please, 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 at some point, and I know it costs money, get your pearls valued, mm. get them appraised, and maybe look at actually adding them to your insurance because the, currently they're irreplaceable for us. As a supplier to you guys at home, they are irreplaceable, even at what's on your screens right now. You know, our team are literally in Tucson. They might be on their way back now, actually. Um, and they'll have seen pearl strands like this 
this for literally, literally thousands. Um, hello to you, nice. Jane, uh, with the purple sapphire between price. Oh my goodness, we had yeah. purple sapphire yesterday. That's a great <laughs> idea, Jane. Lovely, it isn't was it? so beautiful that sapphire as well. That's a great shout. And and if you do that, yeah, get it valued. Can you put the old Mac with it? I definitely can. I definitely can. I think that would be lovely too. There's only one of these though. Oh yes. That were alternating. If you love Olmec, then make sure you're watching during the 11 o'clock hour because we have every Olmec opportunity in the entire business. So, um, and that's not many. 299, oh. again, it, it, to be able to get hold of this quality mm. of pills. For those of you that know me, I've sold pills since I was, uh, since basically my early 20s. Um, and something like this would have been for at the very least four figures, if not more. Um, again, not them, put them with, my, in my eyes, it, they deserve, they warrant an 18 karat gold class. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you can. And, and I know we don't supply 18 karat gold class, so um, I'm literally recommending that you buy uh, a one from elsewhere, maybe even your, your auction site. There are four of those remaining. You can get hold of them today for a crazy 299. That is so bonkers. low, so low. Um, Oh, this strand is beautiful. It's perfect. Oh, my goodness me, Ross. How much is this going to? It's not. How many have you got? Oh, my goodness me. I was chatting with Anne after a show. I was like, Anne, did you see the pearls that we had on? She went, I did. But she said, I can't buy any more at the moment. I was like, I could think I might buy them. Do you know what? And I, and I missed out. They sold out. I'm not too sad about that because, is it this, this one? Because I'm going to get these. Oh, my goodness me. You might. <laughs> There's only 10. There's only 10, so, yeah, we will need to be quick. Are you ready? Oh. Look at how perfect they are. Mm. Let's just quickly talk through. There are only 10 opportunities, the five virtues. I know so many of you know this already. It's like the four C's to a diamond, the, the five virtues are to a pearl. We talk about size. How big are the pearls? Well, these measure, have I got the, hang on. Do they come boxed as well? Have I, hang on. No, no. I'm gonna look at different specifications here. Okay, these measure what? 10 to 11 millimeter. Well, 10 millimeters is the equivalent to a three carat diamond. So they're huge. Then we talk about shape. Round pearls being the most expensive. Then we talk about color. Are these dyed? No, they are totally and utterly natural. It's beautiful. Then we talk about the nacre. The skin, if you like, of the pearl, much like you and I, we are living organisms. Um, you know, we have the occasional blemish on our skin, don't we? M pearls do too. And yet look at how smooth that nacre surface is, which leads us perfectly into the fifth of your virtues the Orient. How mirror-like are they? Can you see the surroundings? Well, look at the recording right now. You can literally see the light box in the actual pearl. If you, would, if you value my recommendation, I assure you these would be a fantastic purchase. If you knot them, if you mm. look at putting a high-end clasp, if you're looking for legacy, if you're looking for heirloom and you want to do it in pearls, here's a strand which would be absolutely fitting. Oh, So perfect. fitting. This is why, Alison, over the past probably three years, I say countless times, our pearl buying here at Jewelry Maker is some of the best in the world. Yeah. And I genuinely wholeheartedly believe that because you could easily see this pearl strand in your Yoko of London. Yeah. But do you know what the difference? It won't be the pearls that are different. It'll be the price tag. These will be 20 grand in Yoko of London. 299. They're perfectly spherical. I'm just going to say this out loud. If you don't get these, I am. There you go. I am, yeah, 100%. I haven't got my phone with me as of yet, but when we cut to a break, I'll be diving on these because <laughs> the quality of the pearls are just Brilliant. remarkable. Uh, they remarkable. are. And I'm with you. Definitely not them. The reason you're not them, A, because it's very fluid. Yeah. 
B, because you separate the pearls so yeah. that they're not rubbing against each other. And it's showcasing them. And it showcases them. And C, if anything happens, you're only ever going to lose one. Yeah. If, for God, you know, God forbid they break or they snag or whatever, you've only got to lose. Could you imagine losing the whole strand? Oh, you'd be heartbroken. You would be, and, and they're beautiful. I want you to forget something after you've made your confirmation. Forget the price. Forget it, because it's not relatable. It's not realistic. Yeah. Pearls of this calibre would not be £299. No. no. Anywhere else. They literally wouldn't be. You know, you've, have you got a sort of a high-end jewellers nearby to you or maybe in your nearest city? You try and find pearls like this in a triple figure price tag. Mm. And it, I think you'd be hard pushed if, it, I don't think you will. I don't think you will in all honesty. So please do, once you've made your confirmation, you know, forget the price. There are five left. Huge congratulations wow. to those of you that have confirmed. Yeah. That's just ridiculous in the best possible way. And you have 15 minutes um, to make your confirmations before every single one of the items in the eight o'clock hour disappears. Also giving you a heads up, um, as soon as we do cut to a break, I am going to move faster than Usain Bolt to grab my phone to get these in my basket and check them out as well. Because this is the kind of thing that I buy. I, obviously, I'd wear them as well, but I buy them for my girls because I yeah. know they're never going to move. When they're older, you know, I shouldn't imagine I'm going to be working here when I'm a little old lady, let's be honest. You know, and I'd like to be able to pass on um, amazing treasures like this. They're not going to be able to get hold of pearls of this calibre no. for £199. No way! No way! Heather, sorry, Linda, Hampshire, Buckinghamshire, West Midlands, and Anna, Gloucestershire. You've done it as well. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm jealous, but I'm delighted for you because these might well sell out before that break. Honestly, they are beautiful, and I would love to hear from you when these arrive on your doorstep because the reaction is going to be equal to. You can hear the excitement in my voice, yeah. can't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, that you're, that's how your reaction is going to be, and you're going to be the custodian. This is the thing: you're not buying a strand here. You're not buying a strand. We buy strands on a regular basis. You are buying a legacy right now. Mm. That's the quality that we have on our screens. Well well done huge Amazing. well done they are absolutely incredible there are just two of them left so i'll leave that with you and we are over allocated well done lorna um anna I, I don't know if i've given you a shout out yet honestly they're unbelievable congratulations um okay let's do oh these are so cool you know one um one amazing master carver imagine this yeah there's a boulder of jadeite, and you're like, oh, oh my God, that's jadeite. Jadeite. one of the world's thanks. rarest treasures. Yeah, thanks, Thank Elle. Thank you very much. Um, one of the world's rarest treasures. What shall I carve out of what it? What shall I carve out of it? And you might think a little figure, maybe. Ooh, you might yes. think maybe a dragon. Of course. Of course. Um, and you, uh, you might go, oh, oh yeah, well, I couldn't good. possibly do something that is um, interlinked. You know, because we've shown you pieces of jewellery where jadeite are, are so literally... What? Yeah, exactly. Um, where literally a chain has mm. been carved out of one boulder. You can't connect it. You can't no. sort of cut through your jadeite, open it up, close it and solder it together. You can't do that. It has to be literally carved out of one solid boulder. It's mind boggling. And yet that's exactly precisely what the carver has actually Incredible. done with these. It just blows my mind. You and I will know from being Welsh or being in Wales. Yes. Love spoons. Yes. They have carved links in wood. In wood, yeah. It, and the scale has always amazed me. Absolutely. That's in wood. You take that to stone and I just get blown away. I'm like, how would you do that? Something that's as hard as steel. I know. I, I, I've had to go at carving jadeite. It's, it is not easy. No, it's not. It is, I couldn't do it by hand. I couldn't even mark the jadeite. So... To do this, to have two beautiful mm. rings, so evenly. You look at the you look at the diameter of that. Yeah, it's so it's, even. It's, it's amazing that that was once upon a time one solid. Yeah, boulder. it is amazing. Can I also suggest Valentine's Day is coming up? Oh. How romantic would this be for Valentine's Chilling. Day? You know, yeah. how lovely. I was looking at Valentine's cards uh, <laughs> um, oh, last night. Um, but how romantic that you can literally have one of the world's rarest gemstones 
not 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 disconnected and soldered back together literally carved together Phenomenal. there are 10 of these available 79 pounds probably it's one of the most crazy. technically advanced yeah. carvings that we've actually brought you there are seven left five of you with the mini baskets remember you have only 11 minutes to make your confirmations it's also one of the one of the carvings that if if a mistake's made you can't have a happy accident you can't no, no. you can't change the design no you can't go oh well never mind i'll turn it into you know that that dragon didn't need to have an ear i'll, I'll put something else on there you can't do that literally oh, just feed it onto your, de that your dealer lovely. Day chains. yeah job done yeah i mean how beautiful is that how beautiful amazing they're coming up at 10 o'clock make sure you check out your baskets not just on this item on all of the items that we're bringing you this hour don't forget your early bird as well which is melting the phone lines um sorry what did you say ross item number one on the website the early bird you can shop ahead it is going lower half the stock has gone and that is a hundred so um well done to those of you that have oh, um, that. that have already shopped ahead. Yeah, we actually referenced this earlier on. Yeah. This is from the house of Suju, um, which is a little bit like uh, I tried to use this analogy the other day, and Dave corrected me. Um, it was like you, it's hard to make a comparison with the house of Suju. Ida Oberstein are renowned for being the best at cutting gemstones. However, there's a difference between faceting a gemstone and carving a work of art like mm. this. The house of Suju are renowned for producing this Chantilly lace, basically carved. Carving. Again, as Alison just said, something that's physically as hard as steel. Mm. This is done literally in an abrasive manner by hand. Look at the translucency. It's natural type A jadeite. We've shown you, literally, we've, we've, we've walked you almost to some of the booths, Mason and Kay um, at Tucson, literally uh, a couple of days ago. Okay. Um, you've got uh, Pillar and Stone. We've got 10 of these available, but you only have nine minutes to make your confirmations. This oh is the God. kind of piece that you know those those amazing jade uh, suppliers bring for thousands of pounds um, I again it blows my mind that we can do this 49 pounds and 99 pence it's hand carved it's not fake gemstones it's a type a Burmese yeah. jade the difference is we will work directly with those master cutters where they might sell one or two um, occasionally to, to, to other jade suppliers we will buy everything yeah. and that's how we negotiate the best possible price tag you can't this isn't machine cut these are literally done by hand imagine take again there's that bowl Older, you want to achieve something that is literally so wafer, perfect. wafer thin, and you also want it carved on front and reverse. Forty nine ninety nine, absolutely incredible. Stay where you are again on your deal of the day. Beautiful. I think that would be beautiful. Make sure you do check out. Shall we bring you that zircon, which <gasps> I know we only have a handful of? It is the last chance. Um, we launched it two weeks ago today. Um, then we brought it to you with Mark on Monday um, because Mark wanted to incorporate it into his demonstration. So originally we had how many? 525. I've, oh. got, I've got 21 left. That's it. So this has literally been... I had a, I had a, a, a meeting fire. with, um, with uh, our sales manager and, and our boss, uh, Wayne, just before he went off to Jaipur. And he was saying, he talks about, every week we do this, he talks about our, 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 the biggest auctions, basically. Yeah. This was up there. Oh, yeah. This was probably one of the biggest auctions we've done. Um, and do you know what? It's nothing I did. It's all, you recognise how amazing the quality is and it's incredible gem buying. Zircon is difficult to get. Wayne did actually say, I've got nothing on order. If I do get it, it's limited in quantity. It's not necessarily as eye clean, um, and it's not that price. It's not that price. Zircon is a natural gemstone. Don't confuse it with cubic zirconia. It's doubly refractive, as opposed to a diamond being singly refractive. That's why you're seeing more fire, that spectrum okay. of color at the back, um, because it splits light twice over. At 29.99, this is probably the last chance you're going to get to get uh, to get hold of this um, from the leading location of source in the world. That is Cambodia. 10 10 carats of this amazing gemstone that is as old as our planet. Under 20 pounds. Consider that. It's as old as our planet. Yeah, yeah. It's seen it all, Crazy. isn't it? It has literally seen it all. And do you think we stopped there? Maybe you weren't with us when we launched that 525 quantity. I had 25, uh, 21 left. Don't have that now, because Elaine, Surrey, London, Gabrielle, Julie, Victoria, Richard and Maria. Good morning, folks. I hope you're all well. You have six minutes on this hour to make your confirmations. Oh, 
More realistically, you've probably got a matter of minutes on the, the Zircon strand to make your confirmations. How beautiful would this be with some of the calibre of pearls that we've brought you this morning? Oh, it would be amazing. Oh, but also, say that jadeite yeah. uh, carving, just pop a couple of those into the, into the spaces. Yeah, lovely. Oh my gosh. Lovely. It's gonna, you know, it, it's gonna work on so many levels with so many. We talked about having spaces between your pearls. Beautiful. Those are going to reflect that, that nacre so well with that sparkle. All the fire, all the scintillation. Oh, yeah. Alison, this Absolutely. goes down in history, um, not just as oh, one of our, bi uh, our biggest auctions and fastest auctions as well, but also because of the quality of the mm. stone that we offer our viewers. This is that zircon. We had a that topaz. Yeah. This is that zircon. Um, Here's the price. Here it is. It's going to be a sellout. Well done, Dorset, getting five. I only had 21 at the beginning of this auction. Now I have probably single figures, it looks like. Oh, my goodness. 14.99. Yeah, absolutely. Oh so imagine light, goodness. white light. Yeah. This is one of the questions in, in accordance to the GIA. Literally enters into the gemstone. Yeah. Um, and then each of those facets, and, and because it is doubly refractive, it's difficult to facet zircons because it can blur, because it's so complex, if you like. So each of those facets, you want to bounce, out, uh, bounce the, the white light around. It'll bring you that fire spectrum, but it does it twice. So you get so much yeah. fire, more fire than a zircon, um, than in a diamond. Well, you might be thinking, well, why are zircons not shouted about from the rooftops? They are, but they're, not, they're, they're considerably rarer. Yeah, yeah. And, and they haven't had the millions and billions of pounds no. worth of advertising that diamonds have had. No, and the only reason to be as chose diamonds over zircon is because it's available. Diamonds yeah. are available. They're not as rare as we all think initially. Um, they are rare, don't get me wrong, but they're not as rare as zircon. Zircon, if it was marketed in the same way that diamonds were, would, would, would well, literally have, uh, um, would run out within a year. That's yeah, and that's say. probably why they don't do it. Exactly, exactly. But not Because they won't make the money, yeah, absolutely. Effective. Amazing, that's I think beautiful. that's sold out. Well done. I wish we had more of those, but yeah. yeah, unfortunately, that's the nature. That's the nature of Zircon. I've got seven left. Do you want to know how many are in baskets? Go on. Oh, how many are in baskets? 35 in baskets, and there's loads of you on the phone. You have three minutes on this hour for oh. those pearls, for any of the strands that we've brought you so far. You have three minutes to wow. make your confirmations. I'm going to bring you one more auction before we dive into um, our amazing early bird. Um, let's do some Herkimer, shall we? Talking of diamonds, oh, yes. often referred to as the Herkimer diamond, more often, actually, than Herkimer quartz. Um, it's not a diamond, it is a variety of quartz, but it, it, it performs in a very similar way. I've only got 25 of these. Lovely monochrome stone. Um, it, was, it was discovered actually in New York City. Yes. Cool. I know. So cool. And it's celebrated for having double termination. What that means is you've got that, that kind of prismatic. These are, these are naturally, natural. They're not faceted this way. This is how they're actually formed and unearthed from the ground. We're going to do a giveaway deal. One more auction before I dive into um, beautiful, beautiful early bird today. 12. No they're huge. Oh my, I was going to say that. They're the biggest turkomer I've seen. Yeah, because yeah, they're normally quite small, yeah. aren't they? Um, wow. Yeah, Adele literally wore herkimer courts when she, um, during her interview with Oprah. Oh, right. She had these yeah, yeah. massive herkimer courts wow. uh, um, earrings, of course, referred to as herkimer diamonds. Yeah, it's yeah. It's exactly the same thing. It's just cool. It's a really cool stone. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, when it was it's discovered in New York, it kind of replicates the skyline, I think, of New yeah. York. It's quite structural, isn't it? I yes. always think about the Empire State film. Uh, Empire State film. Building. <laughs> Building, rather. Um, have I... What, sorry? I've got... Box one, and I've got one on that. Yes, yes, I have. Then, yeah. Um, okay, just to give you, just to give you a bit of a reference, I have two left of these. Are these coming up when? We're going to do them now. Oh, let's dive Could into it. Could you imagine it. taking that bottom hook of a quartz you had there and popping it in the middle of that necklace, or oh, one either side me. of a central pearl? Again, these are two beautiful. Look amazing. Not to have. I'm going to show them up at the up. At, Thank you. Um, oh, Alison, yeah. Just 
We, we, we literally, oh, okay, straight away, look at the colours that you're getting within this. There are just two left. Um, and there's two of the zircons as well. You've got complete wow. rainbow colours, again, completely yes. and utterly natural. These are your nucleated pearls where you have, all pearls are nucleated effectively, but you actually have a, a sort of a, a, a smaller insert bead, so much more nacre, gives you that lovely colour, um, amazing luster. £299. Now, we're running out of time to give you a little bit of a heads up. Make sure you start checking out your baskets. I've got um, 119 of your early birders already sold out. We've only got 200 available i know they will sell out today this is so cool it's one of the most i think one of the most beautiful bales that we've actually had um and they are cultured pearls as well up next <laughs> this i'm thinking about alison you know you can get your traditional bales, yeah. can't you? You can get your traditional class, you can get uh, fastenings which do a function. Yeah. And that's fine. But then you can take it up a notch where in that design aspect. And that's what I think a lot of our audience expect now. They don't, there's nothing wrong with your sort of traditionals, no. and I think we'll always need those as well. But Sometimes you're looking for that li little bit more, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe you have, I don't know, a big Baroque pearl. You don't want, want just a traditional bale. You want something that is wow. Yeah. And we're talking about something that will be, if you like, it, it, it's not the main feature, is it? No, it's an enhancer. Yes. It's, it's, it's not going to detract from your big pearl. No. But it's not just a plain Jane sitting there going, oh, sorry, I'm just, just going to hold I'm just holding you. on. It's just a no. little, little round loop at the top or whatever. It's, it's a substantial enhancer for your pearl. And it, it's, it's... Or whatever. Whatever, yeah, absolutely. And it's those kind of levels of attention to detail that, to me... Like, for example, if I buy a piece of jewellery, which I do, it's not always for just from our sister channel I buy jewellery... It's those kind of details that I go to first because yeah. I know that if a bale or a clasp, uh, whatever, is, is made well, then the piece of jewellery is a high-end yeah. piece of jewellery. Oh, absolutely. I think, and I, I think you all agree, given the quantity that's already gone, this might well be our best bale yet. Yeah. It's Do you know what? And I was looking, when you were talking about the Baroque pearls... And I thought, how amazing would that be? You know me, outside the box. If you put one top and bottom in the pearl, but actually had it as a bracelet. Yeah, lovely. So you don't just need to use it to hang something down no, it's from. It's like a wishbone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. You could have a double-stranded bracelet with that, with that big paroque in the middle. It's like a wishbone like design. Amazing. These are beautiful, beautiful cultured pearl embellished onto a huge amount of sterling silver visualize i don't know a big keshi a big baroque or any other gemstone yeah. you might have labyrinth that you want to suspend from this if you wish at the moment we started talking about this this morning everybody started multi-buying everybody and i don't blame you i think you'd kick yourself if you don't to be honest if you've got a a, a bench press drill yeah drill your ammonite oh and prop that down from it. Amazing. How amazing would that look with it? Perfect. Oh, my goodness I me, yeah. I think that would look lovely with it. Yeah, absolutely. These are absolutely flying out the door. It is brand new. Wow. I think, judging by... We always gauge things by our call screens. That's the, that's the yeah. most accurate way. It's not Facebook, it's our call screens. Um, and basically, I can tell... We, we, we will re reiterate to our, um, our, to our team, we need to buy these again. And what yeah. do you think, jewellery makers? How about with rubies? How about with sapphires? How, you know, how about with your zircon? How about bringing this design with different gemstones in nice. there as well? Um, we told you from the start that it was not stopping at 17.99. I can tell you probably about 98% of you have chosen to multi-buy on this. Um, everybody will pay that final low. Charmaine, you were one of the first in there. Sally, you've just done it. Buckinghamshire, Cheryl, Jean in California. Conway, Linda, Surrey, Valerie, Veronica, Pauline, Cumbria, Sue, Helen, West Midlands. I can't honestly, there's tons and tons and tons of you there. Um, however, 
you've got to remember we've only got 200 of them that's 100 people multi-buying all of a sudden this 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 early bird is over in a in a heartbeat so please don't leave it in your basket no. 12.99 these are beautiful freshwater cultured pearl encrusted ah oh, we're still not stopping there says ross <gasps> we're not what stopping is? there really he says let's take it under 10 pounds oh wow let's let's do it even with all the confirmations, we were still going to bring it to you, that amazing early bird price tag. It, do you agree? Hello, Amanda. I have the honey jade from yesterday. Oh, that would look amazing. Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Or maybe you got, I don't know, the, the Bronca Onyx. Uh, do you remember that drop? Yeah. How lovely would that be on the, top, the bottom of those? Oh, yeah. Um, hello, Jane, oh. saying that bale as a pinch bale would be great for a jade or a pearl oyster that was on yesterday. Great nice. call. Amazing. I don't know whether it's... He's had it or it's coming up, the whirl beads. Yes. Because uh, um, I've had some before as well. Um, Mark's got them yep. coming up again. They'd look amazing on there. Beautiful. Drop one of the whirl beads. Oh, there's Anne again. It's Absolutely beautiful. In-house designer Anne getting them. Well done, Anne. I don't blame you. Brand new today. Do you think we need to get more? I'd yes. like to see these with Ruby. I'd love, I'd love to Ruby. see these with like a blue, blue sapphire. Topaz. How about... Oh, gosh, yes, Ross. Oh. He says... How about alongside, at the end of the nine o'clock hour, oh. one of your faceted pearls? Yes. Yeah. Just one. Amazing. Just literally one suspended from there. How beautiful. And we have it in natural purple colour as well. Uh, 9.99. We had 200 of them. We've got, I can see people literally coming back in and up yeah. in their quantity as well. Um, hello, Margot, saying, um, how wow would it be with a pearl and a chain waterfall? Yeah. It would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Margot, we've actually got chains coming up as your deal of the day today. This is a thing. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I haven't got the pendant here. Um, but, so, look, your deal of the day today is... 20, 20 sterling silver diamond cut chains. Here we that's, go. That, that's bonkers. That's another bonkers one. Honestly, I've seen one single pearl chain at the silly price we're taking them today. It is silly Sunday, absolutely. Look, isn't but that look at that. Beautiful. Look at how beautifully it's going to hang. Yes. It's going to sit perfectly on the decolletage with whatever you choose to suspend from it. I'm visualising a big keshi or something mm. like that, a big keshi or big uh, uh, baroque. Whatever you choose, nine ninety nine. It just takes it to another level. This has literally melted the phone lines and the web, and I'm not surprised by that. Big grandma of sterling silver coming up straight after the break we have got this amazing ammonite there are only 30 though um amazing wow. piece of history well all gemstones are but this is visually that piece of it history is. i want that um it's coming up the other side of the break um i'm going to give you 60 seconds for your early bird till we close this auction and every other item that we have brought you within this hour. So make sure you check out. Hello, Linda. Um, it's deals like this that make JM my go-to place. Oh, how yeah. lovely, stunned oh. by um, and unique. How lovely of you to message yeah. that in, Linda. And I agree. Do you know what? I couldn't be prouder working for this company and everything that they bring our lovely audience. I, 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 I'm not too proud to say that I wouldn't be able to afford. Uh, I wouldn't be able to afford those pills if I didn't work here. I have got a whole collection of stuff I wouldn't be able to No, afford. precisely. Make sure you check out your baskets on this beautiful early bird and likewise with all of your amazing pearls, um, strands that we've brought you, the amethyst, the amazonite. Yeah, the faceted pearls are coming up at the top of the next hour. We've got beautiful kits with our lovely Alison. Check out your baskets. Don't miss out. We'll see you after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Alison Terry here. No, I'm not doing my New Year's resolution and exercising. I wanted to fetch you a quick sneak preview of our brand new tool set. This isn't all of them. Coming to you at 12 o'clock this Sunday. It's all about the rings. They're all for shaping. If you do want to use them for exercise, that's up to you too. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back. Oh no, you can you crack on. It's all good. What is an ammonite? Firstly, there is a difference between an ammonite and an amylite. And I know our team were literally in Tucson um, with Tom only a couple of days ago, who's an amazing, amazing character and our go-to really when sourcing these inc incredible treasures. Now, ammonite is the original creature, if you like. Amylite is the wafer thin skin where you get that bright colors um, across the surface that's what you make into jewelry yes. effectively but somewhere within this powerpoint i'm going to talk about what an ammonite is firstly and at some point i'm also going to highlight that less than five percent of any any ammonite that is discovered will actually have an iridescence so firstly, imagine that you've got to find a fossil, a yes. prehistoric fossil, firstly. Yeah. But then less than 5% of those fossils will actually have this color. Wow. So rare. What is an ammonite? You might be transported back to your school, uh, school days. Well, ammonites were, and I'm gonna show you the, the, the amazing fossil that I have here. Ammonites were sea creatures. Um, that were close, re close relatives wow. to today's octopuses and squids, but they lived inside a shell. The shell was made from the mineral um, aragonite, a shiny mineral that pearls are also made from. As they grew inside, in size, sorry, ammonites added new chambers to their shell, forming a spiral. The hollow inner chambers of the shell acted like air tanks to help them float. 
Ammonites lived through the sea and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. They died out, so look, they consider it, they lived a long mm. time. They died out 66 million years ago. Wow. So when you're looking at, when you're holding your ammonite, don't just think, ah, 66 million years ago. It might be one of the first ones. Yeah. It might be 425 million years wow. ago. That gives me goosebumps. And they literally look like this. Wow. In medieval Ooh. Europe, people thought ammonites were fossilised snakes. So they grew those compartments yeah. the older they were. So that's actually, yeah, you're, you're the right way up. The, the recording's upside down, isn't it? Am I holding it the right way up? That's it. They'd be, they'd be like that, wouldn't they? Yeah. How oh, amazing. Isn't Mother Nature amazing? It, truly amazing. Now, we have 36, but remember this. Wow. Not only have we got here a prehistoric fossil, you have to find that fossil, mm -hmm. and then less than 5% will demonstrate any iridescence. Are you ready for this opportunity? Yes. I, I said earlier on, if you've got grandchildren, nieces, nephews, or you've got friends who've got younger children that do school projects, I think you need to get one because I mean, show and tell and things like that. My little six-year-old's off to the dinosaur, I think it's Dinosaur World at the Hippodrome next month. And she's going to be learning about things like this. Imagine being able to show her teacher, look, look, mum, uh, look, you know, Mrs. Whatever, I've got, uh, or Mr. Whatever, I've got, I've actually got an ammonite. I mean, how cool, how cool. They are fascinating. We are literally looking at, can, you know, can you ever imagine holding a dinosaur bone? Yes, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, we're basically holding something as exciting as a dinosaur yeah. bone, you know? Um, that's, it's the same equivalent age, if not older. At 29.99, you are potentially holding something, a piece of our planet's history, there are only 25 left though, that is 425 million years of age. We do not have any more. The first, we had a, um, an unpolished ammonite, um, which we actually, actually had lesser quantity of. That sold out in seconds. We had a slightly more quantity of this one. It is totally natural, guaranteed today. This is, this is gonna blow your mind, Alison. Mm. No, <laughs> it's asking me to re-log in. <laughs> you are? Just hang on there a minute. You know, something oh. that is 425 million years of age. Uh, 20 quid. You know, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's so exciting. And I guess if you love your gemstones, you're going to absolutely love the sort of geology, the paleontology side of things as well. Much yeah. like amber, a lot of the excitement within amber is not just how beautiful the gemstone is. It's the fact that it has that amazing um, history and story behind. And it's an obvious history. You know, when you look at a ruby, which, again, forms over millions of years and, uh, as well, um, or maybe a zircon, as we said uh, earlier on, it's sold out. Oh, did you miss out? Oh, Alison, I'm sorry. She missed out. Well done, everybody that managed to get hold of that. It's absolutely beautiful. It, uh, they're just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Congratulations. They have sold out. So sorry. You can always wish list it. And I, we will speak to Wayne, won't we? We'll speak to Wayne. Um, see point. if we can bring that again. Um, okay, coming up at the top of the hour. Oh, I've lost my bust. My bust has gone again. Um, we've got very, very few. It's a limited opportunity. It always will be. Faceted pearls, which was only ever achieved for the very first time in 1998. Hundreds of little facets. Only the best quality pearls are actually faceted because you have to have the thickness of nacre. Now, we've got them in the white and... Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? And this is very... Oh, my goodness me. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Look this will be affordable. That. It's not going to be affordable. But we will bring it to you at the best possible price tag. If, can you imagine if your budget allowed getting the two strands oh. and knotting them in alternate, alternating colours? Wow. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery? Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, that that, 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 that would that would need to be insured for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, these are coming up at the top of the hour. Extremely limited though. Um, okay, my goodness me, how exciting! Alison, these kits are joyous. These kits are amazing, aren't I, they? It's so lovely to see. I think this is kind of going. We're going back to our roots. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But but we never had these big jump rings. No, in they're those hoppers, days. aren't they? They're fabulous, aren't they? I love them. I love them. And I, and I I know I returned to a to an old faithful of mine, but I could not resist doing them in a rose, doing them in the oh, uh, Mobius those ring. Oh, are lovely. Just couldn't resist because they just do form a rose. They're yeah, just they do. beautiful. Love those. Again, I'm, I've got to say, very on trend at the moment. If oh, you look gotcha. at places like Ashley Clark or uh, Misoma or Suru, it's all about the texturing of the, yeah. um, the exterior, if you like. Yeah, we absolutely. call it a jump ring, but basically those halos, if yeah. you like. It's all about that at the moment. Now, you've basically got, what, three kits? Yeah. Three different kits, beautiful colorways. If you pop along onto the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, um, coming up on today's show, you'll see your faceted pills. They are not stopping there. Um, all the kits are available on pre order as well Ooh. as those jump rings, too. Wow. So you can shop ahead. Any questions that you have for lovely Alison, then um, do feel free to text us because we are live here in the studio. So three kits, but then you've got those amazing jump rings as well coming up in today's show. Look at those. Alison, they're fabulous. I had so much fun with them. <gasps> do you see what I mean? Let me, let me turn that round. That's you. amazing. Adam was like, I knew you'd love that, Elle. Yeah, that's so cool. Hang on. You so you can buy your jump rings separate. They are yeah. coming up. That's so cool. It's looks chunky, like it's, chunky, amazing jewellery. That looks jewelry. like a very expensive piece of jewellery. Oh, absolutely. And so easy to make. Really? So easy to make. I'm excited. Well, yeah, that's just, I mean, I, I can show you that in, in a few minutes. Can you? Yeah. I'm that, excited. Um, it's not what I'm going to demo, but I can no, also no. throw that in because it is so quick. Really? Yeah. Now, let's, let's, what colourway would you like me to start with, Roscoe? Let's start with the pink. Yeah. It's oh, like a geez. hot fuchsia. Yeah. Hot fuchsia pink. Yeah, not like a candy floss pink. It's like a, it's like a chartreuse. It's a grown-up. It's a grown-up pink, yeah. Hot Beautiful. pink. Yeah, it is hot pink. No, you um, know me. I'm not a pink, but I love these. Yeah, I like these. Tiger's well. eye in this Ooh, is nails. amazing. Um, Adam says he's not a pink, but he likes a bit hot pink. Yeah, absolutely. Look how beautiful. So this is Tiger's Eye, uh, known for uh, normally like a dark brownish golden like mm. colour. It's got that wonderful phenomena effect that is called chatoyancy. Tiny microscopic platelets within this gemstone grabbing the light and uh, basically producing a phenomena, almost like a migration. You get the two sizes, so you're eight mils and your 10 millimetre rounds, um, both 38 centimetre strands. I mean, I, hang on, hang on a minute. What are these kits going to? Wow, okay, yeah. okay. I so, didn't know that. <laughs> uh, for the 10 mil strand, I'm happy, yeah. I am hell. Um, that strand on its own, actually, the 10 mil, apparently, if we were to bring it to air on its own, would, would be about 12 99 yeah. which I think is great. The 8 mils, about 9 99 Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So straight away you're talking about £23. Yeah. But you don't just get that. You've got 10 metres of your 0.6. So can I rosary link with this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have done a little bit of rosary linking with rosary. it. Yeah, so the links oh, are yes, here are rosary have. links. And you're getting Absolute. three uh, silver-plated... Uh, metal jump rings which are eight millimeters uh, sorry 18 millimeters in their size so you're getting those three um, jump rings within this kit as well um, okay great saving even if you are thinking about okay I'm not a wire worker well it's a great saving on the strands mm. <laughs> it's a great uh, alone even if you're separating all of these components but I haven't used the wire as a wire worker no per se I've used it to connect so so the gemstones in the middle are using the the 0.6 wire so I, and and the bracelet and there so they're all connected with the 0.6 wire so that's how you attach it that's how you you hang them in there those are lovely i love those you really yeah absolutely statement you know yeah. when jewelry is the outfit rather yeah, than yeah. clothing that's what these would be the trend for 2023 is all about your big earrings your yep. chunky earrings 
your, your chains, layering those up. It's all about that sort of thing. And any way you can show your gemstones in, brilliant. Perfect. Well, these, these kits, kits are fabulous. These kits trend. are perfect for that. Nineteen ninety nine. We rarely Crazy. ever see the, the you know the coloured tiger's eye. When we do, it's incredibly popular and it is busy this Sunday morning. Um, very, very, very busy. How many do we have of these? Oh, it's limited. I'm so sorry. We've only got 40 available, but do have a little look because we've got the green tiger's eye as well and oh. the blue coming up as well. Um, and you can shop ahead on your jump rings also. 19.99. You know, normally when we bring you the tiger's eye strands like this, they're in a showcase yeah. and they're individually, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've told you, you're already getting a saving just on those two strands, plus you're getting all the added extras. Ella, Catherine, London, June, Claire, well done to you. Teresa, you've got yours. Um, Pauline, the strands... Strands alone should be 23, but you're getting the wire and you're getting those silver plated jump rings also. Yeah. Um, plus, of course, the inspiration and the talent of uh, Alison Tarry. Um, all of that for free. All of that for free. We'll bring you the other colorways in a few moments' time. Alison can cue me when, we, uh, when you want to bring okay. those into air. But you can shop ahead and pre-order on those colors. So the green, I love the green. Um, and then the, the blue green. is coming up. We'll do the green one next. What are you going to demonstrate, lovely Azataza? So, well... I'll show you quickly how to do the, 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 the Mobius. That, that is a very, very quick. But I also wanted to, because I was playing with um, connecting them. So, so the copper on its own is a little bit of chain mail. But if you, if you hang a gemstone in the middle of it, it pulls that center ring out of place. Okay. So I've wired it. So I wanted to show you how... Well, you have blue... to turn it around a bit. Sorry. That's it. So the blue one... Um, I'm going to show you how, how I've done this chain and the green chain. So this is using, this is using your, your wire. Um, occasionally, so occasionally I've added in um, an additional jump ring. Yeah, which you've mostly got an our yeah. stash anyway. Yeah, yeah. But the, certainly the, the, um, the one down there, the green one, the bracelet, is, is just pure, pure with the wire. And the, and the jump rings. These jump rings are amazing. I absolutely love these. So four, let's do, let's do the, let's do these, um, what are they called? Russian. Mobius. Mobius, okay. So the big ones, um, the, the very big ones I used seven with, these have got six in. Ooh. So any of the sizes will work. Pick your six jump rings. Now these, these are, are fabulous. I mean, the joins on them are brilliant. So get your first one, open it. Do it, you, you can do it by your hands. They're, they're really quite strong. Mm. Um, if you want to use pliers, use pliers, but because they're so big, they will work by your hand, okay? So pop two together, then open, if you open them all actually, it just makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna do, two very quick demos <laughs> okay so you've got them in the only thing you've got to watch is pay attention to which way they are and always do it the same way so that's gone through and then twisted back towards me i'm going to put the next one through and it's already twisted towards me so if you have them in opposite directions it won't lie as smoothly yeah. and you'll soon see so see how they're sort of stacking one on top of the other Pop your next You're one in. You're creating almost a vortex, aren't you? You are. Cre that's a nice one. I like that. So pop the next one in. Pop the next one in. Come on, in we come. There we go. You can hear the snick. They're so, so when they go down, you could stop at that level if you wanted. You can go until you just get a complete ball and can't get any more in. And because these are the, the thicker ones, because there's two thicknesses of the jump ring, that, that's just perfect. And then if you wanted to pop, come on, out you come. You know, you, you're just going to wire your stone in the middle of that. How incredible is that? Yeah, beautiful. I love it. You could set that on a ring if you wanted. Oh, lovely. You could just have one. That's brilliant. So these are, these are great easy makes. That's a really statement. And so, so I know we've said they're, they're really going back to our roots kits. Yeah. But they're so on trend at Massively the moment. On trend, yeah. So on trend. Okay, so that's how to do your um, Mobius. Come on, out you come. There you go. So I've used um, the largest one and a smaller jump ring, a smaller um, one of the rings to set in each other. So for the necklace, for the earrings, 
all I did was do that and then pop one on a head pin so you've got them coming down. For the bracelet, I've done this. Get yourself some of your 0.6 wire. Um, you want you want three to four inches. That's plenty. You've got loads of wire, so don't worry about having a bit left over. Put it in your put little um, box and save it. Did you hear about my um, my wire? You know, I always tell people to save the wire. Yes. All the bits. We've we we took it to um, to the scrappy. And how much? Go on. One hundred and eleven pound. From your little bits. From my little bits of scrap, scrap wire built up over time. I'm not Silver. saying. Silver. No copper. You plated copper wire. the copper and plated no. wire. One hundred eleven pound. Just save your bits. You know that. Uh, that's over several years. I was expecting you to say that that was 925 sterling silver. No, no, that was that was scrap. Yeah, but it's like 100 odd quid for nothing. Yeah, it's just Amazing. it's just what you'd normally throw away. So so when I trim off that bit there, so I've wrapped it twice round, I'm going to trim it off um there. That little bit will go into my pot. That all builds up. And then you take all that off to off to the scrappy it goes. Yeah. 111 pounds. Happy days. For nothing. How much could you buy with that? Oh, more kicks. So, pop, absolutely. Pop on your gemstone. Try and get the, the join. Not You don't want it under where you're wrapping. So we're going to wrap once, twice around there. Then take it so that it's, it's sort of gone... Come here. It's gone flat over the top. We're going to take our next jump ring sit it on the top so that it that's why you want it flat so you can get that nice flush finish and then fetch the the wire back through and wrap a couple of times then you've got your link forming trim off if you've got the um flush cutters and i still haven't um put mine back in the bag um these are an old pair um if you got the flush cutters the other day perfect for doing this sort of thing so there's your initial link then to make the um, bracelet, I connected these. The reason I wanted this wired for the bracelet is if, if you had it like that, it, it moves. So I wanted it to sit there so that they'll hang down and, and, and not go away. With a necklace, it's fine because they drape. So you can just jump ring it. But with the bracelet, um, I didn't want them. So you can see I've actually put it on upside down and you can see they're just pulling away a bit. You just turn that over and then they'll hang um, perfectly OK. So to do a rosary link, like I say, these are nice, easy makes. So I did the larger, um, what's they called? Tiger's eye in, in the middle. And then for the, for the rosary links, I'm going to use the smaller one. Now, how I normally do my rosary linking if I know how many I'm going to do, I would slide them all onto the reel and do it on the reel. If I'm doing individuals, just take a bit of wire, bend it round so that they're both coming back the same direction. Take your pliers out and reposition. Then you can wrap, take it round down the side of the wire and wrap. You only need to do a couple of wraps because it's 0.6. I would normally do at least three wraps with 0.4 so that it would hold. Do, do a couple of wrap, laps, wraps, I can't say wraps. Where's it gone? Trim off that little bit of wire. And then you get your loop. If it's slightly off to one side, don't worry too much. You can reposition it, but to be fair, no one's gonna notice. Pop your gemstone on. I mean, these would probably go on a, point, uh, a one mil wire hmm. as well. Slide it down. Now you need to get that gap because you've got to wrap round. So if you put your pliers on and just push it down, then you want also a little bit of a, a larger loop than you normally would, just because you've got a bigger jump ring. So I'm just making that a little bit exactly the same way. You've twisted it round, you've got your little P, turn your pliers round and then you can wrap around. And then you get your, come on, thank you. You can get your perfect little rosary link. Pop your, oh, that's the trouble, you've got to try and find out where the link <laughs> They're is. They're that good, yeah. Yeah, so pop that on. 
and then you'd add one the other side and connect, make all your units of this and connect them up and then that's your bracelet. All you need to do is pop a chain. Or earrings. Or, or your earrings, yes, you could, you could just pop that straight away as an oh. earring or you, like I say, you could just pop one of those in the middle. Alison, like speaking of this green kit, I yes. think this kit's going to fly. Oh, I do. I think um, it's so rich. I think green is such an yeah. on-trend colour at the moment. Um, and I just literally dropped uh, um, Ross an email as, you know, as we were speaking because I was like, my goodness, I'm sure this, this, this reminds me of something. You know, you have that moment in your mind where <clears> you think, like, what did I see the other day? And it was Van Cleef and Arpels, um, oh, nice. who I follow on Instagram. Yeah. And there was just one picture that they had. And yeah. it's, it's, it's all <gasps> about, they, they bring Tiger's Eye, they're hugely yeah. into Tiger's Eye. But this was one of their um, uh, posts on their, on their social media platform. I mean, it's wow. not, I don't, this is Malachite, but yeah. I don't think it really matters. It's all about that beautiful Agreed. colour. You know, it is very reminiscent of a Malachite It is green, very, it? very similar, only it's actually got magic to it. Yeah, it's if, got the if that makes sense, yeah. you've got that, that, that movement within. Um, it's hugely popular at the moment, this sort of deep, vibrant, luscious green, and it just works in Tiger's Eye. Um, because you get, I, I, I've said it so many times, I was always a little bit reluctant with dyeing Tiger's Eye because I was thinking, oh, it's going to stop the chatoyancy, but it doesn't, it actually emphasizes yeah. it. Um, you're getting two strands in this kit. How many have we got, Roscoe? Oh, I wish there was more. I wish we had like 265. Yeah. It's, oh, you know, my point is, I, it's such an amazing color that I think everybody can wear. Yes. And it looks amazing with your demonstration. So alongside the gold. Now within this kit, you get the two sizes, 10, eight, and you get your wire that Alison was literally just demonstrating. 0.6, 10 meters of, plus then you're getting, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. I knew yeah, this would fly. It's the quality of the stones, isn't mm -hmm. it? And it's such a lovely colour. It works, I think, because it looks, it looks expensive, it doesn't does. it? It, it? It so does, and it should be. Yeah. Because it, it is so lush. It's just beautiful. And you, do, I was like you when we first did the, um, the dyed tiger's eyes. I'm like, well, isn't that going to kill it? But it yeah. doesn't. It no. enhances no, it. No, yeah, 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 exactly. It's, Stunning. We've got 65. We don't need to do this, but we will. Be oh. Purely because, I mean, there's 65 of them. That's for a Sunday morning. That's not a massive quantity, but but it's bigger than the pink one. So look, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that's our excuse. That's a good excuse. Uh, let's, let's let's roll with that, shall we? We are going to take it lower. We've got 65, or rather, we had. There's a ton of you there. I knew you'd love this. Mm. It's just beautiful. And again, we are looking, as with most gemstones, we're looking at it in its worst possible lighting conditions. Oh, You've got to remember that we're effectively in a big box. There's no daylight in the studio. No. Um, we have got, it's not fancy twinkly spotlights like you would find in Van Cleef and Arpels. It's literally floodlights above Alice and I, which is great for us. <laughs> you know, you can see Alice and I, but not so great for gemstones like this. When you get it home, you'll see that wonderful migration of light that occurs within the gemstone naturally. You can see it in the recording. In the recording, it's exactly. so beautiful. I mean, even if you just knot these together, how beautiful yeah. would that be? Well, exactly. I mean, I haven't used the fixed jump rings that you get Rosemary with each kit. Game. You can you can very easily incorporate those. Oh, they're full those. jump rings. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, which I because I concentrated on the the textured ones, I didn't actually use those in it at all. As it has it. Away. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's amazing. Happy Sunday morning. This is why. These are fab. You're going to have so much fun with these jump rings. Absolutely. Make a belt with them. Snap this opportunity up as yeah. soon as you can because that is an absolute steal of a deal. An absolute steal. The jump rings are coming up, so don't wait too long. You haven't got too long to wait for those. In fact, you don't have to wait at all. They're on pre-order right oh, now. They? There were 65 of this kit. There are people multi-buying. I love it. I think it's it looks so expensive. It does. You know, I, I can't afford anything from Van Cleef and Arpels. And even if I could, I don't think I could justify the price tag, to be truthful. I admire their pieces, and they are literally amazing, amazing creators. But look at that, look at the pendant just at the bottom. Yeah. Just in the bottom right hand side that's that's actually malachite not tiger's eye but they do use tiger's eye but that's one single slice 
one single slice it's all about this beautiful green now yeah. that's what's important to me here and that's what it made me think of when i was looking when i was looking at you demonstrating i was like this reminds me of van cleef so much so because the texturing yeah. of the jumpings yeah. as well just before we dive uh, back into your demonstration no we're, we're, oh, we're, we're done we're all done. good we're all we're good done. Done. That, um let's i'm just playing i'm sitting here playing before we bring the jump rings rather sorry that's just one same thing, only with the, the largest size I jump rings, this. making a rosary. That's so Th cool. They're just fab, aren't they? Yeah. Um, okay. Mm. With, with that in Spring the middle. Spring of the blue. I just Ooh. love that. It's a rose, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Do you know, there's got to be parts of our planet... <gasps> love that. ...that have this colour. I don't know where, though. I love it. Look how beautiful this colour is. I'm Can sold on this kit just on this one strand. Yeah, absolutely. There's a place in Malta called the Blue Grotto. And it's been several years since I went there, like about 35. But that's what that reminds me of. Really? Yeah. I the think light hits there. it. Have you been to the Blue Grotto? Yeah. Lovely, fabulous place. I always regret I didn't dive there. Look at how beautiful. I'm sold on this kit just on that one strand. Yeah. You don't just get that one strand, though. You also get um, your sesame jasper, which I think works. So it's got a level yeah. of... It, it's got a... I mean, it's not turquoise. It's, it is a jasper, but it's got that turquoise appearance, yeah. hasn't it? And I'm not just talking about the colour. You get these, which are 8 millimetre rounds. Absolutely beautiful. They work well together. Teaming it alongside your silver-plated wire, which is 0.6. And then you have your closed silver plated jump rings as well. Like I said, even if you use them elsewhere. Well, you see, I'd have, I'd, I'd use them as halos and have uh, an earring and pendant set yeah. from those jump, closed jump rings. That strand on its own should be twelve ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, for me, you, 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 all right, it's a little bit more, but fractional mm. but that strand i'd happily happily pay 14.99 for that one strand absolutely you, i mean look at everything that you're getting here reels of 0.6 wire once upon a time was 10 pounds wasn't yeah. it yeah wasn't it um once upon a time absolutely beautiful kit how many do we have of this 40 just 40 available opportunities um and wow. yeah they're proven to be very popular you can shop ahead on those magnificent jump rings there's a sentence i never thought i'd say i know um but they are a magnificent aren't they and again they very reminiscent super. of the trend of sort of beading or or texturing yeah. you... your um your metal work um we're done ross ross all good um, so let's do the jump rings. These are about to sell out, so do make sure um, do sh make sure you check out on those. Let me just give you a little bit uh, of uh, a sneaky peek of your deal of the day before we bring you the jump rings. Well done to those of you that oh. have shopped ahead on those. Here it is. Um, not one, not two, not five, not ten. 20 diamond Crazy. cut 20 yeah diamond cut sterling silver chains and if you're watching for the first time you might be thinking why on earth do i want 20 why would i want 20 chains if you love your jewelry even if you don't make jewelry you know i i prefer to have a chain per pendant i can't yeah. be bothered faffing around swapping them around i'm lazy like that and i will freely admit it um but if you gift I'm going to tell you this is perfect for gifts because so many times, think of the bale that you had as your early bird. Mm -hmm. Think about all the lovely sterling silver components or the half-drilled gemstones that you could literally suspend all of your seed yep. beading or your wire work that you could suspend from these. Yep. It's chains that I think if you are a lovely, generous uh, um, jewellery maker and you gift or sell, chains are a necessity. Um, it's always one of the items that I sell out of first. This... Head pins, or yep. out of head, uh, one out of head pins as well. Those are the two components for yep. me. Um, so they're coming up at 10 o'clock. Make sure essentials. you don't miss out. They are absolute essentials. Shall we do the jump rings? Oh, go on. What colour first? <laughs> say, say gold. <laughs> oh, yes. Little ones the on little the ones. Let's do the little ones first. Okay. Um, right, so you've got two different sizes. They are the only sterling silver jump rings. So the same technique that you did yep. with those big jump rings you can, you can do with these. Absolutely. If you do things like chain mail, if you uh, um, create stretchy bracelets and you want to put that little yep. pop of luster, if you want to suspend a charm, um, jump rings do so much more than just attach clasps. Yes. 
But the, yeah, they're, they're an essential. You're going to use them to attach your clasps. You're going yeah. to use them as a bale. You're going to use them um, to join chain together, to attach pendants or, or a neck piece to chain if it's not one that sits on a chain, but you need chain. Mm -hmm. You're going to use jump rings all the time, but you, you can use them. So you can do your Mobius rings with them. You can do the other design with them. Yep. You might not get the 10 mil jump, jump ring in the middle of it, uh, round in the middle of it, but you'll get the smaller ones in yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. So you can, you can use that design, you can adapt that design, and it's gonna look amazing. Oh, beautiful. I mean, this is I solid sterling yeah. silver. Please never overlook that. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. You've you also the get the gold plate. ones too. I beg your pardon. So you're getting three. Um, in terms of sizes, internal diameter, you've got uh, 50 of your uh, five millimeters. Um, uh, 50 of your 7 millimetre internal diameter and you get 50 of your gold plated sterling silver 7 mil inter sorry 30, 30 of those um, 7 mil internal diameter as well so yeah a jump ring you literally connect your clasps yep. so you use it to connect your bales your pendants yep. you use it for chain mail they are essential yeah. as you said whatever genre of, of jewellery making you, you you use you make at some point you're going to need jump rings absolutely you know if you're a seed beader you're going to need jump rings if you're a, a, a bead embroiderer you're going to need jump rings and at 99.99 all that sterling silver that's amazing that's not your price in fact we're nowhere near amazon because you've got that's a lot of jump rings you're getting Oh, mega deal says right <gasps> mega deal oh on silver that gram weight what is the gram weight Quite a lot. Lots. Oh, that is a lot. Oh. 99.99. Wow. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, we had silver sheet yesterday, didn't we? With you did. Claire. Again, pierce your hole, your silver sheet, you're going to need jump rings. Yeah, absolutely. You need some. Yeah. That, that, that's your bail. It can be yeah. your bail, can't it? Oh. So All if you got time. involved on yesterday's show as well, you know, uh, you know, I could go on and on because as you just yeah. said, Alison, it is literally every single medium. You need jump rings, don't yeah. you? If you do seed beading, you need your jump rings. If you do, um, I don't know, bead embroidery and you turn it into pieces of jewellery, you're going to yeah. need your jump rings. Um, how many do we have of these available? We had 100 available. That's a mega deal opportunity. Make sure you're checking out those baskets. Geraldine, Pauline, well done. Marion, Shirley, Karen, uh, Rhonda, hello to you. Let's do those amazing jump rings that Alison has been demoing with. Um, they're already flying on pre-order. We're going to start with the most popular colour. Do you want to see how popular they are on pre-order? Yeah, oh, ah. my gosh. They've what? They've oh. sold out? Oh, Obviously, we're still going to take it to that price tag. Obviously. Well done. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Sold out. I thought they'd disappear. But I then tell again, you what, you made my job very easy. You've got multi buyers very, very there. Very easy. Johnny. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not surprised. These are fabulous. I had so much fun with these. This was another. Oh, Alison, you've got to stop now. Look how many you're getting, though. Yeah. How many is there? So you're at 16, 18, 19, 22, and 25. There's 100 of these jump rings. Sold out. Well done. Let's bring you the gold. <laughs> Guess what? Oh, don't say it. So, oh no! I wanted the gold. They'll look, I've got some spares here, darling. Have you? Yeah. I love the gold. They're and the bigger ones, I mean, you know Is you that can... that on an earring? That on a shepherd hook? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, I popped a, a jump ring yeah, at the lovely. bottom of it. Yeah, lovely. Sold out, well done. Well Fab. done. I didn't even look I up I didn't there. even see what the price was. No, I didn't either. What did, how much? 21, gosh, wow. look at loads. Rose gold, guess what? Oh, there's seven. Oh, oh, oh. hurry up. <laughs> loads, what, what are we complaining about? There's seven of them. Um, that's a huge quantity. <laughs> yeah, it's not really, I'm only joking, because there's all around the world getting involved yes. as well. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, so 16, 18, 19, 22, and 25. Um, just amazing. I love that. That, that is... It's, it's not attached to the... No, I know. Guess what Sold now? Out. Sold out. But the big ones, I mean, you could use these as frames to bead round. You know how you can bead round a frame and create designs with them? You could Beautiful. do the big ones. You'd make fabulous little um, dream catchers. Oh, I love them. Do you want me to Yeah. Yes, please, Alison. They're a bit of me, they are. I'd have wear I got those. Of the... Yeah, I have, actually. 
I've got a pair of earrings a bit like this, that, but not as nice. <laughs> not as nice as Alison's, hence, hence me dropping the hints. Amazing. Which, Amazing. Which, which, which with then? Hey. Which colour with? Oh, definitely gold. No, no. Which, which colour? Oh, green. You're Always green. green for Elle. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Right then, are you ready? Shall we do the faceted pearls? Yes. Right, take a moment, take a breath, because this is uh, this is this is pretty exciting. Um, it wasn't until 1998 that the technique of faceting pearls was actually developed. Um, so, a very short period of time, you know, comparatively speaking, it is incredibly advanced, incredibly technical, and know that even before that faceting process, this pearl, each and every single one of these pearls. If you imagine multiplying its size, because a facet will take nacre away. So you need that pearl to culture for longer, to pr produce the layers and layers and layers. Only the best pearls in the world will be faceted. And you don't have to take my word for it. So it's coming up in a star by, we're going to be going towards the GIA, the largest institution in the gemstone world to talk about this amazing opportunity. They are limited. I will never, ever have a big quantity of this opportunity. It's a star buy of extraordinary level, and it's next. Um... They, they really are amazing and few people in the world can say that they actually own faceted pearls um, It's so bizarre that I was watching Lucy a while back I don't know why you know sometimes you just go down mm. that little rabbit hole and I was all of a sudden I was watching old shows of jewelry maker and lovely Lucy was presenting and she was talking about it's right back when we had the old old studio not Ivy House the studio before that and she was talking about faceted shell pearls basically and she said you can't facet cultured pearls it's not possible so this is a way of getting that look obviously since then that was pre-1998 yeah. there is a technique that has been developed but um, as I said, it's expensive. So let's look at, to the GIA. That's who I studied with. That's who I got my accreditation with. And they write about cultured pearls. So the fascinating faceted cultured pearl. The pearl has been shrouded by myth and mystery since antiquity. The ancient Romans imagined they were tears of gods and angels. The ancient Chinese thought they offered protection from fire-breathing dragons. And Europeans believed they symbolized modesty, chastity, and purity. In the 20th century, the classic cultural pearl necklace became an essential fashion accessory, adorning icons of sophistication like Jackie Onassis, uh, Onassis sorry, uh, Audrey Hepburn and Coco Chanel. Pearls have been coveted for thousands of years, and in 1998, pearl lovers were given a new and unique option. The faceted cultured pearl with up to 200 facets these miniature marvels were the result of 20 years of experimentation uh, by Komatsu Diamond Industry, a Japanese diamond cutting company, um, and were a dramatic alternative to the smoother surface cultured pearl. And you can see those visions literally before you. So you've got South Sea, Tahitian, and some of your uh, uh, freshwater pills, I believe. Oh, it says there. Um, so faceted white South Sea cultured pill, faceted golden South Sea cultured pill, and faceted black Tahitian cultured pill. Uh, while only the finest cultured pills were first faceted, cultured pills of all qualities and colours are now cut and polished. I would disagree with that personally. I don't think somebody would actually go to that level if it was an inferior pill. No. Um, to facet culture pearls, gem cutters utilise the same cutting equipment that is used for cutting prices. Designers continue to experiment in pursuit of perfecting these geometric beauties. Na uh, nature makes pearls and faceting brings out their beauty, says award-winning designer Mark Schneider, who has earned a reputation for featuring faceted cultured pearls in his work. I will take what nature creates and put my fingerprint on it. Does that ring bells? Yeah. 
Does that ring bells? Like, for example, we talk about jades, don't we? Yeah. Created by Mother Nature and shaped by human hands. Yeah. Um, a GIA pearl, I, oh, I don't need to read that bit there. It's just talking about how you, how you grade your pearls. I think you already know that, it's those five <gasps> virtues. Wow. But these wonderful miracles of nature, they are very unique. They're very cutting edge. Um, whether your taste is for the traditional or the avant-garde, uh, you're sure to enjoy these unique create, uh, creations. And this, th that ring is called the uh, Equilibrium Ring wow. with a faceted black Tahitian pearl mounted in platinum. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I imagine quite uncomfortable to wear, though, because it's not exactly <laughs> um, spherical in its shape. Is that it? Ah, oh, one more. Oh. There we go. How beautiful. Pearl yeah. protrusion. It's, it is cool. And you've got to think about it here. You're looking at two mm. or one previously with up to 200 facets. So imagine this for a second. You are a pearl harvester and you are culturing pearls. So you've got to invest that time into the mollusks firstly, make sure that they are of the age and size to be able to culture pearls. Then you dedicate years in, in, in growing a pearl, culturing a pearl that you don't know for sure is gonna be within that mollusk, years. And then you're lucky enough, but you're gonna invest even longer because you need it to have more nacre. And then you place it, yes, Eureka, you have that beautiful quality pearl. And you're going to place it into one of the, um, a, a, an artist, quite literally an artist, who is going to bring you these beautifully precise, perfectly positioned, um, and very, it's literally cut in a similar way that we would do diamonds, but on a much more delicate scale, perfect little facets. You would imagine that, you know, if, if you've got an inferior pearl, this goes back to my previous point. If you have an inferior pearl and you cut it, then you might well reach, I don't know, you might reach the actual uh, nucleated bead in the center. You don't want it to be matte. You wouldn't want it to hit any sort of pitting within the pearl itself. It has to be perfect from the very get go. Hence why they come with a hefty price tag. Hence Hence why they are, there is so few available in the market. Now I literally have nine single figures. The white there's less than five. The lavender there is oh. seven. It goes back to what we oh no to be honest what I've always said. This is legacy jewellery. You know, very few people walk this planet will have faceted pearls. That's not an exaggeration. Put your gold clasp, absolutely. Can you imagine? I'm going to put something out here, and you can by all means do this if you like the idea. Can you imagine? Go to a goldsmith saying, I want a clasp to replicate the beauty oh. of this faceted pearl. Can you imagine a clasp almost looking like a faceted pearl as well? Oh, gosh. Same size. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery? Yes, Please I can. Please get that value. There are three left. This truly is legacy jewellery. We are going to do this in one price crash. I'm not about to sit here and say this is going to be an, uh, 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 an affordable opportunity. It's not. It is arguably probably one of the most technically... Um, advance and probably one of the most luxurious auctions that we've ever brought you here at Jewelry Maker. That's fact. It wasn't until 1998 that this whole technique was, ach was achieved. We should be bringing this to you for thousands of pounds. Please know that. The pieces that are on the GIA website are single pearls. One single pearl in platinum. Well done, Hampshire. I've got two. Well done. This is your price crash. Please look at getting this insured. Please, and I know it's expensive. Why do we get it insured? If heaven forbid anything terrible happened, it got stolen or lost, you're not going to be able to replace it at 499. You aren't. We're not going to be able to bring this to you at 499 pounds. You are probably going to have to go to the finest and most expensive jewelry houses to source a, culture, a faceted culture pearl like this. There are two available. Use your 0% interest split payments if you wish. Um, 124 pounds and 75 pence. That should have zeros on the end of it. It should Definitely. do. It should have zeros on the end of it. And I'm, so, I'm listen. I'm not qualified to to to, to value. I can only always speak from my own personal experiences you know have a little look around elsewhere you're not going to find uh, triple figure prices I'm so sure of it there is one left 
If you've got the budget, and I, I know how this is going to sound, so please bear with me. I don't have the budget for this, but if you do, can you imagine these two? Oh. Can you imagine? Either like so, in a double-stranded necklace, or maybe alternated. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery? And uh, again, I know it's a lot of money, even by jewel you know, uh, even here at Jewellery Maker, but it's no reflection of the true value or worth. I've got one left. I've got Karen there, Charmaine there, and Kathleen. We can't go any lower, ladies. That's, that's the best we can do. It truly is. I, I think these are going to sell out in a heartbeat. How many did you say we had, Ross? Seven. <laughs> look at, oh my goodness, mate. Look, just, just look at that. I know. I just, just didn't. On its own, that's just mesmerising, isn't it? I could literally just sit and watch that all day. Have if you that... ever seen pearls do that? No. Have you ever seen pearls? We talk about luster, of course, in a pearl, but... Have you ever seen pearls that almost look like... Oh, this is going to sound, it sound so bizarre, but they look like faceted colourless stones, don't they? They do. If that, if that was a screensaver, do you know I'd never get any work done? Because no. my screen would just be permanently on it. But I'm not... I, I it, love it's it. It's not taking away your metallic colours. No. It's not taking away your overtones and your undertones. Ah, uh, Linda, are you making that piece of jewellery? I, oh my goodness me, I'm so jealous if you are, and I need, please will you show me when you make that piece. I love your idea of replicating that, getting around, around, um, whether it's magnetic or not magnetic, you mm. can get around box, box, box um, clasp. clasp and replicating that, that would look amazing. Wouldn't it? Oh gosh. Are you ready for this? Don't wait. They are so, I can't take my eyes off it, to be honest. I literally can't take my eyes off. Completely mesmerised. You know, and we see, guys, lovely pearls, don't we? Yeah. I, 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 I'm never joking when I say I think the quality of our pearls are some of the best in the world. That right there is, has, has literally just blown me away. Mm. It is creme de la creme, absolutely. And so few people will say that they actually have it. So p few people. Natural colour... You can't dye a pearl and then facet it. You, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna yeah. facet that dye off. Um, wow. You need it to be a top quality pearl with, with a thickness of nature. Yeah. Otherwise, again, every time you put one of those facets on, up to 200 facets, you're cutting some of that nacre away. Yeah. Knotting this with platinum, 18 karat gold, whatever you choose, but I do think it's, it, 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 it justifies that level. Yeah, it, 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 you need that next level of precious metal, don't you? Oh, London, I'd, well done. I think I'd go gold with it. Me too. I've, I love platinum, but yeah. Me the, too. That gold. one, I think I'd have gold. Love it. That already here, £1,299. I don't think you'd see this elsewhere at anywhere near that price tag. I don't think so. I don't think... I'd be very surprised if you did. Saying that, our sister channel, I, um, I, I have occasionally brought faceted pearls. There are five of these available, five in the world. Uh, just unbelievable, unbelievable. Again, Yoko of London, but arguably one of the best pearl suppliers here in the UK. They, I, I don't think they've got pearls which are faceted on no. their website. I don't think they do. And they definitely don't have them at three figures. No. You can get this home today for £124, over four monthly 0% interest split payments. Four of these are left. Well done, Richard. Well done, London. Kathleen's there and Suzanne's there. There is still opportunity. So if you are thinking about it, I get it's considered. I do. However not in comparison to what it would be elsewhere. Yeah. That's why I always say, get it valued, get it valued, get it valued, get it valued, because I'm, I know it would not, um, it wouldn't tally up. Your one single that. pearl, literally on the GIA website. Uh, well done, Victoria, taking us down to the final two. These are spectacularly beautiful, Victoria. Um, you're going to love them, absolutely love them. I'd, be, I'd be, just be... I'd, I'd be so excited to know what you're going to do. And I'd hope that this is going to be within your portfolio of jewellery as well. I love the idea of doing something slightly different and actually maybe sand casting a, a, a unique shank oh. to go with that faceted one. Oh, beautiful. I love that idea. 
There's one left. <gasps> Who's going to get that last one? Oh, my gosh. If you've got them in your baskets, and there's three of you that I can see here in the studio, um, yeah, don't wait too long because there is only one left now. Absolutely unbelievable. They're beautiful. They just dance with light, don't you think? Oh, is another collect uh, uh, collector getting involved now To Okay, I'll leave that one, last one with you because we are so over-allocated. Absolutely beautiful. Six of you for that final one. If you have just tuned in for the deal of the day, it is coming up. All of those beautiful diamond wow. cut sterling silver, um, sterling silver chains coming your way. Um, a maker, well done. I don't know your name, but well done for getting that um, that beautiful. I don't know if it's still available. Not sure. I'm a little bit out of, out of sync here in the studio. There might. Is there? Ross is saying there's one on his side at the moment. Speak to our call centre because they're literally live as we speak, uh, as it stands. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. There's still well so done. much to bring you. Pearl earrings and pendant. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I generally don't. On the blackboard. And the front. No, sliders. Oh. This. No, that, that's with the, that was with the pearls, the... This morning, in um, pot, pot, I don't, pots. I've got nothing. I got nothing. I know what you're talking about. Anyway, there you are. well done. Amazing. Those pills are literally going to blow you away. Congratulations. They are. Do you see why I say that we're, oh, do you see why I say that we, uh, um, I think we're some of the best pill suppliers in the world. Alison, these are beautiful. You just whip those up, Alison. Yeah. Amazing. They do look fab, don't they? Love them. Look at that tiger's eye playing Ooh. there. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Right then, here are the pearl earrings. Here they are. Um, oh, so all I need is what? A little bit of your jewellery making specialist glue. So something like yeah. your E6000. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about snowdrops. These are very oh, reminiscent yes. of your snowdrops. So you get the matching earrings. You get three of your half drilled pearls plus... A pendant. You have the matching pendant. So it's a suite of jewellery waiting to happen. If only we had a chain for it. If only we had the diamond cut sterling silver yeah. chain. Actually, yeah. we've got 20. <laughs> yeah, we've got 20 of them. Look at that. Beautifully beautiful. gem encrusted. Can you see? Um, that's beautiful white topaz in these lovely little petal like designs. Um, beautifully articulated. If I tilt it towards you, you'll see there's just a little peg in peg. the side there. Yeah. That's what you secure into your um, half drilled pill. I don't know if I, I always do this to myself, put myself on the spot. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Um, just secure it in your half drill. Here we go. Let's go for that one. That's a bit easier. There you go. And you can imagine the finished piece of jewelry. So, yeah, literally glue it into place. Leave it overnight, nice and secure. You've just made yourself high-end jewellery. They're gorgeously spherical yeah. pills as well as large. Yeah, totally agree. Um, very much an Akoya-esque like colour to these. So they've got a golden light -like presence. You get the full suite with the matching earrings for 59 dollars Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. How many have you got, Ross? <gasps> just under 100 Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Wow. See, I'd have put that as a three-figure suite. So add one of the chains. Well, it would be elsewhere. And I'd say that's a three, th three I can't even say it. Three-figure suite. <laughs> There's a lot of fuss. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, put one of your deal of the day chains. Yeah. That's all you need to add. Ooh, and a little dab of your glue. Yeah. Put that in a nice box. Well, you're not going to ask $24.99, are you? Uh, no, I hope not. Definitely not. OK, you've got to incorporate the cross of your diamond cut chain, but I assure you that's going to be <laughs> amazing. Excuse me. Um, I agree. <coughs> Three-figured piece, as mm. Alison says. Um, OK, let's do some slider bracelets, shall we? We don't see them that often, and whenever we do, they always absolutely fly out the door. Um, oh, you don't just go out one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I've infected oh, you. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I couldn't talk either. Um, <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I've not seen those sliders before. They're lovely. They're diamond cut they're as well. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. So if I hold that one out, you can see they're beautifully diamond cut. So you've got that wonderful luster. Um, beautiful box chains just here. I mean, they're adjustable, of course, much, much easier. Now, they started, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. Forty nine ninety nine for two. That makes sense. That is the price, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Once upon a time. However, they weren't diamond cut, were they, when we first launched them? So no, they, they were, they were plainer. Yeah, a level of luxury. How about you get the pair today? 
under £20. These are not base wow. metal. These are sterling silver, diamond cut slider bracelets, and you're getting them £10 each. That's crazy. It is crazy. You know, three of your pearls, one of those Baroque pearls... Oh, lovely, yeah. ..would look amazing in it. Yeah, beautiful. ..as a slider. Absolutely beautiful. One of your techniques, using yep. the silver plating, yep. the sort of Mobius in the centre. Yeah, the Mobius in it, or, or um, yeah, any of those would go great in it. And they're super simple to put together as well, because yep. you've got those two jump rings just waiting if you like to do whatever technique, whether it be a jump ring, whether it be uh, um, a wrap loop. And so you attach it to a strand, I don't know, maybe an inch of pearls. And they're not just bracelets. You can use these as necklaces as well. Yeah. I mean, you imagine that like a lariat style necklace worn yes. at the front. Yes, lovely. Much easier to put on and off than your uh, sort of other sort of more traditional like clasps. Are you all right there, Alison? Yeah, I got that sinking She's feeling. She's sinking. <laughs> She's sinking. Bless her. <laughs> Don't go anywhere though. Make sure you do check out your baskets. Apps and so much still to bring you straight after the break that we got your deal of the day. 20, uh, 20 diamond cut sterling silver chains. A must, I think, to all of us jewellery makers. Um, more from our lovely Alison. We'll have to score. Or less. Oh, I'll, that's all right. I'll pick you up in a second. Uh, don't go anywhere. Back after this. resolution and exercising I wanted to fetch you a quick sneak preview of our brand new tool set this isn't all of them coming to you at 12 o'clock this Sunday it's all about the rings they're all for shaping if you do want to use them for exercise that's up to you too Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, everybody. Told you it was going to be an amazing Sunday, and we are only what two and a quarter hours into the show. I know how amazing. incredible it's, it's been. Fabulous. It's nice to be back with you. Yes, likewise. <laughs> um, and we've still got so much to bring you, including your deal of the day. Now we can get uh, we can get romanced by your pearls. Ooh. Yes, can't we? Oh, seduced by their beauty. Both pearls are. Gorgeous. I can't stop thinking about those pearls. I know you can't. I did just ask Ross. I was like, oh, I think there's going to be a little wish listing going on. There's definitely going to. If there's any of them left, I'll, I'll, I'm going to jump on those pearls as well. Um, but for a second, let's. I mean, listen. People will go into a jeweler's and buy a single chain on their own and wear them literally mm. on their own. I do think here, maybe at Jewelry Maker, we, we give them this kind of unjustified title as an essential. Yes. You know, which means they kind of, you know, we're not really appreciating the beauty that they are, but True. they are essential to us um, because think how many times you make pendants. Yeah. Think how many times you maybe create sea bead mandalas or um, create amazing metal work, you know, like your, your, your uh, masterclass today or Claire's yesterday, yeah. for example. Or the cast team that joined us. Yeah. You're going to oh, yes, need... Oh, I loved those guys, yeah. Um, you're going to need... They're funny on on um, Instagram, by the way. Are they? Yeah, give them a follow. Um, you're going to need the chains. Mm. You are going to need the chains to suspend those pieces. If you get any of our carvings, our jadeite. Exa How can I not have mentioned that? I know. And I, I did wonder. <laughs> every, every week, I, uh, you know, every, uh, the, Monday to Friday, our lovely Alan Sue, in-house designers are here making amazing pieces mm. for, um, for the show. And I know they run out of chains <laughs> all the time. They run out of chains. You I know, do. I do. Um, and it wasn't that long ago that I stocked up my state, uh, my chain stash, and I know I need more already. Um, I've started, and people roll their eyes at me when I say this, but I've started buying, like those pearl pendants yesterday, I got a couple of those. Um, so I've started buying for Christmas. Yeah. Because... You know, I think we all got to watch our pennies every so often. So if I can ease the pressure over the festivities, I'll try and do it throughout the course of the year. And as jewellery makers, you you spend time making your pieces. So you kind of have to do that, don't you? Um, but I'm going to just make a, a, a point. If you go, if you buy your chains from your jewellers, nothing wrong with that. So maybe, I don't know, Samuels or maybe Argos or maybe Heinz or you might go to Beaver Brooks or somewhere like that, which you'll probably pay a little bit more. Um, and buy single chains, okay, you, you, you can definitely get them. I know you can. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy quantity of them, then it starts totting up quite considerably, yes. doesn't it? So maybe then you have to go the wholesale route. Firstly, I tried to buy a clasp the, um, the other, a couple of weeks ago um, for one of the pearl strands that I bought here. And straight away, I was like, I'm interested in this clasp. Can you give me a price for it? Just message them. And they were like, are you a jeweler's? No, I'm not a jeweler's. Uh, sorry, we only deal in wholesale, which means I'd have to buy a certain quantity. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't got the budget for that quantity and I didn't need 50 clasps. Yes. I just wanted one. Um, so you, you see my point here. So we have, you, you have to buy, to get the deal that you're about to see in your deal of the day, you'd have to buy probably hundreds 
Probably. I don't know for sure, but it would probably be a big quantity of them to secure them at the price that we're about to do. And I think there's a big difference as well in getting a clasp, because then you've still got to get the chain or, or not your uh, pearls or whatever, to getting basically a ready-to-go yeah. ready chain. Yeah, exactly. I, I get what you're saying with the wholesale. That's, you know, totally... You well, get that all the time. As, as, as the majority of us... Jewelry making is a hobby, isn't it? Mm. We aren't an established business, as oh, you might well be. If you, I know some of you are, but I'm not an established business, so I don't have the budget that that yeah. that say some big big uh, jewelry brands will have. So I can't af I can't afford to buy a hundred sterling silver chains at once. Mm. Um, to get the lowest price point. That's how basically we, listen, that's what we do. We buy big quantity so that we can pass on a smaller saving. But it's not always possible is my point. You're about to get, and I'm sort of trying to put this in, in, in layman terms really, you are going to get a wholesale deal on a more realistic quantity. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You want 100. Oh, you might want 100, you might not. Multi-buy if you do. But a more realistic quantity for us. The sort of quantity most people are going to go through, whether it's for personal, for gifting, you know, if you've got presents, things like that. Yeah. If you sell, then you're probably going to be multi-buying it. I mean, I bought my niece a carving. She right, to, yeah. She calls them crystals rather than Aww. gemstones. But I bought my niece a carving... And I was like, oh, I didn't put it on chain. Yeah. I should have put it on chain. Because then she could wear it, can't she, rather than just look at it. Um, but I didn't have any. No, you're right. I didn't actually have any. Um, I, today, I could actually send her one after, after today if we get involved. Now, Ross, remind me the quantity that we actually have. 140. Oh, it's not that many, is it? Normally, right. normally we have a bigger quantity than that when we, when we do these chain deals. So whatever your medium of jewellery making... I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say that you need your chains. Mm. Yeah? If you buy, if you get involved on sterling silver days, yeah. if you are a seed beater, if you do things like your soutache, remember soutache? Yeah. And your shibori. Um, silver clay. Silver clay. Still going to need the chain. If you do your chain mail. Yeah. Absolutely. If you want to do just, oh, you're really bird. One single bale. You need the yeah. chain, don't you? But they're so on trend at the moment. Gone are the days of where chains are literally functional. At the moment, with, and you mentioned it earlier on, Alison, layering is mm. absolutely everywhere at the moment. Um, my friend who's presenting literally on our sister channel as we speak, she went out the other night um, and you know, she took a little selfie, you know, pre-night pre out selfie, our lovely Lindsay. And, it's, and she said all the layering. She had loads of lovely chains, literally. And she looked uh. so, she always does, looked a million dollars. Um, but if she didn't work literally here as part of the Gemporia umbrella, that kind of look would have probably cost a quite a uh, quite a considerable amount even if you're going to places like samuels let's take a little look shall we let's pop along to our local high street most high streets have got a samuels yeah haven't they um so okay this is 20 inches doesn't really matter does it sterling silver 20 inch fine curb chain a great price at 34 pounds and 99 pence yeah for one that's one that doesn't get you five it doesn't get you get, get you 10 it certainly doesn't get you 20 one chain um, so yeah, thirty-four ninety-nine. Let's look somewhere else. Argos. Mm -hmm. Good old Argos. Wow. Uh, you can get a sterling silver fine curb chain, eleven ninety-nine. Not wow. bad. Wow. Yeah. That's that's, great. That's brilliant. That's a great price, and it's such. Yeah, you're getting precious metal for twelve quid. Yeah. That's really good. You know, credit to credit where it's due. That's a fantastic price point. I don't know the quantities that Argos sell. I shouldn't imagine they're going to sell, they sell 150 in a day. Uh, no. I shouldn't imagine anyway. Um, but yeah, great price. Well done to, uh, to Argos. I tell you what, the first price that we are going to bring onto your screen will beat Argos's price. The first price crash. Let's open this essential deal of the day as i say we can be seduced by the beauty of gemstones we must never forget how crucial it is for the chain how many times have you made a piece or, or or bought a piece of jewelry but you haven't got the chain to suspend it from 
Yeah. We're matching immediately, and of course we're not stopping here, Argos's price. That's £10 per sterling silver chain. Brilliant. Completely smashed H. Samuel yeah, out yeah, water. yeah. Bless them. Yeah, well, they were, they were well, £350, £350 pound, weren't they? Yeah, well, oh, no, hang on. No, that's like... That's for 10 That's true. So hang on a minute. 700 30, not. Th yeah, 700 odd pound. Yeah. If you were to buy them from uh, 20 of them wow. from H. Samuels. Um, so we're at 10 pound per 18 inch chain. And they're top quality as well. How many of you, and I'd really appreciate you messaging in if you, if you can. If you source your chains from us here at Jewelry Maker, you know, help the people maybe that are new to the channel and haven't yet purchased from us. What are our chains like? Are they, are, are they good quality? Brilliant. Are they inferior because of that, because of that price tag? No. You know, um, because sometimes people will say, well, you're going to say that. You work there. You're going to say that. Listen, and I get it. I totally get it. I, I'm slightly pessimistic from uh, time to time as well. I probably think that too if I was new to, uh, new to Jewelry Maker. Um, I can guarantee they aren't though. I wouldn't buy precious metal chains from anywhere other than, uh, other than here at Jewelry Maker because, I, I, and I'm not saying they don't do lovely quality elsewhere, but I, I'm savvy with my money, basically. I know I can get that same quality at a far, far, far lesser price tag. Shall we set the phone lines on fire? Yeah, go on. With the next price crash. Go on. Remember what I said at the beginning of the show? There are jewellers out there that will charge you the same price that you are going to get 20 diamond cut sterling silver chains for one. I'm dreading to think what we're going to. There are jewellers out there. Let's set the phone lines and the website on fire, shall we? You get all 20. These are diamond cut. It's not, no disrespect, just your bog standard trace chain. You know, it is faceted, literally with a diamond cutting wheel, so you get the most beautiful mirror-like luster. It's not even, Alison, it's not even. These are box chains, yeah. yeah. I haven't mentioned that. So they're very strong. They're stronger than a curb chain. They're wow. stronger than a trace chain. Um, because you've got, uh, <laughs> and I always get laughed at when I say this. If you imagine, um, um, a trace tra chain or a curb chain, to a certain degree, very simply put, is connected like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like a paper link chain that you make when you're a child, literally looped together. Yeah. Whereas a box chain, instead of being like that, a box chain is connected like yeah. so, so it's much, much stronger. Hello, Michelle. I buy all my 925 silver chains from Jewelry Maker. The price and the quality is unbeatable. Thank you so much, my beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because like I said, some people won't, will go, eh, ain't going to say that, aren't you? Because you weren't there. But genuinely, hand on heart I, I I wouldn't say it if I didn't believe it I generally wouldn't wow we're gonna melt the phone lines in this next <gasps> price drop work it out that's 20 five pound to change five pounds yeah and they're not your curb chains these are your box cut chains uh, box link chains 23 grams no, it's 20. I don't know what our graphics yeah, yeah. are saying. Sorry. Yeah, I know it's confusing. No, I think it's 10 of each. Yeah. 20 chains in total. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Five pounds each. 23 grams of sterling silver. It's a box chain, though. Not a traditional curb chain. The phone lines, as we predicted, have literally lit up. Mirror-like cluster. That's the difference here. I mean, look. Look at this. Ready? Hang on. I'll tilt it towards our Lauren. One second. Oh. Look at, hang on. It is like a harp. Oh, it's like liquid, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely wow. beautiful. They, a, a, you know, a quality chain should literally look like silk. That's not your price. Jewelry makers, we are going lower, beautiful. and I don't just mean by a little bit. My only negative um, as part of this deal of the day is that we only have, what was it, 140, 144, that quite, yeah, it's not enough. How many times have you wanted to have a chain to literally suspend one of your carvings? On Wednesday, we've got the most beautiful, probably my favorite master carvings we've ever done in black jade, you saw oh, them. You yes. need these. If you haven't got yes. any chains, you will need a sterling silver chain. In fact, I said to Ross yesterday after the show, we need to make sure those are on precious metal chains. Um, absolutely 
absolutely beautiful and you want the quality as well to correspond with that but all of your amazing uh, 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 creations deserve I think this level of quality look at that amazing luster I mean we are under magnification here you can see how light reflective each and every single one of those links are you want strength then go for a box chain a box chain is far stronger than a curb chain far stronger than a trace chain I've got a two-year-old at home and she's yeah a whirlwind you know so if I'm wearing if I'm wearing a, a, a chain I need it to be strong I need yeah. it to actually sort of hold um, maybe the risk of a two-year-old grabbing it and pulling it a box chain is your best route 79 pounds and 99 pence you can get hold of these today on split payment 0% interest that is a crazy four pound per diamond cut crazy. chain um, hello Anne saying Cookson a four pound three that's I mean it's oh my good that's amazing four pounds and three pence for one chain well we've beat them we have beat them be it by a penny or two we've beat that price tag I don't know if there's a diamond cut I don't know the offer um, so you can multi buy with them as well if you prefer you get two uh, two 0% interest split payments with us here on diamond cut precious metal uh, 23 grams in total like I said if you're looking for strength in your chains then definitely I would always recommend you go for, uh, you know I'm not talking about the gram weights these are heavy gram weights obviously um, but a box chain is incredibly strong we did find elsewhere so thank you for do sending that price comparison into us we did find elsewhere a two millimeter um, chain how much was it nine pounds 45 Figaro so slightly different in its link probably have around about the same investment of sterling silver but that's a great price mm -hmm. a great price you're at four pound per chain right now we only have 140 opportunities, a beautiful and essential deal of the day. 67 of these have already flown out. I'm not surprised. You know, you're not going to have to worry, are you, that you haven't got chain supplies. You know, you haven't got, you know, you might have relatives or friends or families popping around. I don't know about you, but if I have friends and family around, quite often I do like to give them a little token gift. Something, yeah. something, not breaking the bank, not breaking the bank and not chocolates or, or wine or anything like that. If I can give them jewels. How beautiful would that be? You popping around after the it? show? Yeah, yeah, why not? Oh, nice. <laughs> 79.99 was still not your deal of the day. Cookson, add VAT on to the final price. Thank you, Linda. Oh, was that without VAT, that four pound okay. three? Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you, Linda. No, well, this is inclusive of that. Mm. We're at four pound per chain, and that's not your deal of the day price. These will sell out. Ooh, ooh. These will sell out in sixty seconds. Wow. We are. I said earlier on that I think this is probably one of the best deals of diamond cut chains that we've ever done. No, scrap that. This is probably one of the best deals of chains yeah. we've ever done. You know, you've got the level of luxury in your diamond cutting as well. I don't know. I don't recall. And the fact that we've got literally members of staff getting involved mm. speaks volumes, doesn't it? I don't recall us ever taking um, a, you know, a group of chains to the price that you're about to see. As, and as I said earlier on, I have seen jewelers Nothing wrong with this as well. Selling one sterling silver chain, maybe of similarity, um, singly at the deal of the day price tag that we're about to go to. Use that 20 seconds wisely. This will sell out. 140 is not nearly enough. I'm actually I'm I'm sad that we've only got 144 of yeah. them, or rather had 144 of them. Because if we'd have actually have had 500, 600, then we still quite could possibly could have sold out. Um, the fact that you can get hold of them again, 0% yeah. interest on your split payment. <laughs> Four quid per chain, let's be honest. Unbelievable. Crazy. But we're going even lower. Linda in Hampshire, I can see you were the first one to confirm. Congratulations, lovely. Um, yeah, it's not even four pounds per chain. It's <gasps> £69.99 pence for all 20. 20! There's 20. That's £3.50 per chain. £3.50. Wow. I know. That's crazy, man. Isn't that it? Is <laughs> 
crazy. I've never heard you say that, Alison. <laughs> it's so Sorry. funny, your reaction there. That's crazy, man. But totally. It's, it's crazy. £3.50. So what it's was... It's not base metal. No, it's it, it, beautiful quality. Yeah. Whichever, whichever... No, you, no, no, well, you're getting both of... I love that. I love that. Gosh, chop them up and make... I mean, chain tassels. Oh, at that price. Yeah. We are literally bringing it to you at a base metal price tag, aren't this we? Is crazy. You, you, next time you pop into your Marks and Sparks or your Debenhams mm. or your H&M or your Top Shop, wherever you do your clothes shopping, try and get a chain for £3.50, a base metal chain. Now, you see, I knew it was going to be bonkers. All those multi buyers, I, I, I would suggest some of those are going to be selling their jewellery. Absolutely. Yeah. Why but not? That, that's a fab. Fabulous. You know what? Fabulous Buy them, deal. even if you don't put anything on it and sell them exactly as they are. Well, and that's, I mean, even if you doubled your money, that's yeah. a great price on a, on, on a chain. Crazy price still on this a train. Cat from Harvey Makers in the studio. Have you ever heard of a diamond cut sterling silver chain being £3.50? No. £3.50. <laughs> £3.50, no, no, no. And I asked Kat, because I know Kat buys some lovely jewellery as well. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. 69.99. the only downside is I wish we had more. I do, yeah. I wish we had more. Think about all the beautiful half-drilled gemstones. Think about your early bird that you got oh. this morning, how beautiful that would be. Put some of the, you know, the ones we did with the two mil holes? Like the pearls oh, yeah. that you could slide, you know, like your... Um, Chain mail, the three rings on, on your necklace, things Beautiful. like that. Well, that Perfect. jadeite, the, the interlocking, imagine yeah. that, literally oh. just suspended on one of these. Feed those through the oh, two beautiful. loops. All around oh, the world that. getting involved as well. We've got UK, USA, multi-buyers getting Saw involved. Australia earlier. Really, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got USA, Australia, UK. Um, so many of you there. Literally, I'm looking at three full rows of names and there's still lots of people waiting to be answered on the phone lines. Thank you for your patience. Wow. Leslie, sorry, well done. Valentina, Pat, Deborah, Kathleen, Michelle, Amanda, London, Kathy, Joanne, Marion, Maker, um, Merseyside, Anne, Leslie, hello to you. Uh, Suzanne, John, Jeanette, Antoinette, Linda, Lucy, hello to you, uh, Susan, sorry, Gabrielle, um, ugh, God, I, can't, yeah, I generally can't, keep, can't up. keep up, yeah, I generally can't keep up, you disappear off the bottom of the screen, Look at that. it's beautiful, isn't it, 23 oh. grams of sterling silver, keep on dialing through, um, what's, yeah. how are we doing in terms of quantity, okay, We've got 37 left, but we are hugely over-allocated. So um, I'm going to leave it with you because it is a must, I think, to everybody's stash. So um, it doesn't take me shouting and raving about how amazing that price is. I think you know it already. Wow. Now, coming amazing. up, we have the whole selection of your oh. Olmec Jadeite. And what I mean by that is w all we've got left within the vault of your Olmec Guatemalan Jadeite. We also have, let me just move that out the way, Three, very exclusive in its quantity. This is natural red type A jade, uber rare, uber, uber, uber rare. Look at this color, it's gonna blow your mind. Oh my goodness. It's the one that was launched with Dave last weekend, I believe. Um, the quality is absolutely unreal. We've got the last remaining quantities um, in sizes six, Sorry, seven and a half, five and a half, and also four. So imagine that in a graduated necklace, beautiful. how beautiful that would be. Um, yeah, they're going to fly. So they're coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Also, in the 12 o'clock masterclass, we've got a brand new tool. Oh, so excited. Hang on. Brand new tools. Tools. And we're going to put that on pre-order, did you say? Not now. Within the next hour, we're going to put Ooh, those on pre-order. So you actually get five. Five of them. And yeah, but, heavy. But each one of them has multiples on each. Yeah. Double-ended. So you're getting so heavy many graph. different versions. That's just one. And you've got one, two, three, four, five different sizes to use on that one. Yeah. So They're amazing. Alison's going to be demonstrating. And these are heavy. Oh, yeah. Really, really heavy. So you've got different shapes as well um, coming Definitely up, being launched. Out. Yeah, they are. They're really heavy. You still only pay that one postage and packaging as well. So these are launching at 12 o'clock. We've got 100 of these. Quality. I think they will quality. sell out. Uh, yes. um, amazing. Um, OK, let's do something big, says Ross. <gasps> the what? Oh, you, oh so <laughs> a B. Right, sorry. <laughs> That's big too. It is big. <laughs> Bees are big, aren't they? In fact, they're integral. Oh, this is Ooh. a beautiful little bee. It's lovely. 
Absolutely lovely. Oh, look at him. It's the one with the body full of pearly, pearly honey. Oh, look, he has been busy collecting that pollen, hasn't he? Look how beautifully sparkly he is. Now, you don't just get this wonderful encrusted sterling silver bee. You also get the little button pearl as well, which, as you can see, there's a peg there just ready and waiting. Obviously, glue him into place and you've made a very high-end piece of jewellery. I mean, to be honest, um, with all so many different... I mean, Gucci, for example, mm. bumblebees. They've got bumblebees in one of their collections. Bees are massive everywhere. Yep. And then, of course, if you come from Manchester, they have an even more significant... Um, most important species on the planet. It is the most important species. A massive pollinator. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they actually come in quite a few varieties as well. They do. And if you ever get a, a nest, did you know if you get a nest, if you call your local beehive... Uh, your local bee organisation, they'll actually come and remove the bees for you. Ah, and they'll, keep them all safe. And they'll as they'll well. rehome them in a yeah. in a in a hive, yeah. Yeah, they're not um um once upon a time and I don't know if they would do the same for this, but I actually had a hornet nest in our house. <gasps> oh did you? Yeah, Ooh. I could hear them literally <clears throat> scratching in the walls. Oh could you? Yeah, I could <gasps> hear them. Um but again essential aren't they to our environment. They're yeah. absolutely yeah. essential um because of the pollination. But look at all that lovely sterling silver. That's a lot of silver I think I, I think lots of people like bees don't they i think mm. they're very endearing they are they're, they're busy they're busy busy as a bee yeah you you've got so many connotations with them mm -hmm. you know the honey the busyness the 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 pollinators um that everybody can can have a connection to a bee totally you know Totally. I said to Mark, actually, a while back, I was like, oh, in the summer, I always try and put sugary water out for mm. bees. Um, I was like, do you do that, Mark? He says, I don't need that. There's loads of pollen yeah, in I was say, in his I garden. Like, oh, OK. I was like, yeah, my garden's probably not as beautiful as his. Mine's a bit barren. I try my best in the summer. I do. Um, now, we're under £20 for all that sterling silver. We're not stopping there. We've got 30 chances. This is really sweet. Um, really sweet. You've got a beautiful cultured, piece, uh, cultured pearl here. Let me pop him on, see if I can do it um so yeah a little bit of your jewelry making glue yeah you might need to ream that pill but and i don't want to push it on without <coughs> but you get the idea look how pretty that piece is oh he's sweet he's isn't beautiful he? he's really cute <laughs> absolutely beautiful and of course three-dimensional um yes. with in an encrusted body and encrusted wings as well all that 925 sterling silver we've got 30 though so if you're a fan of your bumblebees i love bees i love them I love a bee. Um, I love the really. I like the ones which are, don't look very aerodynamic. I like. I can really <laughs> the queen relate. Bees. I, I like. I like the bumblebees. The bumblebees. Right. Um, hello, Linda. Saying this bee is so beautiful. Best jewelry maker has sold. Um, uh, what's that? Buyer. Buyer did us proud. Yeah, they Ooh. do. Well, they do, don't they? They do an amazing job. Our buyers. I agree. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And that as message has come from uh, a Wayne living in no it's no it's not really not really I'm joking 14.99 only for all this 925 sterling oh. silver plus your cultured pill beautiful um yeah we I think we're a channel of bee lovers aren't we, we are. please Ross I can't have a bee without showing that picture of the drunk one yeah in asleep yeah the love I just the legs it's just the legs, because I think it brightens everybody's day. Because oh, yeah. this bee is very happy. Very, very, very happy. And he's been busy in his work, and he needs just a little bit of a rest because he's had too much pollen. Just too much. We'll show you in a second. Uh, 2.4 grams of sterling silver. Yeah, if, you know, if you've never really... I think that, I think the, 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 we've... We recognise now just how important they yeah. are, aren't um, you know, And I'm no David Attenborough, of course, but there it is. Look at him. Oh, bless him. Lauren, have you seen oh, this right picture? It's the best, okay. isn't it? It is the best. Look at his little fuzzy butt. <laughs> Just adorable. Absolutely adorable. How on earth does he get out He's of He's loving life right now. We will just leave him be. Leave him be just to chill out. It's his little fuzzy butt. <laughs> a little bit the of legs. pollen on his leg. I know. Yeah, I've oh. got that bit. Oh. Oh. He's happy, isn't he? Look. Come Literally. back to me later. That's why I like how I am in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> 14 99 well done. 
Um, well done. Or how I'd like to be in chocolate, literally head first. Um, I've got the most amazing fluorite cube. So again, yes. on the back of your deal of the day, and this is diagonally drilled, you get a sterling silver bale. So if I show you, obviously you're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to hold it in this direction, but you've got a huge piece of natural fluorite. Wow. Um, so known as one of the most colorful minerals on the planet as well. I believe very powerful in your, if you have uh, sort of metaphysical beliefs, I'm no expert on that though. Um, but yeah, drilled this way. So you've got a drill hole just here. Um, so literally again, using a little bit of your specialist jewelry maker glue, position your bale, leave it overnight. You've just made some really wow. lovely jewelry and you'd wear that from one of those chains from your deal of the day, job Absolutely. done. Absolutely. Oh, that's amazing. It's a big piece of fluorite, isn't it? Plus you get that lovely bale, which is not small. It's not a small bale. Let me pick that up with my tweezers. And you can see. £39.99. pence. Just glue it into place. And, uh, and away you go. You've got your chain. Who wants this under £20 today? A bit different, this. It I is, isn't like it? it. I like the fact that it's a bit different. You know, we can do jewellery that's pretty and elegant yeah. and sophisticated. Edgy. <laughs> no, it's not what I meant, but we can do jewellery then that's quite edgy and cool. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and different. It's different, isn't it? It makes a statement. As a gamer, that is right up my street. That's a D6. I never knew you were a gamer. Good grief, yeah. What's your favourite game? Board game or role playing? Either. Well, we're, we're D and Ding at the moment. What's um, D and Ding? Dungeons and Dragons. Right, okay. Uh, fifth Dead. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Fifth edition. Okay, okay. And um, what about board games? Board games, oh, so many. It's like a dice, isn't it? Uh, London, Terraforming Mars is really good at the moment, but that takes a while. Okay. That's a long game. That's a, a quite a long time. Okay. Um, yeah. I thought you were talking about computer games when you said Oh, that. World of Warcraft and stuff. Oh, yeah. there you go. Because isn't, isn't there a game, Minecraft, isn't that, yeah, is yeah. that a game right now? I'm not familiar with it, but I think that that's all about cubes and things like that, isn't yeah. it? So you could put it's this like on a, a key ring if you like. Is it? It's a building game. When, um, when I did um, a Loom um, show, someone had sent in afterwards that they'd taken it, they'd, they'd learned how to do the Loom, and they got their son because Looming is just... You can use graph paper to yeah. make a pattern. And their son had used Minecraft to make a pattern really? and she bloomed this, this bracelet her son had designed. How yeah. clever. Fabulous. Wow. Um, giveaway deal. Frankly, I think that's the price of your bale and you're getting that yeah. massive piece of fluorite, which is... Um, do we have the carrot way? It's, well, it's ginormous, 20 millimetre cube. I think you've paid for your bale and you're getting the, the yeah. fluorite as extra. You know, even if you use that as a little ornament and keep your bale for something else. You can get gemstone dice. I could put little holes on, nice. on that. Nice, yes. <laughs> and use it as a dice. Lovely. Um, now, love coming that. up in your 11 o'clock hour, jewellery makers, we have got the entire portfolio of Olmec Glue Jadeite that we have here at Jewelry Maker, that's at 11 o'clock, but also you have the final opportunities to get hold of arguably some of the best red jadeite, natural red jadeite um, that we've ever brought. This was launched with Dave just a couple of weeks ago. We've got the final few of those. Um, amazing. Uh, still got black diamonds. Yeah, are we gonna do those now? Yes, which one? I'm gonna show you the both actually, firstly, because- They're amazing. Oh, unbelievable. I might have these. Have you got them already? Might have. <laughs> How did, many people yes. can say they own black diamonds? Yeah. I don't have black diamonds. Don't you? No. They're fabulous. I want black diamonds. They're so brilliant. My husband was only saying to me, he's got this bit of his ear pierced. Oh, right. I don't know what it's called, but that little wibbly bit there. The little Tragus, thing. thank you. He's got that bit pierced. Okay. And he was actually saying, I'd really like a diamond to go in there. <gasps> there you go. Get some tube. Yeah. Tube set it. Pop it on a stud. Job done. Job done. Um, this is an Gorgeous. opportunity for everybody to own black diamonds. Yeah. As Mr. Big said to Carrie Bradshaw in Sex in the City, when she asked, when, on, his, on the, the proposal of marriage, he gifted her a black diamond. And she says, why a black diamond? He says, because you're different to all the rest. Such a romantic. Half a carrot. Which ones am I doing right now? The solitaire. Gosh, it looks so much bigger than that size. I know. Doesn't it? 
Um, this is actually a uh, round brilliant cut, so a, a traditional cut in your diamond. I'm going to guarantee that this is a sellout. It comes box like so. If you want to use this in your gemstone setting, if you want to set it into any of your pearls, if you want to use yeah. it with your silver smithing, your silver clay, your tube setting, here is a great price. I remember sand the casting. Sand casting, perfect. I remember the launch of black diamonds at, um, at Gemporia, the, the launch of them. We had one, a one carat black diamond ring. It was in white gold. Um, and it was literally triple figures, of course, mm. but that was, it was a great price. And we, I know Adina had a big auction. We had a big auction. This is when I was working on the USA channel um, and they absolutely flew. Black diamonds are expensive. You yeah. Know, they are. And also the hardest of diamonds because a black diamond, um, in terms of its structure, look at that, my goodness I know. me. In They're terms incredible. of its structure, um, is even more durable than a white diamond. So if you are somebody that's particularly heavy handed, I'm not saying normal, uh, well, colorless diamonds won't do. Black diamonds are even stronger than your white diamonds. This is exquisite. I'm so glad that I saw that recording because it's prompted me to take it out the box look at the quality that you are getting here um we are guaranteeing a sellout i truly think this is going to be a sellout how many do we have though roscoe imagine that yeah i love black diamonds me too and it's I jet black them. isn't it yeah. normally they have this kind of metallic like appearance yeah. to them don't they but this has got that jet black color 49.99 Forty nine ninety nine. I know for a solitaire, and it's not it's not inferior quality black no. diamond as well. This is a beautiful example, exquisitely faceted. I mean, when you look at it side on as well, the yeah. depth is stunning. Let's let's do that. Isn't that amazing? It is perfectly faceted. Look yeah. how beautiful that pavilion is. The That's point gorgeous. of the coulee. It's on the verge of selling out. We haven't got many of these available. I mean, that could be the pendant or the, uh, or, or the, or the ring. We, and we've got a matching pair of earrings coming up in a second. Um, I'll leave that with you. Perfectly faceted. Wow. Did you buy those then? I did. Both ones. Red jade in one auction's time. <gasps> oh. These are perfect if you wanted to put in your... Um... Put in your pearls if you do any... Yeah. Uh, Reaming. Burring, yeah. Uh, oh, God, I thought I'd lost a black diamond. <laughs> I panicked then for a second. I'd have found it, trust me. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me, look at this quality. I'm just going to... Really? Ross says, I'm not, you're not going to believe it, Al. The price that you're going to do on these black diamonds. Look how perfectly faceted they mm. are. Sorry, I don't mean to be taken... I'm not intentionally taking my time. Look at how... I wanted to show you both the front and the reverse. Look how perfectly coordinated, positioned each and every single one of those facets are. Stunning, aren't they? Oh, yes, right there. The f yeah. It's almost, you almost don't want to have it in a setting because it hides that beautiful... You want the coolie visible, going, don't you? Yeah. Do you, you know what, Alison, I'd be tempted to set it that way round. Oh, as a spike. So you've got, yeah, the, like the point. Yeah. Black like diamonds, they're quite edgy anyway, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, you could do. Absolutely. They're three millimetres in size, which, by the way, is the size of an ad at the average UK engagement ring, or certainly it was, um, but you get two of them. Ross says, L, I guarantee this is going to be a sellout. How many do we have? 60. An opportunity for everybody to own black diamonds. Shall we open the auction up? Two black diamonds, 60 available. They're beautifully faceted. They're stunning, aren't they? No, no, there's no... I there's, couldn't resist. Sometimes a black diamond can be almost matte, can't it? Yeah. And it kind of look a little bit like it's got a coating to the surface. Definitely not the case here. We're opening up the auction at £49.99. pence. That's £25 for a it's black crazy. diamond solitaire. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I want to see you on the web and on the phone lines. Ross, what, tell me, tell me, what are you going to do with this? Really? Hello, Jill. 
The black diamonds would look amazing in a big keshi or a fireball pearl. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I'm thinking as well, lovely. If you got the right um, big keshi, you could almost make it a fish eye. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, beautiful. You could put a li little eye in. Oh. Hello, Jane, saying, I got one of these for my daughter. She's an April baby. Never thought I'd be able to do that. Uh, but then again... There's JM. Yeah. Exactly. And we were saying this earlier on, weren't we? That if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker, I certainly wouldn't have the gemstone collection that I do now. I never thought I would own diamonds, mm -mm. that I would be able to buy and make jewellery with diamonds ever. And I've built up over, over, over the time we've been selling them in Jewelry Maker, I've built up a collection. A collection of you diamonds. Know? And when you think, well, you know, we started with the nuggets. Mm. And, and they were expensive. And now look at what we're getting. You can get faceted round brilliant cuts for thirty nine pounds or ninety nine pence. That is crazy. absolutely crazy. It is crazy. Um, I bought my. I have black diamond earrings that are just literally tiny. They're probably smaller than these. Tiny, tiny little studs that I bought from our sister channel. Um, it was after that, that 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 ring launch, in actual fact. Right. And myself, Paula Bennett, bought them as well. We bought them at the same time. And I can tell you, they were much more than what's on your screens right now. Much Crazy. more. And more, more opaque as well. Much more opaque. We have 60 available opportunities. But we were never stopping there. An opportunity. Maybe you're watching right now and you're thinking, I don't own a black diamond. I would love to own a black diamond. That sounds something that... We would expect it to be outside of our budgets, wouldn't we? Or yeah. I would, anyway. Not the case, because today we're going even lower than $39.99. We are going to bring it to the lowest possible price point that you can do. we can do on quality. You know, just because we are reducing the price, you're not making sacrifices in terms of the quality of the black diamond. Let me explain. A black diamond is different to colourless in the sense that, apart from the obvious, but, um, you know, it's not about brilliance. It's all about the cut. It's so important, because you can't see into the heart of the gemstone. No. So Cutting is absolutely crucial. Um, you need it to be faceted and polished to perfection. Otherwise, they do look quite literally matte. You also need the crystal formation to be perfect because otherwise they do actually become quite, they look quite porous. Does that make sense? They yeah. make it look a little bit matte. Um, not the case here. No, they're beautiful. And when it comes around to that, to the front and you've got all the facets. Yeah. Um, I, I just, what's the bit going up to the table? Sorry, crown. The crown. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely beautiful. You've got the table. Yeah. Crown. crown girdle, girdle. Pavilion. Cooley. There you go. I always forget the crown bit. Twenty nine ninety nine for you today. How wow. amazing is that? Crazy, isn't it? How amazing. Maker in West Midland, Sean. Hello to you, Soraya. What a pretty name, Soraya. Uh, hello to you, Kent. Linda, I can see you there, darling. Well done. Sussex, Alice, new customer, London. Congratulations. Still got lots of you on the phone lines. Do bear with our call centre. It is busy, busy, busy today. Twenty nine ninety nine. I I I went through several engagement rings. I was quite hard wearing on my rings. This was bought before jewellery maker. And I had a cluster, mm -hmm. and I lost one of the stones in the cluster. It was a diamond cluster. I took it into the jewellers, and it was £40, pounds, and it was a quarter of the size of one of those. Wow. And that just was to before, replace just, that stone. Just for the stone. That was just for the stone, not to replace. Oh, really? That just was just to buy for the stone. the stone. Wow. I'm not surprised by that, though. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 it's unbelievable, really, that we can do this. That's 50, yeah. Let's, let's break it down. That's £15 pound for a black diamond. That's £15. Crazy. Pounds. I might, with the, the big one I've got, I might make a, a new engagement ring. Why not? Do it. Because I stopped wearing them because I'm just so hard wearing on rings. Yeah. I just bash them all the time. I'm, I'm a klutz. Um, but those, and could you imagine those two on the shoulders of something? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, they that's amazing. Perfect, like a trilogy. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do stay where you are. It is time, though. We're going to leave that one with you. Um, it is time for us to bring you those three incredible strands of natural red jade. Now, jade is world globally regarded as one of the most expensive, one of the world's rarest gemstones. Um, and jade is a term used very loosely. Please be mindful where you source jade from if you are new to the channel. You know, um, a lot of retailers will sell 
uh, not all granted not all um, simulated varieties they will just use the jade as the umbrella when it's not that gemstone or maybe you sell either uh, um, other gemstones describing them as jade this is certified genuine jade ite jade ite the rarest of the two jade siblings if you like and it comes in it comes in an array of colors um, I refer to, in fact, I showed yesterday, Mason and Kay has the color wheel, doesn't it? Now, our team were literally at the Mason and Kay booth not that long ago, um, a couple of days ago, over in Tucson. <clears throat> and I was showing little single beads that they had, maybe in the sort of yellows, um, in the oranges. That There we go. There we go. This is the Mason and Kay color wheel. Uh, and and this, these are their words on the side. I'll read it out to you. The boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market. It is the only material that has been has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump that Jade Market has ever seen. We <coughs> strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or a red jade, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade now that was mentioned literally last year at tucson um since then has anything changed it's got rarer it has actually got rarer yeah absolutely um the pieces that we saw and on their instagram page as well you see tiny amounts of red jade you certainly don't see entire strands how many do we have of each of these there's less than 20 opportunities this is Sotheby or Christie's worthy. This is the best red jade I've ever seen. Bar none. Mm, I love it. Bar none. Because my red jade that I bought from Jewelry Maker, lovely, it's more of an orange. Mm -hmm. it's still beautiful, it's still classed as red jade. But this is, I mean, look at that red. I don't know how to describe that red. That's like, a, like cherry tomato red, isn't it? Yes, that's a good good analogy. That it's it so is. intense in its mm. color saturation. Have a little look at this. Now I, I took these screenshots only um, a couple of days ago. You can go on to Mason and Kay. Follow them on Instagram. Um, Mason and Kay Jade Excellence since 1976. These are that that carving, for example. That's a red jade. Amazing. I'd say it's more terracotta. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. But it is classed as red. Again, in, the, um, in that uh, cabochon ring, you can see there, those are red jades. Just take another moment to appreciate the quality of the color that you are about to get in this strand. You know, it is, it's literally cherry tomato red, isn't it? That's the yeah. only way I can describe, and it's natural. In the jade world, if you have one of the world's rarest gemstones, literally, there are 6,000 different minerals on this planet. This is in the top 10 rarest. But even beyond that, the rarity, because as, as we just mentioned, it forms on the exterior of the boulder, just the outer skin, and it's not been stockpiled. So the price has dramatically, dramatically increased. Um, it's not, here it is, that's what we're describing. But even on that diagram of a, of a jadeite boulder sort of cut into a section, it's not the intensity of the red that you're about to see. It's still beautiful, it's mm. still very, very rare for sure. But be mindful, it's so important that you source jade from a trustworthy, trustworthy location because we laboratory certify every single one of ours. Prior to it coming to air, we will send it to a gemological laboratory to check, A, it's the gemstone that we're about to talk about, um, B, that there are no enhancements. Um, if there are, then we can mention it. And yeah. We should have bought it accordingly. There are zero enhancements in this. It hasn't been dyed. It hasn't been polymer impregnated. It's all natural. That's why I said, Alison, this is Sotheby or Christie's worthy. Mm. I so wish it's beautiful. I wish there was more. Dave launched this not that long ago. And we have less than 20. It, get, it, get, it gets no better than what's on your screens. Could that be any more red? No, it's beautiful. It is, it, it's be it is beautiful. Uh, it's the best color I've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. 
For the collectors and the connoisseurs out there, it's been on air once, literally last Friday. Um, we have the final remaining quantity. There was originally 100, amazing. Well done to those of you that got hold of that. If you didn't, if you weren't able to tune in, um, then now's your chance. But you're going to need to be quick because there's already people adding it to their baskets. 75 carats. Of, I, I don't know how else to describe it other than literally like a cherry tomato red, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's not terracotta. Terracotta would be more like a brownish orange, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas this, it's not quite pillar box red. No, no. Because that wouldn't be realistic. And 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 Ch the Chinese do describe jade in quite layman terms, don't they? You know, mutton fat jade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, chicken, chicken skin, skin. Um, or spinach green. So I would describe this as like cherry tomato, isn't yeah. it? Is that cherry tomato red? And it's natural. I'm adding this to my order today, if there's any of them available, that is. <laughs> and it is a big if. There's not many left. No, there's not. Um, yeah, launched last Friday. Congratulations, everybody. We are not stopping here. But the reality is we could. We definitely, definitely could. Not it. Put it with some, mm. put it with some of your um, white pearls, faceted pearls that we had earlier on. Can you imagine that together? Oh. If you're lucky enough, if you can, if your budget allows, imagine multi-buying this and creating yeah. a full 360 necklace. Creating a bracelet. You've got a bracelet and earrings and, and ring yeah, out of that. Yeah, exactly. Look amazing. Put it in the stretchy. Yeah. yeah, not the stretchy, the slider bracelet. Absolutely. Or stretchy. Yeah. You know, well, you, see, you see top grade jade, jade stretchy. stretchy bracelets all wow. the time. Even here... That's probably one of the best prices that you will see elsewhere because of the quality. Yeah. It's not dyed. It's not polymer impregnated. This is natural. If we look at Mason and Kay, those photographs on their Instagram page, look at their red jade. It's not the colour that I actually have here in the studio. It's much more terracotta. It's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong. More brown, yeah, absolutely. This is the finest colour I've ever seen. And in the pieces of jewellery that I showed you on their Instagram page, where there's tiny little pieces. Have a little look at those. Those, the, the, these. Could you make these earrings? Yes. If you had the ingredients, could you make them? Absolutely. But, but those are orange, more of an orangey-like colour. Still beautiful, still classified as red. But look at the quality of the colour that you're getting. It's getting serious now, isn't it? Two nine yeah. nine. Yeah. But there is not. That's not where we're stopping. Well, I was on the show last Friday, and and um, Dave went a bit mad. Did he? Yeah. I don't know because I wasn't here, was I? No. Um, oh no. The, yeah, last. The one just gone. Friday? No. Oh, was it? Was it with us or was it with Carol? Oh, it was yeah, it was we last yeah. Okay, I thought I'd missed out on it then. Yeah, no, no. Um, you, yeah. Do you know what this is going to? I know what it went to with Dave. And, and are you going to match it, never, Ross? It should never have gone there. We're going to match it. I don't know what it is. It's the biggest size we have. One of three strands, and this is all the red jade that we have. You can't describe it in any other way other than red. Would you agree? Yeah. You can't, it's, this is not like orange. It's not like a burnt orange or a terracotta. Um, it's red. It's mm. definite red and it's natural. I don't know what Ross is doing. He says, I'm going to match the price that Dave brought last Friday. Hold on to your hat. We don't know if we can get this again. Uh, that, that's ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. It, it, it really is. And do you know... I want to be able, I want somebody to have the confidence in their wonderful jewellery making. I see them on the Wall of Fame. I know how amazing you are at making jewellery. If you knot this, if you, if you knot it, you'll probably need more than one if you like to get, uh, to get a full necklace, but it's up to you, or even a bracelet, and put a gold clasp, mm. you could absolutely approach Sotheby's and Christie's. You absolutely could. I mean, look in the market. This is, this is literally Sotheby's or Christie's. Um, a red jadeite bangle. Nah, 
And look how much more of a... white, I would say, with a touch of red. It's yeah. beautiful, don't get me wrong. 200,000 Hong Kong dollars, which equates to 25 grand US dollars. It's a lot of money. When you compare the colours, though, the quality of the colour that we're bringing you, it's, I mean, it's worlds apart. Yeah. Look at this, a rare and finely carved red mm. jadeite bottle. Is it red or would you say it's more green? Either way, beautiful. Yeah. Look at the price that it was literally auctioned at. The red that they have is a lovely red, absolutely. They, red is, as Mason and Kay say, literally... They believe it is... No, it wasn't Mason and Kay. Yes, it was. Mason and Kay actually said they believe that red is going to overtake the likes of your imperial green. Mm. Well, isn't it, isn't it um, the Jade book that, that Dave has that, that he, he had so much trouble trying to get some red? I think he's got one photograph of red jade yeah, in there because the he whole couldn't book. get it. In yeah. the whole book, yeah, absolutely. That's Roland Schlüssel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So. He, could, he, could, he, could he carries source, it around. It's, he could source one, every colour. Roland Schlüssel, who's literally written the book on jade, mm. um, <clears throat> he could source every colour, bar this one. Mm. £179, I had 20 London Anne, Leone, Linda, Buckinghamshire, West Midlands, Surrey, Victoria, Chris, Patricia and Su uh, Surrey. In the world, we have five left. Literally, five oh. left. Um, and I've got a lot of you with it in your baskets as well. Marion, hello to you. London, Jane, Alison, another London, Surrey, Victoria, new customer, Cumbria, Middlesex. You need to check out your baskets if you want to guarantee your success. Now, um, all I'm going to say on the last two is dial in early. How many do we have of these last two? There's 30 of this size. And a... A big reveal about the four mils. I'm intrigued. Oh, okay. All right, I won't say it yet. <laughs> Surprise. 30 available. May I just, for a second, pass them to me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hiya, Debbie. Oh. Um, I have this, uh, I, I have this, bought with Dave. So beautiful when you hold it and yeah. so special. Absolutely. It is so special, Debbie. It's, beautiful, it's isn't it? so, so, so special. Okay, and now with knotting, with your clasp, imagine that. Yeah. As a piece of jewellery. I'm just going to maybe pop it. Oh, do you want to go under the other head? Sorry, I was a bit slow there. That's all right. Imagine that. Now, yeah. again, so I'll say it, it. Is that not Sotheby's and Christie's worthy? Oh, yeah. If you imagine it with the clasp, if you imagine it knotted. Yeah. Is that not Sotheby's worthy? Absolutely. I'm bringing you this size right now. This one's pretty close to selling out if it haven't, hasn't already done so. These are five and a half millimetres. Again, it is, look at the quality of the colour. Yeah. You know, if, if we were to sort of use the, take the influence, which I think we should be, from um, the history of jadeite and their description of jadeite colours, I. I I can't think of a better way to actually describe it than sort of tomato red. Beautiful and it's natural. It is natural. I have red jade. I, it looks nothing like this. I love it all the same because it still comes under that red umbrella, but it's no way near as intense a saturation as these. Again, I need to say this. Please be mindful of jade elsewhere. I'm not tarnishing everybody with the same brush. Of course not. Of course, of course not. Um, but you do need to be careful. There are there, there's, there's dye jade out there. Um, sometimes they'll sneak the little word imitation, if at all. It might be another gem stone um, under that they're selling under the jade umbrella which they I, I, I disagree with that because it is quite misleading um, oh, here we go and, and, and again you were talking about Roland yeah. Schlussel earlier on who was who wrote the book um, here's Roland Schlussel and his uh, and his wife he wrote the book he's highly 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 qualified as you can see there gemologist um, multiple times in actual wow. fact award uh, awarded from Christie's the prize for gemology co-winner uh, of the T Pill Trophy in 2001, speaks English, French, German and Italian. Um, Roland has over 35 years of experience in, in the international trade with coloured gemstones, diamonds, jewellery and their marketing. If there is anything, any, any person that you need to go to, and his wife equally very, very qualified as well, um, you know, he would be a great person to take, seek advice from. He could source every single colour of natural jade, but he struggled with red. 
Is that a piece of red he's holding in, in the picture? I think that's a ruby. I was going to say. Yeah, I think that's my got ruby. My goodness, if that's red jade. <laughs> it's enormous. £149. If you add that to the previous strand, if you want to make that graduated pieces, uh, piece of jewellery, comparatively, that's a great 49. deal. It's an absolutely great deal. Pillar and Stone, Roland Schlüssel says, the price of type A jadeite is right now at an all-time high. Particularly uh, difficult for us is the sourcing of the skin. He's talking about the red colors. This is the fancy color of jades, lavenders and red. These prized colors are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidizes. This is why you never get a solid red color, sculptures or jewelry. The skin is so thin comparative, uh, comparatively and the boulders aren't coming out in the current market. I don't see any other colour, do you? No. However, he says you rarely ever get solid red. <laughs> We're not stopping a 149. There are 30 available opportunities. All the collectors, all the connoisseurs that uh, have been really sensible in their, in their purchases, basically getting their red jadeites, getting their lavender mm -hmm. jadeites, greens, which, black, whatever colour you, uh, white, whatever colour you love, get them now because if Roland Schlüssel can't get hold of certain colours, you can bet your bottom dollar we're going to struggle to. In fact, we yeah. can't. We've already said it. We can get it in a dyed form, but I don't personally want dyed jade. I, it hasn't got any true value or worth. It's not going to um, It's not going to sort of accumulate in price point and valuation over the years, whereas type A grade absolutely will. In 10 seconds, we're going lower, and Ross has said in my ear, what we're going to, these are going to sell out. I've never oh. seen this strand before, and it is remarkable. Again, it's stunning. Here in the studio, it looks quite... On, on your TV screens, I'm just looking, it looks quite orange. It's not. It's not. When I look at it here, it's not. It's not at all. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that beautiful cherry, cherry tomato colour. Under £100. Yeah. It's exactly the same strand, under 100 pounds, and it's completely natural. Roland Schlüssel said, it's so rare to get these colors because it is the skin of the boulder. That's why you never get solid red color. I don't see any sort of blend of green running through like they, we did in that mm. carving. I don't see any white like we did in that bangle. It is all solid red. And that's not changed by a little bit of dyeing or impregnation. It's certified from a laboratory as completely natural. You can get hold of that certificate too. 99 pounds only or 30 three pounds and 33 pence on your split payments west midlands victoria uh, london linda kent allen sorry another sorry hello m victoria county tyrone hello to you maker sorry allison norma hello to you uh, cardiff cumbrian hertfordshire we are over allocated this is the most basic diagram consider how rare jadeite is firstly over six thousand minerals on the planet that's a lot mm. isn't it jadeite is in the top 10 probably in the top five now because it changes on a yearly basis in accordance to how um, abundant it actually is coming into the market when it's not being mined. So, so firstly, you've got to find jadeite. If you're lucky enough to find jadeite, has it oxidized? Has it oxidized? And if it has, are you going to get enough to get one yeah. solid red colour? Because you are talking about literally like the skin of an apple. Well, well when you look at that picture of the stone, that, like you say, that skin looks so thin. Yeah, it is. You know, and then you've got the layer underneath before you get into the to the green. And you're like, how on earth? And if you look at it down the back shoulder of it, it's not that red anymore. No, it's not. It's more yellow, isn't yeah. it? It's more, probably more of it's the incredible. yellow colours, which in itself is rare. Oh, in yeah. itself, very, very rare and very sure. valuable. But this red colour, though, it's just it's blowing my mind how, 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 how intense it is. I mean, one of those, if you manage to get, say, the old Mac jade or you've got some green mm. jade, I, one of those in it would look amazing. That's how I'd use it. Yeah. You're going to get the most value out of these strands by splitting them. Like you saw those earrings where they've got one of the red jadeite at the top mixed in with other jadeite. That's where that's the way to maximize your value if that's what you want. If you're buying it for you, 
go all out yeah. and do yourself a, a necklace, a suite, whatever. If you're thinking about profit as oh. well, you know, I didn't realise this until recently because um, my brother and I are in the process of sort of going through my mum and dad's home anyway, but um, I put a damper on things. And Rich was actually saying to me, he was going, you know, oh, they sold, we were talking about some of the uh, stuff that mum and dad had inherited yeah. from their family. And they, uh, they had barometers and things like that. And Rich was saying to me, um, oh, they sold that at Sotheby's. I was like, really? They went to Sotheby's and sold them? And he was like, yeah. I didn't realise how easy it was. <laughs> and so, normal people could sell things at Sotheby's. Yeah, I didn't think that, that yeah, exactly. So, do you know what? We should do this. Mm. You should, how good are you at knotting your jewellery? And I can tell you, I, I used to sit by somebody who was a professional pearl knotter who does exactly the same techniques that you do. You should do this. You should maybe consider knotting. And I would personally say, go all red, knot it, no clasp, approach Sotheby's. Wow. I, I think you should. I think you should. I, I, I want to do it. I'm not a very good knotter, though. That's the only thing. But for those of you that are, do it. Give it a go. Hey? Alison could help me out, yeah. Absolutely. I could certainly show you Split how. Profit. I'd be more than happy to show you how. Oh. It's always better to do it yourself. I know. So we'll show you how. Bit of practice. and You know, what are you going to work? What are you going to lose? A bit of silk. You know what? I'm a lot you don't fun. damage the gemstones. So even if you... Knot them, undo them, knot them, undo them several times over before you're happy with it. Yep. It's cost you pence and a, been a great learning experience. Oh, totally. Well, it's, a, it's another string to your bow, isn't it? Yeah. At the end string of the day. <laughs> Absolutely. It is. Don't knot your string in your bow. I've got a little bit of a <gasps> surprise. Nice. Your four millimetres. Yeah. We have 50. <gasps> Which are going like mad. Which are flying, yeah. Absolutely flying. It's the last of the red jade. And is that it, Ross? Is that all the red jade that we have? The three red jade out strands that we have in our, in our vault, this is it. So again, I'm gonna just take you back. And again, if you're on Instagram, pop a lot, follow, give Mason and Kay a follow. They're lovely people as well. And we reference them a lot. Have a look at their jewelry. So let's go through their jewelry pieces. So, I mean, here, look at the red. Look how beautiful that red colour is and compare it to yours. That one hasn't got any red, has it? But no. scroll next. <coughs> but you see where the... Sorry. Look at the colour. Just look at the colour. I know those are carved, beautifully carved. Let's have a look at the next one. Look at the colour. Mm. <coughs> and the next one. Look at the colour. The quality of your red jade out here at Jewellery Maker is honestly second to none. No. 50 available. Look at the colour here. It's actually better. It's actually better. And this is one of well, the pieces quite... that they were... That's literally from Tucson. They're saying that where their is booth she? is at the AGTA Gem Fair um, a couple of days ago. They're using that piece to draw people in. And, and yours is a better colour. Are you ready? There Go are on. 50 available. And we're always fond of four mils, aren't we, here at mm. Jewelry Maker? Always, because you can do so much with them. You know, whether you accentuate other colours of jadeite, like uh, Mason and Kay have done, or whether you use them in things like your, oh gosh, knotting, or whether um, beady, bead, oh, beady beads in type A red jadeite. Why not? Why not, indeed. At that price. We're at a double figure price tag, but yes, there is a clock on your screens. We are absolutely going lower. Again, just to show you, just to show you that there is zero enhancement, but you can get that certificate. Um, if you know, this, look, look at this one here. It's red, but look, this one does have a little bit of the white in there, like that yeah. bangle. Can you see that? If they were Quite dyed, like if they were dyed, it wouldn't have that white. No. Absolutely. Is it still listed as red? Yes, yes. definitely. Like the bangle. Um, yeah, you jump on the fact that it has got that red colour, particularly now. Now more so than ever. At 99.99, already collectors getting involved. The, the fact we've got 50 is amazing. The quality of the red that you are getting here is really second to none. I'm not sure how Dave did this, but... And I can't ask him. He's not here at the moment. I don't oh. know when, he, when they get back from Tucson. It should be soon. £79.99. 
thought he had one, he had one of his moments. He had one really? of his moments, yeah. I'm going to speak to Dave, you know, about the Bees and Christie's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh so, sorry. I thought you meant about his moments. No, 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 not about his moments. Leave him, Absolutely leave him, not. I want him to keep, continue bringing these deals. But I'm going to speak to him because I think this is definitely something, you know, we should be doing. Mm. And I'm not just thinking about from the monetary side of things. I, I'd be curious to see what, what, what Sotheby's and Christie's mm. actually will sell are, are gemstones on there or auction it, because it is an auction, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for... I'm just curious, so I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to Dave about that. I think it's something we could do. It's a really good exercise. Yeah, it, it's not gonna be seventy nine ninety nine, is it? Let's uh, be no, no, it's, it's not. Not gonna be eighty quid. It's not. You can't you, you can't go to Mason Kay's booth at wholesale and grab type A natural white, uh, red jadeite with this level of quality of color anywhere near what's on your screens multi buyers congratulations do not go anywhere lovely jewelry makers coming up after the break we have literally this is last chance saloon this is all the old met guatemalan jadeite we have left in our vault today might i can't read into the future but it might be the last time you see guatemalan jadeite I don't know. I don't know if there's any on order. You've got to remember it's rarity. So every single Guatemalan Olmec blue jadeite at the lost treasure of Guatemala is going to be in the next uh, half hour of the show. Um, you can pre-order. Have a look on the website. They are all ready on, the, uh, on there for you to shop ahead. Plus, don't forget a new masterclass. We have a brand new tool launch with our lovely Alison, who's dropped down again. Yeah, yeah um, we'll prop me up for later. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you tune in for that because that's going to be really exciting. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. Back after this. Alison Terry here. No, I'm not doing my New Year's resolution and exercising. I wanted to fetch you a quick sneak preview of our brand new tool set. This isn't all of them. Coming to you at 12 o'clock this Sunday. It's all about the rings. They're all for shaping. If you do want to use them for exercise, that's up to you too. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple. 
on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Ooh. What a show it's been so far and we're not done yet. We're still not done. We've still got your Lost amazing tool launch as well. <gasps> Can't wait for that. I Sorry, know. I've lost my wire. That's all right. That's all right, lovely. Yeah, brand new tool coming up. Ooh, so excited. Um, very excited. Yeah. Now, this half hour of the show is literally going to be... I can't say literally because uh, I can't read into the future. So, um, probably. Likely, yeah. Likely to be... Last chance saloon for our Guatemalan jade. We will endeavour, endeavour to get more. Of course we will. Um, but it's hard to get hold of. It's, uh, you know, there's a, the world knows about Guatemalan jade mm. right now as well. So there's a lot of com yeah, competition <laughs> for it. So I'm not saying it's not coming out the ground. It's still being mined. Of course it is. But um, it's difficult to purchase. What is Guatemalan jade? Well, it's, uh, it's a local... Jade doesn't just form in... Uh, I mean, most people think jade forms exclusively in China. Actually, it doesn't. Jadeite doesn't form in China. Um, uh, nephrite is mined in China. Uh, most jadeite will come from uh, Burma. It might come from... Why have I gone blank? Why have I gone blank? Canada's the nephrite, yeah, isn't uh, it? Yeah, Canada is nephrite, yeah. Uh, British Columbia, as ah. well, you can get it from as well. Anyway, there's different mining locations, but it is uber, uber rare. There is also another place, and that is Guatemala. Imagine in the dense jungle of Guatemala, there is a lo location somewhere that we knew about literally hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years ago that existed. And this location was regarded so highly by the locals that they quite literally guarded it with their life. And when that civilization died out, the location and the knowledge of Guatemalan jade died too. But we had these amazing examples that were exhibited in places like the Smithsonian Museums, beautiful hand-carved masks, carved literally in that same abrasive manner that you find of your Burmese jadeite. But there was something particularly unique wow. about Guatemalan jade, and that was its colour. Nowhere else in the world brings you Olmec blue jadeite other than Guatemala. Um, in its rough form, and this is an amazing slice of a boulder, a chunk of a boulder if you like, you see this colour in order of its glory. There's no enhancement, there's no dye, this is how it forms exclusively there. It's amazing. And the reason why um, it is known as the lost treasure of Guatemala, because thousands of years ago, Two friends, Cortez and Montezuma, um, and I'll read this to you if I can. The Lost Mines. Jade was the most valuable. Let's, let's go through this article because it was pieces like this that you see pictured. So we knew about it. Look at the date, 500 to 900 BC in the Cleveland Museum of Art. The Lost Mine. So they knew this treasure was out there somewhere. 
JDAT was the most valuable material for the ancient Olmecs, Mayans, uh, Zapotecs, and other uh, Mesoamerican cultures. In the 16th century, uh, whole of Mesoamerica was conquered, Mesoamerica, sorry, I keep saying Meso, Mesoamerica was conquered by the Spanish. Mayans who controlled the jade at mines dispatched guards to guard their treasure. Um, mines of the most valuable material known to them. Cortes and Montezuma were accustomed to playing an, uh, a native game, which in many ways resembled chess. It was their further custom at the close of each day, uh, sorry, each day's game, to present each other with some gifts. Um, at the close of one day's game, the Aztec monarchs presented Cortes with several large discs of gold and silver, handsomely worked. Cortes was greatly pleased and expressed himself. Montezuma smiled and said, the gift tomorrow shall be such that today's gift will seem in value and preciousness when compared with it as no more than a single stone tile on the roadway. The royal treasurer of Montezuma bought, uh, brought in on a golden slab of the royal gift, four small carved jade beads. The bitter, the bitter disappointment of Cortes was so great that he could scarcely conceal it. And you know, the reason, the reason we read this story Montezuma, uh, sorry, Cortes didn't understand the value and the rarity of what was being presented to him. And imagine that, literally, four beads, mm. four individual beads. Wow. Moving on. But the Europeans had quite different priorities. Gold and better known jewels above all emeralds. Thus the mines kept their mines secret and the Spaniards disregarded this. Guards of the mines died out and the location of the mine was forgotten. When Europeans later found the beautiful jadeite artifacts of the Mayans and other local cultures, they did not have any knowledge of the source of this stone. There were not known finds of jadeite in this uh, region and some scientists even considered that jadeite was imported here from China. A closer chemical and structural analysis seems to testify the Olmec blue jadeite is different and most likely comes from another place. More careful geologists, though, noted that the conditions during the formation of rocks can be very diverse, even in a smaller area. So, it was lost. I oh, know. It was lost. And some 450 years later, an amazing couple called the Ridingers, discovered it once again. They knew of its existence. They knew it came from Guatemala. Um, but where? Where in Guatemala? In 1974, Jay Ridinger uh, um, was on the trial of the lost treasure of Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies of Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957. Foshag published a map which indicated X marks the spot and Ridinger and his wife, Mary Lou, travelled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said it wasn't as simple as that. It's yeah. not a case of there's a map, go follow it. It's not that simple. Look at the location that they are literally standing. However, they were successful. And along this wow. vast terrain of dense Guatemalan jungle, they did find, not far from the Montague River, the source of this beautiful, beautiful gemstone. But initially, you know, can you imagine this, right? You find it, it's been lost for hundreds of years, and you're expecting to have the gratification when you yeah, get yeah. back. No. Um, the riding has announced their find to the world, but no one actually believed them. They were laughed at and called crazy until, it, until the 1987 the National Geographical article, Jade, came out and they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the Jade sources were lost because the reverence uh, the, uh, the Mayan shown for Jade was considered um, idolatry uh, and the sources were abandoned. 450 years later, the riding has re-established the Jade industry in Guatemala. What an achievement oh i know and it fascinates me that that history almost repeats itself because in the original nobody valued what what the the, the jadeite was and then they come back and nobody believes them. nobody believes them exactly and, and it almost you know it could have very easily got lost again lost again and how sad that would have been i love i think it's one of my favorite colors of jade mine too i love it it's incredible natural certified wow. You are about to get your lost treasure. Oh. We're starting with <gasps> the only Guatemalan bangle that we have ever, ever carved. Look at that. I've never seen this. 
it's utterly exquisite. I've seen it. You know, I said earlier on, it's highly unlikely mm. that we are going to be able to get, never say never, but it doesn't look positive that we're going to get any more anytime soon. Mm. Absolutely the case when it comes to the bangle. Because... Let's look at it. The, 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 the scale of, of what this is, mm -hmm. you know, that's a huge piece of Guatemalan Olmec jade that has been carved in the most desirable piece, you know, of all jade, whatever location, it's the bangle that mm. you want. It is. And you can ask Susie. Uh, she says that all the time. <gasps> it comes literally boxed as you would expect something of this rarity. Again, like your faceted pearls, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to be an affordable amount. It's not. It's probably one of the rarest pieces that we have within our vault. There are three available in the world. Three available. And you don't buy a bangle, you know, just... What Dave was saying this earlier on, you don't, you, you, you're not necessarily concerned about its fit. You're not worried if it's going to be too big or it's too small. Perfect. It's a solid piece of natural Olmec Guatemalan jadeite. I just love it. Natural. It's a work of art. Mm. It's literally a work of art. There are three of these available. That's it. <gasps> Look at the quality. And I have my phone here. So we had that slide earlier on, didn't we? Yeah. Where we showed one light source being shone into a, 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 a slice of Olmec jadeite. Let's do the same. Wow, look at that. Look at that quality of colour. Wow. <clears throat> it's natural, it's translucent. You can really appreciate how perfectly carved it is as well. That's look at that beautiful colour. Absolutely amazing. And I'm literally just using my phone. So, um, using my phone. I wish I had more. To be honest, we're lucky to even have three really lucky and that quality literally is throughout the entire bangle are you ready for this might be the last time um, ever that we get to bring you an olmec jadeite bangle because i mean we were lucky enough to even see this to be truthful mm. wasn't it launched on christmas day yeah i thought oh, was so it? um 799 pounds this should not be wow. three figures it no. shouldn't be it, this is a piece of jewelry that absolutely uh, um, could command, I mean, heaven knows. If you go to, the Ridingers have got, I mean, sadly, Jay Ridinger uh, has actually passed oh, away, okay. but if you actually go to the Ridingers website, you know, you can source amazing beaded necklaces, you can source beautiful cabochon rings. I don't think they've got a, a, a bangle on there. I don't think, anyway. And if they did, I don't know if it would be £799, especially with this consistency of colour. Do you notice how they're not matte? They're not, mm. they're not grainy. It's a beautiful, fine texture. There are so many of you with it in your baskets. This is your price. We cannot go any lower. This is arguably one of the rarest treasures that we have in the entire Gemporia vault, not just Jewelry Maker vault. Do you agree with that, Ross? Yeah, yeah. Um, arguably, we never thought we'd get a Guatemalan jadeite bangle. And there was only ever 25 in the world. Can you consider that, though? 25 people. In the world. In the world. Claire and I spoke about this yesterday, Alison. So yeah. when Louis Vuitton do a limited edition bag, yeah. which, let's be honest, is machine mage, uh, um, they'll still have thousands. Yeah. And command astronomical thousands of pounds of price tag. 25 people will own this. There's one left. Use your 0% interest if you wish. Yes. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. There's so much to bring you. I'm going to leave it with you because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people with it in their seven. baskets. Seven. 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 seven of you for the final one. Get it home. You still get that 30-day money-back guarantee. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay. Let's bring you... Oh, goodness me. I've got to bring this back. This strand is unreal. It's long, too. Mm. Can I show the Ridinger's beaded necklace? It's called the Rainforest Necklace. You've got a graduation of colours. Um, ideally, you want consistent Olmec blue. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, also, take a little look, a look halfway up. It's very grainy, isn't it? Very, very grainy. Is that, what that tells me is it's quite a coarse crystal structure. It's not going to have the best translucency. 
the, oh, this strand. How many have we got, Ross? Really? Oh. It's just remarkable. Hang on a second. Amazing quality. Let me just grab my phone. Oops, sorry. Hang on. I'm trying. <laughs> you want to fetch it this way? Yeah, let's nice. do that. Can you hold that for me yeah. a minute? Thank you, darling. I'm just going to grab my phone. Look at that translucency. We don't even need to dip the lights. You can see the translucency, can't you? Yeah. You can see wow. the quality of the colour. There are 10 of these available. These are the biggest rounds that we have. Eight and a half millimetres in their size. Totally natural. You are lit. Do you know the riding is actually inspired uh, in the character Indiana yeah. Jones as well? How I cool is that? So cool. How cool is that? At £2,999. Again, look at the quality that yeah. you're getting for that price tag, but we are no way near stopping there. Ten of you will be successful. If you are looking for sort of a longer line at necklace, if you want a multi-buy, you can do that. All budget permitting, of course. £399, that's absolutely unbelievable, That's crazy. Isn't it? it is you absolutely get, you, unbelievable. You can get it home for less than £100. Less than £100. Wow. That's, exactly. That's incredible, well, isn't sorry. it? Sorry. Hang on. She's going to wear it. She's going in. Look at that. Look how beautiful the colour oh, is against the skin. Suits you, missus. I love this colour. I, I love this. <laughs> beautiful. It's stunning. Absolutely mm. stunning. There are only 10, though. Maker, I can see you've got two in your basket. Anna in Derbyshire, Leslie and Ken M in Surrey. We have no Guatemalan jade on order. We are really struggling to get hold of it at the moment. The world has learned i guess you know um more about this amazing location we know about it and it is in demand has the east now sussed out this as well yes and you've got to remember Burmy, uh, Burmese Burmese jade eye is not accessible at the moment. You know, even yeah. some of our, our suppliers are actually working with your type B or type C Burmese jade eye. You know, ideally you don't want jade that's dyed or impregnated no. in, um, with any kind of uh, waxing. Um, this isn't. This is totally and utterly natural. And, even, uh, and furthermore, you know, £399. Yeah. That's amazing. This, this you wouldn't get. You imagine this on Sotheby's and, uh, and Christie's that I said earlier on. It's not going to be a triple figure price tag, I shouldn't imagine. Well, I reckon you've got more beads on there than they've got on their necklace. Yeah. For, for $569. Yeah, totally agree. Moving on to what? I love this strand. Yeah. I love it. It's so beautiful. There's only six of these though. Oh, see, this is a bracelet to me because you've got those rounds in it, which will give you that articulation. It's going to look incredible. I mean, it looks stunning as a necklace as well. Amazing luster. Mm. The colour's just divine. It is, there. it's beautiful. Absolutely amazing Love luster on this one. You've got your columns and also these little rondelles. I say little, they're not that little. No. Look at this. It literally looks wet, doesn't it? It does. Um, and that's because of the quality of the jadeite. That's because you haven't got that coarse crystal structure. You've got that really fine, tightly knit crystal Beautiful. formation. Um, so it's not visible to the naked eye, but it does bear... What is visible is, is its translucency. So if you've got a fine uh, crystal structure, you'll see this wonderful, um, almost wet-like appearance, translucent gem. That's idyllic. That's what you really want when it comes to um, any location of jade. I, I think that this is one of my favourite strands of, uh, mm. of our Guatemalan jade. I absolutely love it. There are only six of them available, though. Straight down to five because Natasha snatches up the first one. Well done, lovely. Are you ready for your price point? Oh, gosh, I'm scared. Oh, what? How is that less? I don't know. That's crazy. Because you've basically got two strands, haven't you? Yeah. But, I mean, two. Wow. You'd have to buy two strands to make that design, which mm. a lot of us would do. Yeah, yeah. I think absolutely. just to kind of alternate between the two. Geraldine, you've got the next one. Well done. Um, I've got people are oh, anonymous collector. There are three remaining. And we have no Olmec Jadeite on order, order as we speak. We can't get hold of it at the moment. Oh, Cumbria gosh. and sorry, you're there as well. Um, okay, let's do... Gosh, that's interesting. There's lots of Surreys today. Amazing. Yeah, there are. Oh, Richley, Maker and sorry, Natasha and sorry, Geraldine and sorry. Well done. 
Um, and I've got, sorry, on the, on, the, on the web as well. Now, these launched on Christmas Day. Really? 20? That is a big quantity for all, Nick. I would expect it to be much, much, much less. The colour is beautiful. This is beautiful. Nice. Again, do I say it? Go on. Do I say it? Go on. Look at the quality of this. And tell me if you disagree. It's better than that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Far better. Mm. It's beautiful. Because it's, it's, it's all all neck blue. Mm. It's not opaque. And you can make that piece of jewellery anyway. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's just stranded. It's not, it, yeah. With spaces. I'd, I'd expect something like this to be made better, I think. It, it's a very basic make. But yeah, I agree with you. No, but that, that most jewel, most jewellery is most commercial jewellery yeah. is a basic make. It, mo a lot of it is stranded. That's not. I don't mean to knock it. I would want that. a nicer clasp. I'd want a nicer clasp, and they look. They they almost look like um, crimp beads between. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I agree. always say you can use a crimp bead as a bead, but I think I'd want something nicer, or, more sympathetic, or a knot. Yeah, a knot, a knot or a round. Yeah, I agree. Something to go with it or a little gemstone oh. in there. Alison, look. look at this recording. I know, it's When so we beautiful. say Olmec Blue, the only location in the world that offers you blue jadeite is Guatemala. It's stunning. And when we say blue, it is this beautiful colour. Yeah that the world literally, well, we lost for hundreds and hundreds of years. And you can see why the riding has set out on that yeah. amazing quest to relocate that source. It's just incredible. It's beautiful. See, again. Lowest oh, price that we've gosh. seen, matching that. Do you think we're stopping there though? I've actually got 20 of these. That's an exciting quantity when, when it comes to Guatemala and Jada. You don't, you don't see that quantity, do you? People are multiplying this. Yeah, I don't blame you. Don't blame you, Sean. It's a beautiful it's colour. It, lo it literally complements every skin tone as oh, well. Oh, totally, totally. Every skin tone. And you could put anything with it. It's that sort of, sort of colour that's going to go with... If you put a gemstone spacer, you could put any coloured gemstone yeah, in there. Yeah, totally. Rose gold, any. yellow gold, yeah. platinums, white, whichever. Totally agree. We are not stopping there. There are 20. Let's not be complacent, though. 20 is not huge. Not with the amount of uh, the, the audience that we have today. It has been busy from literally the moment we, mm -hmm. uh, we appeared live. And it still is now. This could potentially be... Never say never, of course. We will always endeavour to get more, especially when something is as mesmerically yeah. beautiful as Guatemala and Olmec Jade. Um, however, currently, I can, only, I can only share with you the status of the gemstone as we speak. We have none on order and we can't get hold. We can't get hold of it right now. The lowest price that we have brought you, type A, which basically means completely natural, not dyed, not impregnated, is 299, which is astonishing, absolutely astonishing. But we are going to bring a massive price jump. Oh, <gasps> oh, that is, oh. Ooh. We've halved it, haven't we? Wow. So, Sean, yeah. you multi bought a 299. Basically, you bought one, got one free. Yeah. You can make, if you've got, I wow. mean, can you imagine that? So, that if you, if you do double this up, I don't know how you're going to use yours, but if, if I've got two, then I would probably make a rope. This was mm. only, oh. I'd imagine a rope knotted together. It's, yeah. it's a metre, almost a metre of Olmec Jadeite. Wow. How unbelievable would that be? There were 20. Sean, Susan, Cumbria, William, Sophia, also multi-buying, M in Surrey, Soraya, another Surrey, Maker in Northumberland, Anna in Derbyshire, Elaine in Kent, Victoria in Kent. Um, I've still got people like uh, lovely Gabrielle, hello darling, uh, Bridgen, Surrey, Sharon, Sally, Cumbria. I can't keep up with you now. There was 20 of these available. They will sell out today. And it's wearable size as well, isn't it? Seven millimetres. Yeah, it's a beautiful size. 
Um, whether you want a bracelet, whether you want a necklace, it's going to be beautiful. Whether you're going to add it in with another gemstone, whether you're going to have it on its own. It's, if you put that as a drop earring, you know, surely a pair of, pair of earrings you get in, well, you're going to be getting towards three figures, surely. I would assume so. I'd assume so. You know, last year when I went over to Tucson? Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. see any Guatemalan jade. No. I didn't see any. And it's like, literally, there are... No. No, no we didn't. That's right. I, I, th I think... Literally a year ago, less than a year ago, we didn't have Guatemalan jade here at Jewelry Maker. That's incredible, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. When, when you think about it that mm. way. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations on the verge of selling out as well. Wow. This is it. If you've just tuned in, this is all the Guatemalan jade that we have left. Let's do the six mils next. This one. And me. Again, it's such a beautiful colour. And I love the next two as well. <laughs> yeah, I like the rondelles <laughs> as well. 16 available of these. Again, beautiful, beautiful colour. See, I would ombre this. Ah! Oh. Stunning, a little bit it? more green presence yeah. within this one. I love that. It's, got it's that still sort of natural. Bluey, yellowy, bi -color. greeny tone. Yeah, it is a bi it is a bi colour, isn't it? Oceanic. Very oceanic. I like this strand a lot. Mm. It's pretty. That colour, I think, is so pretty. Oh, you see, no, I was thinking. I was thinking it was very. Uh, it was more unisex. Mm. Yeah. It is pretty. I think. I think. Yeah. I think men and ladies. Uh, you know. Anybody could wear this. Yes. Whatever age, as well. If you could, I wouldn't trust my little ones for Guatemala and Jane. Well, no, no, but, but but I think I think it, it would is. suit them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Generous drill holes. I'm noticing in the recording as well. Really generous drill holes, and you could keep it really simple. You could literally do your stretchy bracelets, or you could create something uh, very elaborate, whichever you wish. Mm. But. Guatemalan, well, all jadeite jewellery, in, sort of in your strands like this, they do tend to come knotted or maybe with your tassels. Think yeah. back again to the Mason and Kay, and I know we're talking about a different location right now, but Mason and Kay with that little elephant carving, yeah? Yeah. It's what, macrame, that's all. Very, really simple, basic techniques in terms of how they display this gemstone. In 19 seconds, we are going lower. We're not stopping here. How many do we have, do you say? 16, that's it. Crazy. No Guatemalan jade on order at the moment. In fact, this is also the last strand of rounds mm. that we have in the business. That's it. You know, I can, we can bring you Pareba tourmaline more mm. readily than we can do Olmec jadeite currently. It's crazy. You know the statement ring, you, you, the, the really contemporary ring with her, with, which had the faceted um, pearl in Yeah, it. yeah. Something like that with the Olmec. Mm. I, because, because it's so different, I would want to go contemporary with it yeah. rather than more down the traditional route because it's different to the jadeite. It, it, it feels so fresh and new, even though it's hundreds of years old. It's, it, it just has that feel for me that I would want to go contemporary it, with it. it. I mean, it is very new to the market, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Very, absolutely. very new. Even though it's got the history, yeah. in terms of, we, it was a legend, you know. Yeah. We knew about it. We knew it existed. It was that, it was, it was that dream, wasn't it? Oh, it was yeah. that wish that we knew existed, but we never imagined actually sort of owning. Maybe you'd been to the Smithsonian Museum, Museum and maybe you'd seen that, you know, the Olmec blue carved jadeite mask, maybe, but none of us ever thought about owning it or no. entertained owning it because it, we, we didn't know where it was. it was. We assumed it was, that was it, it's gone. That was it, that's gone. They've Died out with the Mayan people, literally. Here is that opportunity, and it's only been brought to you over the past year at Jewelry Maker. £129. I love this shade. You've got the old neck blue, but you've got that wonderful presence of a green warmth within. Mm. It's Notice as well, though, it's still translucent. You've still got that beautiful, fine uh, fine texture. It's not opaque. Look, you're under, uh, under um, magnification right now. Take a little look at the blue Mary Lou ring. It's opaque. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. But it's quite opaque. Yeah. Look at the translucency in your strand. And yours isn't $1,250 either. Yours is £129. Amazing. I'll leave it with you. Congratulations. That's all the rounds that we have. 
I have got two strands of rondelles. Don't forget, we've got an amazing tool launch <gasps> coming up as well. Shall we? Okay. Should we? I'm just going to put it out there because time's Both ticking. Two strands of rondelles, separate, obviously. One's, one's more blue, one's a little bit more with the yellow. Still beautiful. Both of these are going under £100 today. Quantity-wise, you've got oh, 20 of each. Oh, no. I'm going to start with the blue. I love the rondelles in your Guatemalan they jade. Great. Yeah, nice. the, I love it. I just think they create these really lovely... Jadeite I love in rondelles. And we very rarely see it in no. a rondelle. It's always it's around, wasteful, isn't it? that's why. Mm. Because you think you've got to cut around and then chop, eat both chop ends Chop the ends off. off. Basically, so it's very wasteful. We try and retain the carrot weight. So it tends to be quite expensive to get actually uh, uh, rondelles. Love this strand. Absolutely beautiful. If I was to make for my husband, I would go for a rondelle. Uh, you know, I was thinking that. It's, yeah. I, I think it gives you a more masculine strand. I, I, I mean, I love it. I love rondelles anyway. I'd wear that as well. Oh, absolutely. In 23 seconds, there are only 20 of these remaining. What, what, what? Could you imagine having some of this as your something blue for a wedding? Oh, I should say. <gasps> be Most people think Different. aquamarine or maybe yeah. a bit of tanzanite or sapphire. No, no, thank you. Give me the type A all neck jade eye any day. Too right. Not many brides will have rocked that, no. would they? No. How beautiful. How, How beautiful. How unique. The lost treasure of Guatemala. The price of it? Guaranteed under £100. This is it. Crazy. This is all we have. All we have. The entire Guatemalan jadeite, Olmec blue. That's all we have. There's nothing reserved for another day. There's nothing in the pipeline. Because unfortunately, the world has woken up to this beautiful location. Mm. We, we've, we've, it's been the, so the legacy, if you like, the, 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 the location, the beautiful, unique jadeite that was unachievable, that was inaccessible because it was literally lost, literally lost. We could have held this even at 99. Let's be honest, that's silly. It is silly. Yeah. 79 pounds. It will be a sellout, though. Um, because there's so many there. Caroline, Carola, Elaine, Bridge M, Victoria, Suzanne, Sharon, Gabrielle, Deirdre. I've still got Gwyneth, Mary, new customer, Muriel, uh, Susan, David. Hello to you, Venetia. I wonder if that's our Dave. <laughs> <laughs> our Dave going, stop selling our, uh, stop, stop doing this. We can't replace it. Well, I know he uh, does buy stuff. Hey? I yeah, he does. He does yeah. Buy stuff. yeah, so do I, regularly. Well, yes. Georgina, Susan. Well, yeah, we're not. I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, do you know? No, don't worry. So many people say to me, like, do you actually, uh, oh. do you come to work just to buy things? Uh, sometimes. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Some months I'm like that. Mm. Yeah, there go my wages again. Yeah. Bills are on you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, especially, you know, as we're talking about Guatemala and Jade, I... You could, I, I, this is my logic, and my husband rolls his eyes every time I say it, but it's like, I can always buy a pair of shoes. You could always buy, I don't know, you can always treat yourself to, I don't know, a new perfume, can't you? Weekend away? Well, for that, you wouldn't weekend. even get a weekend away, a night away. That's true. I can't always get a gemstone no. like this Guatemalan old Elmec Jadeite. And it lasts longer than exactly. shoes And it will shoes always or... have that value. Yeah. <clears throat> now to bring you... <gasps> Love this strand. The Olmec yellow, effectively, this is this is bicoloured, isn't it? Yeah. You've, you, 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 and that's the joy of jadeite. You do get dual colours, tricolours, sometimes quad colours, um, in one gemstone. I love this strand. I love the fact that you've got red, you've got yellow, you've got Olmec all in individual mm. stones. We have price promised it under one hundred. I think it's a celebration. You know, we talk about Olmec blue, blue, mm. blue, 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 blue. But you know what? Guatemalan jade is not just blue. You do get the greens. You do get the yellows. And in the same way that, 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 that uh, um, Burmese jade eye, it oxidizes. So it's rare to get the reds and the yellows. 69 quid. <laughs> it's going to be even rarer in a minute. <laughs> wow. 69? Are you all right, Ross? <laughs> he says, I'm great. 
Oh, Nick Jade at affordable prices, you said. I chilled out in the gallery. No, chilled out you are. What are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> said it's five o'clock somewhere. Only joking, obviously, Ross. Al Carlin studio. Um, what on earth is going? That's why you do. That's why you just sixty-nine pounds, isn't it? Mm. Seriously, I, 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 yeah. I, I was not well expecting played. that. Technically, this is actually rarer. Yeah. Because it's actually got It'll the different yellow. colours in there yeah. as well. It's got those oxidised colours coming through. Um, you know it as well. West Midlands, Victoria, Samantha, multi buying. Sophia in Yorkshire, well done. Natasha, multi buying, amazing. Uh, Jenny, well done, multi buying. I've got Lynn, Maker, Maker, Sharon, M, uh, Elaine, Joanne, Maker, Essex, <clears throat> new customer, Dumfries. Did you say I had 20 of these? 20, okay. I don't have that quantity now though, do I? Seven left. Seven left, well done, well done. That's all your Guatemalan jadeite strands. Now we do wow. have two, is two. We've got a couple of carvings to bring you. Oh, my goodness me. So Guatemalan jade is now, anyway, it's not carved in Guatemala. Um, most Guatemalan jade will be sent to China because they are really the global jade carvers of the yeah. world. Um, They've been perfecting it over centuries, haven't exactly, they? Exactly, exactly. And Guatemalan jade is no different to, say, your Burmese jade. Which one do you want to do? Let's start with the landscape. No, that's all good. Let's start with the landscape. I love this piece. I love this. And I've put the... the where is it? No, I haven't. I thought I had. Um, because, you know, when we said earlier on Sotheby's... Uh, uh, Wan Howe almost talks about the artistry, doesn't he? He talks about the artistry in a jade and how we should look for the wow factor. It's not just about the colour. It's not just about the size of your gemstone. It's about the artistry as well. So jade experts will look for that. If I literally pop this behind your stone... Firstly, the thing you should notice is its translucency. So you can see just incredible, oops, sorry, incredible translucency. And then, especially when I draw it away ever so slightly, look at the mountains at the top. How? I can't draw I know, it's that. Beautiful, well, you isn't see it? mountains almost in yeah. the distance. And, and, and then you've got the moon. Yeah. Just up there. Glowing. I love the way the. I, I can't believe this yeah. is out of a solid gemstone. I know. And, and, and they don't even, it's not even about the carving or just about the carving. The carving, they also work in 3D. Yeah. I know that sounds stupid for carving, but they work with, with the depth of colour and they use... They it's use light and that, shade, isn't it? Yeah. They use that translucency to add to that carving. So you've got a 3D carving and then, uh, you know, I mean, I've got... Because I've been collecting the jade because I haven't been able to resist... Um, because Not a I bad want collection. it. No, I know it's a beautiful collection, um, but you want these pieces with light behind them. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. They're just amazing. They, I mean, that's beautiful. But then you do that, and it it's the wow you factor. Away. It is yeah. the wow factor that Sotheby's talk about. You know, you don't look at a work of art and say, "Oh, that's lovely," because it's ex it's so much in terms of its measurement. This is what Sotheby's actually said. You look at a piece of jade, and you think, "Okay, that's a beautiful example of." But look at that artistry and skill i can't even draw that you know the level of depth into those mountains you're looking at here again guatemalan jade it's a big piece it's got beautiful translucency again it's not even remotely remotely opaque and we're at 199 pounds look at the pagoda perched on the hills um look at the look at the moon like i say up by the the mountains and that wonderful overhanging trees look at the use of the color if you like in the local town and you can't quite see it on this recording but you do have figures walking across uh, walking across a, yeah. a bridge there as well amazing what Incredible, artistry and it? skill you have to check out your baskets though to make your confirmation how many did we have of those 10 
OK, um, I have literally 10 available. So first come, first serve basis. Now let's do the big one, shall we? Wow. Wow. I love this. So it's butterflies. Ah, and a lotus flower. This is beautiful. Look at this detail. And I think that's the thing with these. It's the detail on them, isn't yeah. it? Because, I mean, Mum, I've, I've bought Mum um, one for Christmas with the dragons and she, she keeps coming back to it because every time she comes to it, she'll see a little bit more. I mean, look at that. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Let me... That's incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Oops, sorry. The little, the little body, the way that stays solid more. Yeah. And you really see the details of the wings. Let me draw it back a bit. Wow, that's just amazing. See the butterflies at the top, yeah. Yeah. And then you have that amazing lotus flower. So pretty. There's one little butterfly. Can you see he's coming in to land? Yeah. He's got his little feet out. <laughs> Probably see it better on your recording, Adam. Watch him here. So there's his little feet coming in to land on the butterfly. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? There's wings behind. He's in flight. Literally in flight. It's just amazing. It's a work of art. It's an absolute work of art. Totally not. How is, how is this double figures? What? Even yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. This is actually a bigger carrot weight than the previous one, and it's mm. half the price. How? <laughs> OK. I, I, don't, I don't know how. I don't know how. In 41 seconds, though, we're dropping that price. What are you taking this to, then, Ross? Really? How many do we have? 30 of 30 oh wow so maybe you've been watching today and you've uh, maybe you've longed for a master carved jade who wouldn't at the end of the day whether it be from burma whether it be from guatemalan uh jade and maybe you've never quite made that step well I don't want to sound like I'm pushing you in any way, shape or form. However, we cannot get hold of this location anymore. This, you know, never say never, of course, moving forward. You never know. Our luck might change. However, at the moment, we have nothing. This is it. We have the entire quantity of Olmec Blue Type A Jadeite on your screens, literally as we speak. Wow. I don't, it doesn't make sense, though. I don't understand. Take advantage. I know. I know. Take advantage. How is this bigger? But less. Still beautifully carved, but a double figure price tag. I know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Because we'd still be sourcing it from the same people, unless he managed to negotiate some amazing deal. I don't know. Maybe he got more of one than the other. Oh, so. it's an admin error. Well, that's probably more realistic. That's more likely. That is more likely, knowing what we're like here at Jewelry Maker. Well done, Elaine. Sorry, David. Hello to you, M, Jamati, Victoria and Susan. Victoria and Kent, you've just multi-bought as well. Amazing. Well done for people multi-buying on this opportunity. I don't know how. I don't know how. I, I'm, it doesn't make any sense to me that... You know, the previous Equally Beautiful was £199, and yet this is £79. Um, there was... What did you say? How many? 30. You can get 39 pounds and 50 pence. You can get this home if you use your split payments. Great, Nine of them it? left. Now I've just got two more chances of your old make and we will be diving into Alison's amazing tool launch. Um, we're going to start with the rondelles. I'm just sorry, the rounds. Start with the rounds. I thought you said rondelles. Sorry, Ross. Um, so a pack of 20. 50 carrots. Unrepeatable, says Ross. Well, it literally is unrepeatable, though, isn't it? Because at the moment, we have nothing. I've got nothing. We have no Olmec Jade on order. This is it. I'm trying to show you just how many there are here. All natural, 20 pieces. So, oh. How divine is that? I know you don't describe Guatemalan... Well, you might do, I don't know. But does any, everybody see like an imperial green colour there as mm. well? Mm. That one in the centre, kind of going, look at me. <laughs> that Ooh. looks as, look, as close to imperial green that I've ever seen. Mm. But then you've got that beautiful presence of that Olmec blue 
that one locational color that only, only is sourced from Guatemala. We launched this parcel. That's what you're buying, a parcel. To close your Guatemala, well, penultimate, actually, auction of your Guatemalan jade. Launched at £99. In a minute, we're going to half it. Ha Please tell me this quantity. 60 available. Oh, my goodness me. Is that the lowest price we've ever done on Guatemalan jade? It surely has to be up there. Price per carat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're talking about, Ross, a pound a carat for Guatemalan jadeite. I know. I've, I've given up trying to understand. Yeah, I'm not... I, no. This may well be the last show of Guatemalan Jade. Mm. It could be. You don't know. You don't... We don't know. I'd love to... No, I don't think I would want a crystal ball. <laughs> no. I don't think I would. But... Maybe to see if we can actually find and source gemstones like this moving forward. It is still being mined. Don't get me wrong. This is not mined out. It hasn't depleted. Um, basically, what has happened, though, is the world has learned about this beautiful location of source. We've, become, we've literally, as we said earlier on, um, we've been seduced by its beautiful, <laughs> yeah. unique beauty. It's certified completely and utterly natural. You're sourcing an amazing parcel. Think back to Mason and Kay, where, okay, whatever the location of the source, their, J, their type A jadeite was, they had single beads, didn't they? Yeah. Single beads. You're getting an amazing 20 quantity here. Well, so, so you've got 10 pairs of earrings. Yeah. You know, even if you said you were going to sell them for £50 a pair of earrings, oh, yeah. that's still £500. Exactly. It's a great return. But, which is, and earrings are easy to make. Easy to make. And... and you know, that's if you sell them for £50. I hope you don't. Yeah. I hope you don't sell them for £50. Macrame, you know? Oh, you my know, gosh, could you imagine that? Simple macrame. Make sure you dial in nice and early. That has to be one of the best prices that we've done, done price per carat on your Guatemalan jade eye ever, probably. I've never seen it at a pound per carat, or not that I recall. Now, one more. This is your finale opportunity. Ooh, I was like a cat then, wasn't I? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> these are going to fly. They're going to absolutely yes. fly. Sorry, Ross, what did you say? One crash. There's 20. Beautiful, beautiful quality of colour. In your lovely rondelles, I adore these. I love rondelles. I just think they're really sweet. You know, you put them on top of different shapes, use them in amongst maybe your um, lovely faceted pearls. 29.99. Wow. I, what? I know, I know. I don't know why. Like you said earlier on, you stop, you're not yeah, going to try and make yeah. sense of it. Stop it's it. Not, yeah, stop. That's I can't crazy. make sense of it. I think it's because it's the finale. <sighs> for how long? How long? Do, this is the finale for Guatemala and Jade for how long? We don't know, do we? Um, coming up immediately after this break, it is time. If you need to do anything, if you need to make yourself a cuppa. Get it now. Yeah, if you need to get, you know, sort of your device ready so you can make your confirmation, we have a hundred of these available. And you don't just get that one tool. You actually get five of them as well. Still the same postage and packaging, even though they are weighty. Amazing they masterclass are. demonstrations coming up. We'll be back after this. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Alison Terry here. No, I'm not doing my New Year's resolution and exercising. I wanted to fetch you a quick sneak preview of our brand new tool set. This isn't all of them. Coming to you at 12 o'clock this Sunday. It's all about the rings. They're all for shaping. If you do want to use them for exercise, that's up to you too. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. 
Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. I know how exciting. We love a new tool, don't we? I love tools. I've been so lucky. This year, I've been, it's been amazing so uh, far. Uh, and we're only in February. I know. <laughs> um, but you didn't just get one tool. No. You've got five. I have. I have got another one, but it's already in the vice. Well, look, here you know. Which one am I? Oh, they are heavy. I they have are. to tell you, they are, especially when you're sliding five of them at once. Uh, yes. Um, and the big ones are, are very, very heavy. They are. Um, I mean, that's heavy. I should say you only still pay the same usual postage and packaging. I don't think our team thought that through, but it's all good for you guys, isn't it? Which is what's most <laughs> important. Um, okay. Now, we've been... Uh, and, and literally, the rest of the show is entirely, literally, this. Alison, yours. So <laughs> do with it what you wish. We'll bring the graphics in. Right. We have got some hammers at your request We've got as some well. hammers, yes, because obviously you're going to need some hammers. Yeah, so um, if you just cue me when you want okay. to bring those. But well, the tools. The, the tools. It's brand new. We've never done these before. And no. it's all under one code. So these aren't separate auctions. It's one. You get all of them. You get all of them, absolutely. So talk us through, what are these amazing contraptions? So they're to do things like, uh, we had a question earlier, would it make a spinner ring? Yes, 
They're very good for exercising. They are. Um, yeah, basically, anti-clastic and synclastic. So where you get the concave and convex curls in your That's jewelry. That's how I know it, yeah. Yeah. But you're, you're, not only have you curved it that way, but you've also curved it that way. That's what yeah. makes it so difficult. That's Hang on, where these... I see what you mean. So you've curved it so you've in like a flare. It like that, yes, and around. But so that's gone from flat. So, so it's gone from something flat like that. Yeah, you that's going to be hard to do. Well, sorry, something, something flat like that. Yeah. Which you then curved into that, but then you're going to curve it either that way or that way as well. Now, if you don't have these tools, yeah. is that difficult? Um, without a tool mm. of some descriptions, there are different versions. Um, we had, um, a couple of years ago, the Durston set. I don't think you got as many size variations okay. with it. And it was a more considered price. It was a, a bench version. Durston tends to be. Yeah. Um, then, but you need something. There are, there are different tools to use, but without doing one of these tools, trying to get that to curve that way, mm. it, it's just not going to happen. You know, this, if I pull this down, that to that without a tool... is hard to do. You're not going to get it. You just, okay. You're not going to get that curve. Without, yeah. without that curve to hammer into, you're not going to get it. Without that curve... Um, Oh, I'll, I'll pull the bangle because. So without the curve for that yeah, way. Show us on the tool. Okay. So because because I'm then thinking now all all these different shapes you've got kind of like a tear almost shape. You've yeah. Kind of got like a f fir tree. I don't know how to describe them, but they're so they basically what you've got is different different widths. Yeah. Different angles. So so if you look at this curve here. That's a long, slow curve. If you look here, that's a steeper curve. Oh, OK, so, so they're not the same at either end. No, all these, each one of these, there's five different tools on that one tool. Yeah. Right? So you go to this one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tools on that. How amazing! Yeah, you got all these. So here was me thinking it was exactly the same at either end, and I did no, wonder no, no. why. But well, you got two ends. No, yeah, they're all different. Every single one is different. So, so you put your you put your piece on. Now these these because they're um, these are, these are more for your rings. Yeah. So you get a much sharper a much sharper dome, but you can still do your rings on the bigger ones if you want a shallower dome. So when, when I'm talking about the dome, um, I have to think because it's syntastic. Yeah. I ha always have to think about that one. Anti Anticlastic is fine. It's the synclastic that I always forget. So this is where, so you're going to use these tools to pop that shape in, it. to use that to shape it. Oh. And what you're doing is it, it, it's, it's a form of, of um, you're, you're forming your metal. They're a forming tool. Yeah. So you're forming your metal. Really you don't, heavy. you don't, you can get tools where you stick it on and you just hammer it on all together. Yeah. These give you arguably more variety. Mm. So you could keep this flat on the top and just curve the ends in. You could just curve one end in. You know, depending on what you want to do with it, you can do all sorts. You could curve that end in and flare that end out if you wanted. Wow. Yeah, all together, they're heavy. I was just thinking, I wonder if I can lift them all together. It, they're it's, heavy. It's hard. Yeah. So they're proper, you know, proper. these are quality tools. Oh, they are precision. I mean, I am a bit of a weed, deal. but let's do it. Let's open the clock. Yeah. Let's open this auction. There are a hundred of these available. Um, and any questions that you have, message in. What's this? So, they come in a greasy bag, as, yeah. as they all do, because you don't want it to rust. But they actually have... Oh, sorry, they're heavy. <laughs> Each of them has its own, its own little box. So they all keep moisture come, out. So it keeps moisture out. I'd still, I'd still be tempted to put them back into their... Container. Container. If you're going to be using them time and time and time and time again, 
then that's fine. If you're going to use, if you're going to go through about and say, right, this month I'm going to be doing sheet metal, but then I'm not going to do it for another couple of months, then pop it back in, just wipe it off afterwards. It just yeah. protects it. But yeah, these also protect it. So you can store them, you can stack them on top of each other. You know, you can stack all these and you're not damaging the tool. No, absolutely. Whereas if you if you stack these, these then get yeah, bashed. Yeah, yeah. You know, you... And you're, they look nice like this, don't they're, they? They're you don't fabulous. Want them to scratch, do you? No. I know you're going to be hammering on them, but you're going to be hammering on to metal first. Well, I've hammered on these and... You can't tell. They're sturdy. They are sturdy. But likewise, you still want to protect them. Absolutely. So, so this does your bangles, any form, any your, your earrings, rings. any rings. Yeah, so I've made little um, little rings, which I've done in both ways. So these are your anti-clastic versions. Yeah. So it, it, it curves round and flares out. Mm -hmm. um, and the other side is your syn syntastic, where it cur curves the other way out it sort of domes out for want of a better word amazing you get a, so you could actually i quite like the idea actually of having those in, in the reverse i yeah you could and have it you like could a, pop a little pearl in there i was gonna say you could do like an oyster you could do oh just thought of this they'd make a great sail for a boat if you yeah, did a little lovely. boat boat earring or something and have that sail taking it onwards sorry I, I and go off the on creativity one. yeah yeah the, the amount creativity. that you can do um so already um i mean we're at 179 pounds that is for f technically five tools yeah look well, at the call screens though i know i knew these were going to go mad they, they're they're fabulous more. the price the price on there is such a good price three figures is what i was expecting because these are you know if you think about it 179 divided by five yeah exactly so these are just over well they're less than 40 pound each they're 35 pound each and i assume these are going to last oh these will in, last you forever it, forever yeah. yeah you're not going to need to replace something listeners obviously you yeah. lose it you do need a vice yeah obviously so this sits in a vice so you you do need a vice to use it but if you've got a a, a desk vice then you can pick that up and take that anywhere with you. They're actually heavy but portable. Yeah. Yeah. So so oh, yeah. that's a that's a tied down vice, but um, my 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 other vice, which I did fetch me, won't actually fit on our table. They're heavy, but they're not too heavy. No, you know? they're not. But when you hold them individually, they're all right. Yeah. They're, they're some, they're, yes. You need. You, yeah, they're fine. But I, I was stupidly trying to pick all five. Yes. Um. But also, if you're if you if you have um, manipulation problems, mm -hmm. then then you can carry them, set them up, and, and they're not something you're having to hold or lift or support, yeah. you know, so you don't have to worry about it. It's in the vice and you're there, hammer away on it. Um, we're at £99.99, £99, so you said you were expecting it to be triple figures. I was expecting it to be triple figures, absolutely. Um, no, we're in double figures. Wow. Uh, we had 100. The only issue... Um, and literally, Alison can demo and demo and demo. Yeah, yeah. If you've got any questions, then message us in. You can do that via the website. The only issue is quantity. That's the thing. Karen and John, Victoria, Derbyshire, Wiltshire, Susan, Gwyneth, Holland, Rita, Em and sorry, we're already over allocated. Look, that's not even your price point. The launch, wow. a brand new launch yeah. on Jewelry Makers Fabulous. today. You get all five of them. <gasps> <laughs> we, we were paused then. I know, didn't we? literally all the tension. Oh, and they're on split pay. What? Sixty-nine ninety-nine. Wow! Wow! Sorry. Wow! It's a great deal, isn't it? That is a, and that you is never a need to stonking these. deal. You'll never the, need to the only the only thing I would actually do if I did a lot of sheet metal work for sale. Yeah is I'd contemplated, if I could afford it, buying one for copper and one for silver. Cross-contamination, is that Cross what you're Cross-contamination, thinking, yeah. that's only if you're selling it. It's, it's very minimal anyway, and you can, you can clean them off. But that's the only thing I'd have one set up, because I tend to try and duplicate to have both. Ooh, who's, who's, I bet I know who that maker in Flincher is. Um, she messages me because I was like, who are you? And she's like, I don't know how to message in. No. <laughs> well, this? listen, Alison, so, take it away. The, the floor is yours. Show right. us how to work these, uh, um, these amazing tools and create this beautiful jewellery. I love that one on, as we look at on the TV, second from right in, that ring, that's beautiful. Oh, so like that? It, yeah. It's, it, so cool. Doing it so that you don't have to have straight lines. 
No, the little wiggly waves. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Do it, do it textured. And those are from textured sheets. But yeah, they, they, they make great, they're fun pieces of jewellery. It doesn't have to be. And we talked about spinners earlier. Yeah. So these, these are adjustable. I haven't soldered them, but you can solder them. There's nothing wrong with you soldering them. But I would solder them after. Okay. okay. I would tend to solder them after to make it easy for getting them on and off. Yeah. Um, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with you with you um, having an adjustable one. No. Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with having a, a spinner that you've overlapped to make an adjustable spinner. Yeah. And then you've still got the flare is what makes it a spinner. So if you've got a, an anti-clastic, which is the, 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 the flared out version, this is this is what um, what gives you that ability to spin. And this is why I was thinking when you ha if you had the tool yesterday and you've got a star, maybe more so. I, c I don't know sizing from the thing yesterday. But if you, if you had a star and you wanted to make an anti-clastic bracelet, a spinner bracelet, you could put the... Sorry, ting, yeah, they sound good as well. If you put your star on a, on a, a simple band yeah. going round there, then I would flare it to match. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. you could solder it, but if you're going to solder it, you're going to want to flare it. So it will work with the other tools. They literally I mean, go perfectly the hand in hand with yes, uh, yesterday's launch as well. Take it away, because I'm excited to okay. see these. So I just wanted to say, while we're on this, I, I love the texture when I hammer them. Yeah. So I have not gone for the smooth finish on any of mine. I, I like I, it as well. I love this texture. I think it's stunning. Okay. Anyway, right. Okay. Over we go to the, to the other one. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Oh, that's too quick. Sorry. You're going to, on to another desk, aren't I'm you? Go, I'm going to turn the corner. Okay. Right. Ching, ching, ching. So, this you need device. you need your sheet. Um, so, the rings have all been done with um, 0.32. Okay. Some of it textured. I think we've got some um, kits of 0.32, haven't we? Yes. Um, so, basically, I've just cut out strips that are long enough. Cut out your strip of metal. Use um, a ring mandrel, which I've left over there. That was clever, but it's okay. Do I'll just get it. Oh yeah, please. In my red bag on, um, in the toolbox is a ring mandrel. Okay. Okay, so just turn it into a, into a, a circle, right? And now I'm gonna turn this into a ring. So decide, and you can make it bigger or smaller. So the bangles, you're thinking, how did I do the bangles? You know, obviously it's bigger. You could use, you could solder your bangle before you put it on. You can with a ring, you just go for a smaller size. Okay, because I used, I used this one to make this bangle. Oh, thank you. We'll come to the, um, the <laughs> thin plastic in a minute. Okay, so to do the anti-clastic, I'm going to pop this on. Okay, when you're doing these, with this, it's, it's less important them with the bangles you need to you're stretching you're stretching the the sheet so all the time you're actually stretching the sheet um into the shape and and the same with the other way you're you're forcing it round so it will change so if you try and do it straight from the middle of a wide one uh, from the bangle it will go funny because you haven't given the edges the opportunity to go anywhere so so you'd start at the middle so if it was a bangle if you want, draw a line down the middle and then draw two quarter lines. So if you've got lines down the quarter, then you start on the quarters and you start hammering there. And then when you've got those shapes, then you move in and hammer there. OK, so but when you're doing a ring size, it's less important. Um, now, if I'm doing the big ones, you can use you can use these are great for using, um, obviously, but not for doing your anti-clastic. They're great for the con. Uh, Keep calling them contastic, syntast, the, the cave, concave, concave. Okay, so for this, anything like a dome you want, and you're going to start hammering it, and I will hammer towards the edge. So this is about, uh, I think this is a half inch. It, can you see it's sort of got a, a, a bend there? Mm -hmm. can you, you can see that from the, but you will be able to hammer that out. So because I've got that bend there, it's kicking this up. So it takes a bit of time. I'm trying to be reasonably quiet. Don't worry. 
but you keep you will keep if you've got a textured sheet you will keep it as well so i've gone in quite small i need i'm going to put it on a bit bigger there we go that'll make it easier to see so you can see how this is flaring out now if i take this off you can already see that that's got a flare on it straight away and that and that's just with the most fundamental basic of it so i'm going to pop it back on if you can with a hammer you don't want a hammer there because most hammers are weighted so this is um we've got i think we've got this hammer on um somewhere yes. they're mostly they're mostly um weighted for balance and what you want to be doing is the further down the shaft you can hold it the better the the um forces going down with the less effort so holding it here gives you more control but less effort holding it here gives you better better force but you have to practice to get the control and that's literally what you're doing so as you're coming round to the bottom you can see there there's still a gap oh the, oh that, that that one's fine as well okay so I'd yeah no it's okay I, I i also had a you can use it anything you want basically a rounded or you can use it with a chisel the you the thing with a chisel is you're definitely going to get marks yeah. on it mm. okay now i would you so so that one's fine because you've got the rounded end that's what you're looking for for the anti-clastic because basically you're hitting into there if i tried to hit into there i'm not going to get anywhere no yeah I see what you so mean. you need to be hitting with something that's going to get in there um you can use um you can use any of the smaller ones we've got they will also work it, okay? It just so happens that I... Time. So I'm working, now I'm working up onto the side to work on that flare. Then when I've come round here, I'm gonna turn it round because, because I'm trying to do it to camera, I'm gonna find it easier to work on the same side rather than to try and hit. So if you can see, I'm slightly angling it. I'm not hitting straight down the middle. I am slightly angling it to help that sheet at the side. Now whether, and then you can, once you've got that flare going, once you can then go back to the middle and, and sort of smooth out the center. So you're almost, because this is textured, you're, you're I would suggest starting with a smooth piece and then work on the texture because you're you're not seeing where it's going as easy with the texture but you do get a, a fantastic result i mean you can do it on the other side because it's not textured you can then if you want go down to a smaller one and get a bigger flare so this will cause it so if you can see the flare there if i go in this one that will now cause it to be an even tighter flare so it's all about working that flare see how much tighter that is now if you're going to cut a shape with it if you're going to get your wiggly waggly shape do it beforehand and then flare so so with the likes of that i've cut this shape out first and then put it on and got the shape and i mean i i just love it so this this is another one of the textured sheets so this is the round textured sheet um and you can still see that texture you could really really enhance this if you um i mean I, i've polished this so it's quite shiny um you can really um see the the round blobs so so that's your whoops that's your anti-clastic if you wanted let me go just a minute to go down there to get me oh bend down that's not good at my age so you would keep going with this and then you would saw this so let me pop this back on here i'm just going to pop that round because this is um 0 0.32 it's quite easy to use so i'm just going to pop that off okay so so this is sorry i have no idea where my camera is here um this is easy to use but having got that back off we can pop it round our mandrel size it if you want to 
you can take it down, saw cut it and solder it. I would do it like that or use the very smallest one so you can take it off and work it like we're going to do the bangle. Sorry, I just need to... What you will find is you will occasionally have to just re-tighten this. Okay, so that's what I would do to get a full spinner, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't pop a... I would overlap it, a, a, an adjustable spinner in it, and then you've got an adjustable spinner ring, which I don't know that I've ever seen before. No, I don't know if I have. So if you overlap the bit that goes around the middle, that can adjust, as can this adjust um so, you, you mentioned this hammer yeah, yeah. earlier on what do you do with these so this is this is um a raw hide mallet and i'm it's gonna hard, let me just it? they're great yeah it's it's leather it's it's hide okay it's it, th that's what it is so you get it's less like mark wood. let me swap these over uh, it's like wood but it's not it's not wood let me pop this in now this one's a bit wider because obviously it's a bit bigger Thank goodness you couldn't see the faces I was pulling then. <laughs> um, so if I'm going to do, and I'm going to use one of these sheets. It, this isn't a, a bracelet length, but I'll show you. It's going to be easier to see it on this. So if I was going to do a bangle, yeah, it's exactly the same principle. You would curve it round first. Mm -hmm. we go, oh, there you go. If only we had a mandrel like that shape. Okay, so you're going to work it. So like I said, you've got your centre line, you go on your quarter line. So we're going to work this part first. Now this is going to be the... Oh, I'll, go, I'll do it on the end one. This is going to be the hardest um, way to do it because I would normally hammer it this way, but I'm not going to be able to. So you're going to hammer it. Now you, this is so much softer than a metal one. And you're just wanting to do the very edge. Can you see where I'm getting kinks? That's because this is quite a small one compared to the curve. So you're working it to get rid of those kinks. So I'm going to come back a bit. You're getting a curve. Can you see the curve coming? You're getting that curve coming. You know, this isn't something that you do that's going to take 10 minutes. No. This is something you work at if you want if you want a smooth finish this will give you a much less um textured finish than than the other hammer has done i've just realized i've done this inside out okay and it's all about small small steps you don't want to go right for the middle and try and bend this over because what will happen is it'll go oh i'll try and fold over myself then so unless you want it actually folded can you see how that has now curved? Yeah. See how shiny that's become because I've been hitting it. But also how hard that's become. This, oh, yeah. not so. This, you've work hardened. Um, like I say, this is only 0.32. It's great to start with. Um, I would do this for rings more so than a bangle. And you've it. worked that the other way around, haven't you? Yeah, I've just realised I put that on the inside. I quite like Sorry. it. Sorry. But yeah, the sheets... Hang on, let me tighten this. If you get... Now, we have got vices um, as well. So if you, if you haven't got a vice, you're going to need a vice. Um, you, you will have to reset to... it every now and then. And you're just going to clip them to wherever it is you do your jewellery making. Yeah. The vices or... we get... Just bear with me a sec, because I know we haven't got one in the studio. I have one over here. Okay. Oh, you carry... This is the thing. When I see our designers turning up and they're literally like this. <laughs> yeah. You carry a vice. So, <laughs> so, so this is one of our vices and basically you just screw it onto the table. Unfortunately, it's just... Yeah, we're, we're just a fraction. Our, yeah, our desk too, is custom made. And too it's big, huge. yeah. So we need to get them to just gouge a bit out, but I don't think yeah. they're keen to. So you'd put that on and then you put these. All those fit in. I made all these pieces using this vice. Yeah, most people take that wide. It's also this little, little lug here. You can spin it. So you can turn it. If, if, you, if, you're, if you can go on there on the table, but you need to turn it to work this way, you can do. You okay. can, that, that will let you Gosh, spin 360. I know. I know, absolutely bonkers, isn't it? And that, again, if I pass this over to you, that, again, 
is a weighty piece of kit. It is heavy, kit. but I suppose it's got to be heavy to yeah. hold those. Uh, um, Absolutely. Piece. You've got to have you've got to have a sturdy piece of kit. So you keep working this, and then you work your way in. So we've now just got uh, which is the best camera? Okay. So we're we're probably curving from about there. This is straight. Mm -hmm. So we now to work, need to work in a little bit further. And you will find this is going a lot smaller because you've got a small one, but you can just, you're just wanting to do the end. So you now, you can now work. So nowhere we got that big crease before when we tried to do it. We're now working a bit further back. Um, I'm just going to pull this out a bit. I tied, I've done this so tight. Ow. There we go. This is going to make it harder because it will, it will go down easier because I'm sticking it out, but it's going to be easier to show you. So I'm going on a bigger one now and I'm using this again to hammer it down. Can you see how now this is starting to curve? Mm. So you work your way back in and then you turn around and again, you'd start on the outside and you're hammering it that down. So, like I said, because I'm putting it part way through the vise in the last third, it, it, it's less secure. So all that. Now, when I was saying about the middle, you can see here. Can we see how that's got like a lump on it? Can you go in close with that? Uh, yeah. Which, yeah. So yeah. you can see this is almost flared up and over. Yeah. So as you work your way back here, this will all come to the same level and you'll get that dome going all the way. Imagine it's like a wave. You know, when you get a wave, it doesn't all go at the same time. It sort of works its way and builds its way up. Well, that's what you're doing here. You're starting there and you go, not quite a Mexican wave, but you are doing a wave across, across the metal. OK, so imagine that you're working like a wave. OK, so that's your... Sin plastic, and that is your anti plastic. All these have different sizes, they're slightly different varieties. You'll get a different curve from them, um, you'll get a much different curve from that one than you will from, say, that one or that one. Use them for rings. Basically, have a play. Use them for earrings, they're great for earrings. You can even just use them if you wanted to do panels. It doesn't have to be a complete piece. So you're going to get some um, growth, some, some stretching yeah. with your metal. Um, it is going to enlarge. So, so take that into account. It's not going to suddenly go from like a seven inch bangle to an eight inch bangle, mm. but it will, it will go a little bit bigger. So bear that in mind when you do it, especially for rings. But if you're doing an open ring and it goes too big, you can just trim it off. So if you go, hang on a minute, that's a, a, that's a real Allison size ring. I actually only want it a, a standard presenter size. I might trim a bit. I might trim a bit there. See, I'm well trained. It's taken 10 years, but I still do a, an end to o. Love it. An end to o presenter size. Bless you. Um, and, and, and that's basically the tool. So you've also got areas which will give you, these are mainly for doing your, your syntastic. These are mainly for this, this again will do, this will do both syntastic and antitastic. You can tell because it's got a rounded bit rather than uh, these which are a lot sharper. Yeah. Now there's nothing to say. Well, I, I, always, I always ignore the rules. There's nothing to say you can't use that bit, you can't use that bit and that bit. I did think about trying to do a knuckle duster. Um, but there's nothing to say you can't use different parts <laughs> for different things. But like I say, so you can use these for bangles, these for narrower bangles, these for very thin. I mean, I did, I never finished it, but you know, that's, that's um, I think that was a, about a quarter inch or a half a centimetre. And that will make that's eventually, nice. so you could solder that. Yeah because that's got overlap there where I could saw it so that it would go through both and be perfectly matched, solder that, and then you've got a, a little flare ring. So 
it doesn't have to be, you don't have to have a two inch cuff or a three inch cuff. Um, this cuff, that's quite, that's, that's quite narrow by comparison. Um, you know, that's, that's a bit bigger. So this one was flamed. That's got a little bit of pattern, but I then did do a bit of polishing. That one's, that one's without, but I do love, this is why I was using the hammer. I do love the texture on that. I think that came out really great. We've got your kits. We need to oh, your kits fab to kits, kits. Let's do it. Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we're going to run out of time. We, we will. Um, 19.99. So look, you've got your two patterns. So this is literally Real. what you've been yeah, using, yeah. isn't it? Um, two designs of kits. You've got this one here, which is much more geometric. This comes with aquamarine. Yes, which I, I, I have to hold my hand up and say I didn't get round to the gemstones, which you could use because you just flatten off an area. Okay. And then you could either prong it, you could solder onto it, create a setting for it, or literally just glue it just on if you it, wanted. Exactly. Absolutely. Nine, uh, 1999. Yeah, um, it's brilliant. So literally what Alison has been using. So this is yeah. what you made the rings, the bangles, um, the earrings. The, not the bangles, but the rings. Made, I made all the rings out of these kits. Wow. Um, so these are all 0 0.32. And because you've worked hardened it, if you, if you, if you do that, it's it's really quite yeah, quite firm. Yeah, really, they, they are. There's really not much strong. giving it, I which love you these. don't expect. You know, when it's work softened, when it's softened, it's really quite squidgy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and if you're wearing it sort of on the hand, you yeah. would want it to have um, you need that hammering. sort of that strength. Um, well, this will be familiar because you could see Alison literally making the back yeah. of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this comes with morganite. Beautiful, wow. beautiful morganite. Um, love the patterns of this one. Amazing. I love this tool. I love your pieces of jewelry. Oh, thank you. Was that a message or was that you? That was, well, that was me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure lots of people are thinking that. Um, I don't think we had any of the... So this is 0.5 sheet. Oh, right. it's 0.5. Yeah. Okay, cool. That, that, that explains it, why it's a bit thicker. Yeah, 0.5. So... These are 0.8. Okay. So, uh, because you could make it out of that, because, like we said, it does work hard. Well, you've just been using but it. But you need you? to do two halves, okay. unless you've got a tiny wrist, because... Yeah, we it's actually had copper sheet on yesterday. Yeah, so you and you, I think you had the point eight on yesterday. Yeah, so um, which is what these are made out of is a point eight. So also none of this has been work hardened. It has been when you torch it, soften it. Annealed. Annealed. Thank you. Oh, brain's gone. I'm so excited. My brain's gone. <laughs> the point eight I did anneal. Okay. So anneal it first so that you've got, and you might find if, you, if you're working it a lot, you might need to go back and anneal it again. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. Go on, um, this, this is ace. So this, yeah, talk us through. We've so, got literally a couple of minutes. Okay, so this is a multi-head hammer. What you do, sorry, I'm gonna take that off, is you unscrew that, you pop your texture in there and they're magnetic. Oh, the magnetic. Yeah, That's so good. that so that it doesn't fall off while you're doing it. You pop that in there. You get your piece it. of metal. Dinky, dinky, dinky. So you can use these with that. Yeah, with your I tool. wouldn't use the spiky one with it per se. Mm, yeah. Or you can texture your sheet Looks first and then and then go and and do it. But yeah, this this is fab because you get in one, two, how many how many have you got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, nine but faces. But these would be, be ideal with your new tool. Yeah, yeah. nine faces. Well, you can use them all, but I wouldn't use... 19, yeah. You're basically getting 19 ha uh, sorry, nine hammers, aren't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a fact. And because it's screwed on like that, it's so secure. It's brilliant. Um, stock update on your launch. There are literally 11 left of <gasps> the new tool. Wow. Literally 11. You still Fabulous. only pay the same postage and packaging, regardless of the fact that these are heavy. I, I, I'd just love to be a fly on the wall to watch the postman's reaction when he's putting these up to your doorstep, because it is, they are heavy. Substantial. Yeah, to say the least. Um, we're running out of time. Alison, yeah. as always, we love it's been you. Fabulous. It's I love been it. a lovely show. Thank you it's so been much. It's a fab show. Hasn't it? Yeah. Jam packed. When are you back? I'm back with you on the 9th. Oh, and oh. If, you, if you're struggling with, with annealing and things, we've got the Dernston torch back. 
Amazing. So you yes. can soften the, your sheets then. Soften your sheets. You can do. You, you <laughs> can do. Funny yeah. Sentence. Don't miss that. Um, have a really lovely. A yeah. Thank you. So back on the ninth is our lovely Alison. Um, make sure you check out your baskets on these amazing tools. From start Don't to finish, this. it's been just the most uh, the best show. Huh. Um, I'm back with you on Wednesday with the most unbelievable Black Jadeite <gasps> show oh, with Dave. Wait. It's probably my favourite show yet. I've got to say they are truly beautiful. Have a lovely uh, Sunday afternoon, everybody, and we will see you very very soon. Bye.